Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. I am your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's a bit shy. Guys, a few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer-supported, heavy YouTube demonetization, so please consider donating through Streamlabs instead of soup chatting as YouTube takes a brutal 30% cut. So if you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. A little quick maths for you. Streamlabs.com slash whatever link is in the description. Uh, let's see, donations and super chats $10 and up will be displayed in stream overlay. Donations and super chats $49 and up will be read slash answered. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS text-to-speech message that is $99 and up triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. See the description for all other triggers and full details. We have channel memberships. Uh, tier one is just $5 a month. We're also live on Twitch right now. Guys, pull up another tab. Go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. Oh, hey, pub test, dude. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the 10 uh, gifted subs. Appreciate it, man. We got merch, shop.whatever.com. Uh, stuff you can wear to not be naked. Don't be a criminal. Get some merch. Follow <laughs> us on Instagram, at whatever. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. If you can't catch the full shows, we have three clips channels. Link for those are in the description. Go sub. Without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce, in, excuse me, introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. I'm Kathy. I'm 24 years old, and I am a OnlyFans creator. Welcome. Hi, I'm Pixie. I'm also 24 years old, and I do political streaming online. Hi, I'm Emmy. I'm 26, and I'm a realtor and also content creator. Hi, I'm Alessia. I'm 26, and I do OnlyFans. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm 29. I'm a math, physics, science tutor, and um, I also do content creation on YouTube. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm 28, and I did high ticket sales. I'm currently unemployed, so I'm, I guess I'm just doing content right now. <laughs> Okay, welcome everybody. Guys, we were going to have a little more filled out panel, but unfortunately we had some uh, no-shows and flakes, so uh, it is what it is, but we're going to have a good show tonight regardless. So we're going to go around the panel once more. What is your current relationship status? So are you single, talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, polycule, sex, cult? Uh, if you're single, how long have you been single? What's your longest relationship? Go ahead. Um, I'm currently dating, um, just dating. Um, longest relationship? probably like one year a little more than the one one year yeah okay so you're you said you're currently dating yes so are you seeing one guy multiple guys a <laughs> couple girls in there what's what's i'm not entirely sure um not entirely you're not sure, sure about their on. gender <laughs> <laughs> it could be whatever it is whatever you want it to be okay non-binary okay <laughs> um so you're not entirely sure so there's is there a do you have a main guy and like three side pieces? Mm. I feel like mm. you got game. <laughs> Do I? I think you got game. I think you could get the bitches. I have no game. I have no game. The male whatsoever. bitches and the female bitches. You got I no wish, game. I wish, you have I zero wish. game. You look like you have game. She's <laughs> humble mm. and has game. That's part of the game. Could we have you tilt your microphone uh, down just a little bit? Yeah. So it's perfect. Uh, a little less, a little less. And can you scoot it that way just a bit? OCD Brian over here. Yeah. Uh, um, so. Give it. Give us some deets. What are the details? Some you got. Deets. You got one main dude. Couple. Some deets couple. is. I don't think I'm healed enough for an actual healthy relationship. But yeah. You don't think you're healed enough. Yes. From, you got like um, sepsis or what's the situ What's going on? <laughs> Probably just like childhood stuff or like past relationship whatsoever. But past yeah, relationship. I'm, but yeah, I'm dating currently. Okay, um, but so. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by dating currently? Like, mm. you're going on dates, or you yes. got? Do you have a situation ship with any guys? Potentially. Potentially. I mean, there's 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 no label whatsoever. How many? Okay, so you're dating. How many <laughs> dates have you been on in the past month? The past month, with like probably individual new people. New people. Um, a few. I don't really keep count. Okay. So you, I'm just, you, we, gotta, we gotta get a number on it. You got seven 
boyfriends? Is that kind of the situation? No, it doesn't. Seven situationships? No, not seven. I would say more like two or three, potentially. Okay, two, two to three situationships. Are they all guys? Any girls in there? Or just dudes? Um, probably just guys. You might. I don't. I'm. You might not even be interested in women. I'm just. I mean, I. I think it's up to the people to define like what they are, who they are, and. You can't really tell from the first date, can you? From the first date? Yeah. <laughs> I'd hope so. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that some of them are trans? I, I, I don't know. I mean... You they might be. Maybe. But, but that's what I'm asking, because what do you mean you're not sure? Like, uh, from a first date, like, if they don't reveal it to me, like, I'm so not going to ask them. If somebody is clearly presenting themselves, like, okay, for instance, me, like, do you assume, like, what gender am I? I don't want to make in this... You don't I even mean, want to make an assumption. You can't tell. You can't tell what gender I am. I, I can't tell, but like if you Did tell I, like, me otherwise, I, have, like, I will respect it. Right? Or something? No, is there something no, wrong? No, like, you're no, no, no. You're perfectly fine. I mean, I obviously okay. can tell that, like you know, you're a, a girl. So, so like, you, you oh, so I am a girl. So yes, you but if tell. you say that you're something else, I will respect that. Okay, no. I'm actually. I just want to let you know, and I'm a hippopotamus. I mean, you could be. So, well, like, if I, if I just say some whatever I want, okay, I'm like, I'm. You should pick a different a animal he. because you're not. You're pretty trim, so I don't think hippopotamus would be the. Appropriate. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't I know if that's. Hey, uh, hold on just a sec. Yo, FDG, thank you for the 50 gifted memberships, guys. If you've been wondering why FDG is just dropping mad uh, memberships in the uh, chat on YouTube. I have a sugar mama. She's my sugar mama, and she pays me by gifting memberships. So uh, she's dropping like 300, 400, 500 a show. So thank you very much. Um, uh, so you, th Lauren, non-binary, confirm or deny? <laughs> um, confirm. I I don't have. It's like Barbie. Oh I don't want to reveal the movie. Are we details, already getting into pronouns already? But it's already? like Barbie down there. Uh huh. I, it, I'm a. It's a. I'm a. I'm actually a he. Wait, so you, you're you're a furry because you're a hippopotamus. I'm a you're furry. A I'm a furry he, non-binary. I, I, I respect that. Accept this. <laughs> I respect that 100. <laughs> percent Okay. And so this? throughout the podcast, if you slip up and like refer to me as a she, like I could like get mad at you and stuff. It's this hipper, hipper self. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll, I'll try my best. Thank you. I appreciate you respecting hippopotamus <laughs> self. <laughs> okay, moving on. Pixie, what's what's your relationship situation? I'm, I'm single as a Pringle. <laughs> single as a Pringle? How long have you been single? Um, since like February. February. Yeah. Do you uh, are you straight? By what's your orientation? I consider myself pan. Like pan. Yeah. You. <laughs> what it, uh, pan? That's where like gender identity uh, you'll it doesn't date, really you'll date men you'll date women you'll date transgender women you'll date yeah. non-binary you'll date transgender yeah other. basically um what is it i mean it takes a really long time for me to feel like truly like in love with someone um sure. so i feel like it just yeah it depends i feel like it depends on the person basically if i'm gonna end up being anything with them or not okay um so your last relationship was with a guy, a girl? It was with a guy. I've only have had romantic relationships with guys. Have you ever hooked up with a girl? Um, I've made out with a girl. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm not going to so go. I don't want to go further beyond kissing and telling. Okay. For a life partner, who do you see yourself ending up? Do you want a life partner? I do want a life partner. You want kids? Yeah, I do want Who kids. do you see yourself ending up with? I don't know. A I guy, mean, a girl? Because, I, I mean, if you want kids, well, I guess you could adopt, right? You yeah. can also use the sperm bank. They have all these they got, options they got where you those, can choose. Yeah. Or surrogates. Or surrogates. Or surrogates. Yeah. I feel okay. like, um, I don't know, traditionally, I was raised in a very, like, Catholic traditional household, like, conservative. So, you know, I'm sure my parents would be happy if I was with a man, but sure. it all depends on who I fall in love with. Cause, and you said you were raised in a conservative Catholic household, but Hispanic, you're yeah. pretty... You consider yourself fairly progressive, fairly liberal. Absolutely. Do you think that because you're you were raised in a very conservative, traditional uh, household, that that kind of pushed you in the other direction? I think. Um, or did you just come to your own conclusions about politics? Well, I think there's two things going on in here. Basically, um, my father 
being the conservative he is, always taught me to never trust big government or just institutions in general. Sure. So obviously, growing up, um, I was also doubtful of him because the parental unit is a authority in the household. <laughs> so yeah, part of me was like, okay, well, I should question government and I should also question everything around me, including my parents. Mm. But I think um, more than that, I there's a lot of ideas of how like conservatism is supposed to be or how the traditional household is supposed to be and all the benefits it's supposed to reap. And there are definitely benefits, but I think... Um, <laughs> Oh, hold, sorry, hold on just Mr. a second. Mr. Bra donated $100. Oh, thank, thank I would you. swim up the Amazon River with 45-pound oh. weights tied to my scrotum with nothing else but Gorlock the Destroyer's queefs as my air supply if, if it meant I could have one seafood dinner with Brian over Skype using a dial-up internet connection. My DMs are open. DM me and we'll get it set up. Thank you. Okay, appreciate it. Um, th thank you for that. Um, you're telling us about your parents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Th th thank you for the donation, Ms. Brown. Appreciate it. Oh, is this the bodybuilding.com? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but basically, um, you know, people talk about like, oh, no, the two-parent household is like the best household ever, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I saw some ways that that's not necessarily true or some things that go against the traditional narrative. So I also think that kind of made me progressive. Okay. All right. Question. In your last relationship, how long was your last relationship? My last relationship was like around five to six months. Did you end it or did he, or was it mutual? I ended it. You ended it. Did you wear the pants in that relationship? What do you mean by wear the pants? What does, I is don't that a sexist? No, term? I just don't know what you mean exactly when you like, say Like, were that. you kind of the, the boss in the relationship? I think we each is were 50 the- 50-50? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think we're both the bosses in different ways. Like, what, what, do we, what, <laughs> what are the ways in which he was a boss and you were a boss? Um. I just, okay, I guess I never felt like we were the boss of each other. I just felt like we were just more like compa compatriots, just like discussing things and figuring things out and stuff like that. Were you ever in a situation where it needed to be like your call or his call, for example? Were you ever in a situation where you had such conflicting viewpoints that it's like one needs to necessarily supersede the other? Um, or you never found yourself in that situation? Well, I mean, I get along well with people who I have very different opinions from. Mm -hmm. um, I know. <laughs> we get along really well and we disagree on nearly everything. So I know. Yeah, no. <laughs> no way. Um, but I feel like there was a time where he was like really upset about me because I wasn't like texting him enough. I wasn't messaging him enough. And mm -hmm. he was like kind of far away. And to me, it's one of those things where, like, I have ADHD really badly. I know it doesn't manifest super obviously here, but I do have it. Mm -hmm. So I am a little bit time blind. I try my best. I try my best with messaging communication. But if you're expecting me to, like, message you, like, every day when we're dating, it's just, it's just not going to happen. I will forget. I'm sorry. That's just how I am. So he was needy. Um... <laughs> Yes, but who isn't in a relationship? Everyone's a little bit needy. In a, really? A little bit. At least, you know, you want your partner to be like, hey, I love you. I miss you. You know, you can say that's a little bit needy, but that's okay. Who liked who, liked who more in the relationship? Did you like him more? Or did he like you more? Because I, I feel like there's always somebody <laughs> likes the other more than the other. I don't know. I feel like, um, I don't think there was a more. I think we were just too different in the ways that we liked people our love like language is too different you know uh, fat bastard God, donated okay. 100 right, they're, they're going hard tonight get in my belly i want my baby back baby back baby back baby back baby back <laughs> ribs i want my baby back baby back baby back baby back baby back fat ribs. bastard chili's baby back ribs chili's <laughs> baby okay uh <laughs> keep going <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Bring it on. Wait, are you laughing at the, oh, the TTS? Or? I was laughing at the TTS. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so awkward. So are you Austin Powers fan or? I that was for Austin Powers. I didn't know that. Yeah. I just thought it was super random. Oh yes. Yeah, okay. Maybe that was before your time. I think because you're what twenty four. Yeah. yeah. So you were like two when that came out, probably. Or four, baby. maybe. Okay, whatever. Um. Your relationship situation. So I'm currently in a relationship. Okay. And. Um, how long have you been in all, said relationship? Almost 10 months. 
10 months, okay. And uh, what's your longest relationship? Two and a half years. Two and a half years, all right. Uh, how did you meet current uh, boy, boyfriend, girlfriend? Yeah, boyfriend. Um, he slid through the DMs. He slid it's a into modern okay. dating what, tale. What's that? <laughs> it's like oh, a modern. modern dating story. What What was his opening message? So this was around the time where I just bought a house, and in my Tinder bio I had, "Hey, let's go furniture shopping or whatever." I'm also a realtor. Like, hit me up if you need to like sell a house and. He slid through the DMs. We actually didn't match, but he slid through the DMs about how he had a ton of coupons that he could, you know, get really good deals on. And he was also verified before all the like verification okay. things were like bought, so it oh, okay. like went through. And I'm like, yeah, like what, what's the harm? Like I'm super single, and yeah, let's Hold let's on, test wait. it out. So he's very uh, musician, athlete. What? Oh, um, he, he's of? a director. Film director. Yeah. Film director. Yeah, so like the strike is kind of... Does he do commercials, music videos, Yeah, TV? commercials, music videos. He's lined up for some movies, but because of the strike, no movies, just okay. commercials and music videos. Oh, so you're holding it. You guys live mm -hmm. together? Yeah, right now we live together. Okay, okay. Um, verified, but he's talking about coupons. I don't know about... Um, <laughs> hey, it's economical. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's big brain. <laughs> how, I feel like how much will coupons save over the course of... Like the cutout coupons from magazines? What is he like? A, are you sure you're not dating like a grandma or some shit? I'm, I like the grandma vibes, whatever okay. that is. Like, there you go. I think hey, my grandma culture, vibes are, ch are good. <laughs> so my parents grew up in communism and they're very, very frugal, even though they're like hyper capitalistic right now. But yeah. they've always taught me to save when it, wherever you can and always reuse your trash bags sure. or whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah reuse uh, your old t shirts with into rags. So. Vietnam? No, in China. China. Vietnam yeah. was North Vietnam. Was communist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. Vietnam. Okay. And China like made yeah, them Vietnam communist War, kind of, yeah. I think. Gotcha. Okay. Um wait, so were you born in China or did you were born in the US? I was born in Chicago, okay. but we my family moved to China when I was four ish. Okay, so you went back. back. Yeah. You went, born in the US, went back, came okay, got and it. Came back. Yeah. Gotcha. What part of China? In Shanghai. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So he slid into the DMs and that shit worked. Cool. Yeah, he, he was just really high effort. So he, he slid through the DMs, talked about the coupons, like, oh, sure, but we weren't going to meet up for like another week or two or so. And then he made like an entire pitch deck. So you know how like film people, they do pitches for on projects. He like made a whole know. PowerPoint huh? presentation. Nick, can you boost <laughs> the audio a little bit? What? Hold on. Oh, no, it's already Oh, sorry. Good. Is That's it? I am I too far from the mic? Sounds like a lot of work. You made a pitch deck? <laughs> yeah, like literally a PowerPoint presentation. I've never seen that before. So guys, take note. If you ever want to slide that. through, a pitch that. deck will absolutely put you like in the, in the forefront. That is the highest effort. It will get you the Wait, most what attention. Was on it? Well, yeah, what was, what's he pitching? In Can this we see deck? a copy of yeah. the pitch deck? Please? What was the most like profound like slide in that pitch deck? So it was just about like interior design. Like, oh, like, there's like little paragraphs in there. It's like, oh, here's like whatever vibe. I think bohemian this will look good. Oh, so he made oh. you a pitch deck for your career and something relating to you. I thought you made a pitch deck about why he's an ideal mm -hmm. boyfriend. Oh, no, no, I no, was no, like, no, no, no. No, no, he made a pitch deck about furniture in my house. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, wild. okay, do not recommend to make a pitch deck about why you would be a good partner. That's creepy. But <laughs> if it's something First of all, practical, six, four. Imagine this second. My like, way. Like, Hold on, babe. I need to put this on one second. <laughs> Wait, but okay, here's a question. Let's say he had not made the pitch deck. Terrifying. Let's say he had not made the pitch deck. You still would have hung out with him, right? Um, I think it depends because there's always guys sliding through DMs no matter what, no matter who you are, no matter if you have a social media following or not, if you're just like hang out on Facebook, whatever, there's always guys trying to slide through the DMs like, hey, you know, like, sure. how are you doing, beautiful? Like, it could be like, right place, right time, whatever. But mm -hmm. if he did that, then it's like, well, like that's effort put in and I would like to show effort back and get to know this person. But if you weren't into him... I don't think the pitch deck would have been the selling point either. 
But we barely even talked, and on his profile, it didn't really have his face or anything on there at all. Yeah. It was just like a profile. Oh, that's kind of sketch, but okay. <laughs> no, but I knew he was a real person. Like. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Wait. So, how how long do you think he spent on this pitch deck? He said only like twenty minutes, but I thought it was a cool pitch deck. So maybe like an hour or something. He's like, no, I'm I'm just used to doing this with my Other projects women. and films. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> probably sends know. like seven pitch decks a day. So he said he just oh, I'm gonna strategy. make a fucking pitch deck. I'll, he's, <laughs> just wake he's, up twenty minutes like morning routine. <laughs> he's just like it's it it's actually like he gets so much pussy from the pitch decks. <laughs> I mean, no, the he said he's never done that strategy. before. He said he's Jesus. never done that before, and I believe that's him. That's okay. He's not. That's like when a girl who's like really good at head, and she's ah, oh, it's my first time. I've never done this before. I mean, it's like okay, shut the fuck Brian, up. Brian, do you know from experience? Yeah, yeah do you, you? you don't like you don't. You're not a hiccup, like hookup guy, right? What do you? What are you <laughs> oh my about? god, you're like that. He, he knows you, the girls yeah. that give. Are you men. asking if I've ever? If I've just never had if sex you've had before. so much experience with getting head from women that you would experience the type of woman repeatedly, that would be like... It's literally a meme, though. Like, this is a meme that you see online. But there's, I mean, I don't know if I've actually encountered a woman who's like, oh, I'm, I don't know, it's my first time, I don't know if it's going to be good. And then she's like, just fucking going to town. But I don't, <laughs> um, so you haven't experienced that. It's all these specific. I'm sorry. Yeah. I meant to say joke. It's the taking way to being asked. No, they literally. There's meme. There are memes about this. About like, you you guys haven't seen these memes about oh, I've never done this before, and she's like okay, puts herself in fucking doggy position, and she's just like okay, you've never done this before. <laughs> Maybe okay. I have read Everyone's a lot, you know. Maybe they're scholars. They it go happens. Like porn. Reddit. Yeah, they watch a lot of porn. And Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> we do we do have experience like with food kind of in a way with like you know i don't know popsicles lollipops like i don't know yeah i Carrots? think you really just oh. what, what's your Alicia's just at home wait like. yeah what's your go-to food for practicing bjs i think a uh, i want an um, answer from all the women by the way a on this corn on the cob might what be the a fuck? more <laughs> oh, does the dick have an std or something i don't know <laughs> egg corn on like. the cob <laughs> That's just the inside. How do you participate? No, in, like with a man, you're saying you, it's like corn on the cob. Twisting I mean, and no, <laughs> no. Like, like, I'm just saying for size wise, like I don't know, like as far as like a what? realistic. Size, well, there's no different. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> size wise, like this big though. Like I literally see like this the little. Wait, what, what are those like little mini? <laughs> yeah, like those. What are those? What are those, what are those like, fucking called? <laughs> The salad corns. What, what the fuck are those called? Are chat, 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 chat. Yeah, exactly. They're corn. It's like all size. <laughs> my first be, like, my time. My favorite food to practice on is Coke cans. Like this chip. <laughs> uh, my, my first time. Okay, my tell, first time. Tell us time. about the first food no, experience that you had. No, I was talking about my first time eating a girl out. It oh. went what? really well. And it was my first time. It went amazing. It and what about warm. your second time? And third? I think every time it's great. Uh, I mean, I guess we what, what fruit helped you accomplish that? We know about the corn. No fruit. But well, you know, they say gay guys are really good at giving Cause we know. DJs because they know their anatomy. Yes, so maybe. exactly. Do you yeah. consider yourself um, bi, gay? What's your I'm just, flavor? I'm just bisexual. Okay. Well, we haven't gotten to uh, your relationship status yet. Oh, so uh, uh, relationship status? Pitiful. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. Single. And I'm I'm not really like dating right now. Nothing. I'm completely like turned off. Like oh. with a woman, sure, but like men, like I need some time. Why is that? I just always need time. Like after like a breakup, I just got out of something like a couple months ago. A couple so. months ago. How long was that situation? It was only a couple months itself. And it's, you're still not over it. I'm no. Okay, uh, so you. You, uh, you broke up, what, three months ago, four months ago? Um, in June. June, July. Okay, th about three months. So there's nothing since then. Zilch. Um, no um, dates. No pussy eating. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> She's celibate now. I, I really am. Stop the cow. I don't believe it. 
Do Come you on. need proof? Like what? What Wait, can I do to prove it to Yes, I want to go through your phone right uh, now. Give okay. me your phone. Because you're an it. OnlyFans model, right? Phone is so a does this include work? Um, and well, do you model oh, with right. men? Oh. Um, no, I don't. Oh, Just okay. women and myself. Oh, okay. Solo content. Okay. So it's like... Well, you not know. solo content with I don't women. Think, well, women are people. She, she does. <laughs> <laughs> women are people too. Well, don't you want to repeal the 19th? But um, <laughs> No, I, I don't, but I do oh, understand Pearlie's arguments with repealing the 19th. I understand where she's coming from. She does girl-girl content and solo content. Yes. Okay. Um, so have you shot any? Well. No. What? Just Nothing. me, just, just be solo. myself. Okay. Oh, and just mm -hmm. you to do OF, uh, what kind of content do you guys do? Is it solo content, girl, girl, boy, girl? Um, so I mostly do like lubes, like lingerie and bikini. I don't really it's do. It's not full. Yeah, it's not full. You can't see like top? vagina and stuff. Occasionally top, but like mostly like, oh, occasionally top, but mostly pasties. But it's okay. more like lingerie, lube content, cosplay, etc. Got it. Okay. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I do a lot of solo content, just solo. Have it, either any of you done any BG content, like in the past? I tried What's BG with a content. Boy girl. Oh no. <laughs> I tried with a boyfriend, but we never like put posted it out. It. Okay. Never posted it. I was just oh. concerned about his Tyler well-being. Tyler Durden, seven hundred and seventy-seven donated one hundred dollars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes. Gosh, sure. Working it's... jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. Right, Slaves okay. with Fight white clothes. Reject modernity. Embrace masculinity. It's good. It's also, a good point. It's a good 777 oh, decillion wow. 777. No nillion 777 octillion 777 septillion 777 sextillion 777 quintillion 777 quadrillion 777 trillion 777 billion 777 million 777777 luck in some cultures thank right? you uh thank you tyler Durden. appreciate it um lauren your relationship status i am single yeah how long have you been single for life for life yeah. oh yeah uh you've never had a serious boyfriend right? no uh well we might have talked about last show but it's i'm sure well we've got new people here uh what's the longest period of time that you've Maybe you didn't have an official boyfriend, but there was a guy that you were seeing for some period of time. <sighs> Two months, three months. I dated, well, you six know. Six weeks. People like to point out, I dated Martin Shkreli for like two years. Oh, um, but uh, you guys weren't boyfriend, girlfriends? Wait, well, was he? Um, no, because like I thought we were, but then he... <laughs> Yo, FTG, thank you uh, for the uh, gifted 50 memberships. Yo, w, W's in the chat for FDG there. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it was kind of like, um, I don't know. So I kind of thought we were heading towards a relationship, and he did not. And uh, it was very on and off. And yeah. For two years? For two years, and then he ended up going to prison for like seven. Yeah, Nick, and can you oh. just do a Google, just for people who don't know who Martin Shkreli is, Nick, can you just do a Google on um, on Things him, happen, for context. you know. Things do happen. Were you, were you dating him no. dur while he was incarcerated, or? No, I dated him like prior. at kind of like the height of his like fame and like no right, like all of this. Were you still romantically involved with him when like kind of the, some of the, not when he was in prison, but while the court case was going on, or yeah, I like moved in with him for oh, a brief. Nick, no, 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 just go to the Wikipedia. Go to the Wikipedia. I moved in with him for like a brief period, but like we're still friends. Like Here, if Nick, I... uh, let me just read this real quick. Uh, Martin Shkreli, born 1983, is an American CEO, hedge fund manager, and fraud convict. Shkreli is the co-founder of the hedge funds Elia Capital, MSMB Capital Management, a couple other things. Um, former CEO of Startup Software. S September 2015, Shkreli was widely criticized when Turing obtained the manufacturing license for the anti-parasitic drug 
Daraprim, is it Daraprim? Daraprim. and raised its price by 5,455% from US $13 to 750 per pill. Ooh, yikes. In 2017, Shkreli was charged and convicted in federal court on two counts of securities fraud and one count of conspiracy for activity unrelated to the Daraprim controversy. He was sent- sentenced to seven years in prison and up to 7.4 million in fines. In the civil case, he was fined a further $64.6 million to, repaid, to be repaid to victims on May 18, 2022. Shkreli was released early from the low-security federal prison in Allenwood, Allenwood, Pennsylvania. So that's a little background on uh, Mr. Martin Shkreli. Yeah. Um, Have you talked to him since he was out? Oh, uh, yeah. We talk all, all... I think we talked to yesterday. We talk all the time. Yeah. Like, he's a bro. He's a homie. Yeah. Cool. Wu-Tang forever. Um, oh, yeah. Harambe for life. He bought... The right bring back Harambe. He patented a drug. So he bought the Wu Tang album. I actually have a picture of myself holding it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wu Tang. Um, I even got to meet uh, Riza and like hang out with him for a while. That's it's awesome. Pretty chill. We'll give the background cool. down that. So he bought the exclusive ownership rights to uh, like one of their Wu Tang clans, one of their albums. Is that correct? Yeah, so he's really into music. So he bought, uh, they had an album, and I don't know if they knew how it was going to sell. So they were like, we'll have, instead of putting it out for the public, we'll have like an exclusive rights ownership to it. And so he bought it on an auction, and he got it, I think, for like $2 million, which I think is pretty cheap for like entire ownership of Wu Tang. But then he didn't ever republish it for anyone to hear so very select people got to listen to literally any of it hmm. yeah and you did so you dated him for two years uh very on and off i wouldn't have on and off yeah was it would you characterize it as a toxic relationship or um i think we had really poor communication i think uh he had really a lot of stress coming up with his court case and uh so I think that it was just a really bad time, but I think he's doing a lot better now. I know him and his girlfriend, his most recent girlfriend, like just broke up and I think he's pretty bummed about that. But he did have a pretty healthy relationship with her and I think he's doing a really good job with like creating healthy relationships now. So I'm pretty happy for him. When you first started dating him, was he at that point already embroiled in the criminal case? No, not at all. Not at all at all. Okay, no. so at what point in the relationship did the criminal case we developed like oh um kind of towards the end um so we were so he got famous for raising the price of the pill and i looked into it and nobody was getting harmed from the pill and so i reached out to him and i was like i'm very confused you're kind of made to be the enemy here but it seems like you're doing a lot of research and development helping people and yada yada and he was like, oh, yeah, let's talk about it. I swing by UC Davis area frequently for my other companies in San Francisco. So, like, we hung out, and then we were just continued hanging out. And then um, that was, like, years before he was charged with anything, like, maybe a year and a half before he was charged with anything. And then then he went to prison, and, yeah. Was Did he try to hit you up all of his, while he was in prison? Yeah, he did. This is a collect call from the... <laughs> <laughs> he had a prison cell phone. Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Yeah. A federal facility. Yeah. <laughs> did, where, did he ever propose like a marriage to you so there could be conjugal visits? Um, no. One time before he got in financial trouble, he was like, he's really into live streaming. This is so embarrassing. I don't know why I'm telling the story. Um, he was really in a live streaming and he took me to a Tiffany's and then he proposed to me in the Tiffany's and then when I said yes, he said, just kidding. <gasps> but what a jerk! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait, sorry, did they bring out the champagne and everything? Were no. they all like, let's go? Oh my God. So you, no. wait, just Thank God it didn't you? get that far. It was just oh. like, it was like immediately like, ha just kidding. <laughs> what was like, your response to that? What was your response? Please tell me you were upset. Oh my god, I was mortified. No, were you, were you laughing or were you like, fuck you? Oh, well, keep in mind, we were on camera and at the time, like, I didn't have like any social, really almost any social media. And so, like, mm-hmm. I just was like, I was just like really wanting to 
be liked. So I was like, oh, ah, ha, ha. And then I, like, ran away to go cry. And then I, like, oh, came no. back. <laughs> oh. yeah. They what told us, dick. like, not to trauma dump, and I'm trauma dumping. <laughs> I mean, that's a really interesting situation. I mean, he though. asked. So. Yeah. <laughs> but that wasn't to get conjugal vis- visits. visits. That was not yeah. for It was just yeah. a troll. Yeah, this was, was before he was in any legal he trouble made whatsoever. It serious. He could have gotten them visits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he cares that much about that mm. that's really good i love that in a man to yeah not but care he's about like sex. a jerk <laughs> i don't know if i'd call him a jerk i just think that he sometimes thinks there, things are funny and he doesn't think through like how harm like i think he's just like <laughs> yeah. i don't think he realized like i think he genuinely thought that was just like a funny joke and something that would be funny on a live stream i don't think he really thought about it from like the perspective like the female perspective and how devastating it is Yo, FTG, thank you very much for the 50 gifted memberships. W's in the chat for FTG. Okay, so you were involved with Martin Shkreli for a little bit, so, mm. uh, but it was on again, off again relationship, so it is some, sometimes hard to count that. Yeah. Like, how do you, like, were you dating, like, are you dating for two years, but it was no. on, off, so. Um, what about besides Martin Shkreli? Uh, any two month, three month, six weeks? Have I had situationships? Yeah. Like, yes, I've... Besides him, what's, the, like, the longest situationship that you've had? I don't know. I, I've never had any, like, long-term situationships. He's probably the longest, and that was two years. I don't think I've had any situationships other than that. That okay. lasted, like, a year or anything. Gotcha. And you want to get married at one point, one day, have kids, et cetera? Very much so, yeah. Gotcha. Very much want to get married, have kids. Do you, and when it comes to like having either not found that person or not having had any other long-term relationships, do you think that it just be the men out here that be fucking up? Do you feel like there's maybe, is there something you're doing? Is it the men that are fucking up? What, what's your diagnosis? Um, yeah, I mean like, there has to be something I'm doing, right? Like, like I, I want something and I'm trying to get it and I'm not achieving that goal. I'm working on it. Um, no, it's hard to find, I don't know, other people do it, so it's can't say that it's impossible, but it's hard to find somebody. Like, I just want to go on dates and meet someone nice and take things slow and figure it out, but it is difficult mm. to meet people to even just get an initial date with, so... You gotta check the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing. Yeah, I have, sure, I have like people like swarming my DMs, but like, like what? So, and what am I supposed to do? Like, search through everyone, look through their pictures, and then go based off their picture and like meet them out for, like, that's really hard too. I do wanna meet someone. I would prefer to meet someone organically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. I feel that. Morpheus donated $100. The Matrix is a system. That mm-hmm. system is our enemy. You have to understand, Spaced. most Spaced. of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inured, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. I'm curious. That's, that's true. That's true, Morpheus. Mm-hmm. Take the red pill. Which system? Are you talking like about? relationship system? Definitely like the relationship. Political system? <laughs> I think, I think all system. of the above. <laughs> Oh, we got Mike Davis. Mike here. Davis donated one hundred dollars. Thank you, Morpheus. Brian, Mike Davis. where did you find this group? You put an ad on Craigslist seeking basic white girls. <laughs> what they you... all talk the same. What do you? Th- nah, but for real. I can only laugh. These broads really in their head think they be special when they dime a dozen. Dime a dozen. That's Mike Davis. Everybody, if you want to know, that's pretend that's. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. That was uh, really rude, Mike. And am I not here? Like. <laughs> we're, all, we're all white I'm today. Just, I was about we to say, have white privilege today. You're white, you're we, have, we have two Asian women, and are you Latina? Barb- Afro-Latina, Mexican, and black. Okay. Native American. Okay. No, you're white. He just said we're that. white. We have white privilege and now. Mm-hmm. We all talk the same, yeah. I guess <laughs> that's white now. Uh, well, Mike Davis, thank you very much. Good to see you back in the uh, chat there. Uh, l- while we got some chats up, uh, Space Monkey, Amy Dangerfield's video on Andrew Tate was question mark nair. Can you... <gasps> Can we get in there? No, no, yeah. <laughs> Thank I you. I don't. I don't. You question mark? Question mark? I don't know. <laughs> That's Let's, positive or negative? I, I, yeah, it's a little vague. <laughs> it's questionable. Okay. You did a video on Andrew Tate. I, I did. Guess. Yeah. Uh huh. I did an analysis of okay. the victims that came forward. 
on my YouTube. Victims. Oh, shit. You don't know about his criminal charges? Well, let's keep it moving. All right, we have <laughs> Pimp Rogers here. Hello, my beautiful Ozzy Amy. Brian, anything special for episode 100? Also, bro, I'm, okay, I'm, uh, was, drag your name, yeah, I'm not gonna address, like, bullshit fucking shit like that, but, uh, nothing special planned for episode 100. Um, oh, yo, FTG, thank for the 50 gifted memberships. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Okay. Yep. We should all celebrate. Yay! Is this Thanks. Twitch kick or? <laughs> what do you mean? The subscriptions. Twitch. Oh, the memberships. That's uh, YouTube. Oh. Yeah, it's on YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, Amy, your relationship status? I'm single. My longest relationship was four years, which was my last relationship, which okay. ended about four months ago. Four months ago. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Your mm -hmm. most recent relationship ended four months ago. Correct, and that was my longest four years. Your, oh, your longest relationship was four years. Yes, which is the last one, which ended about four. Four months ago? Yeah, I'd say, wait, it was in a, the end of May. So whatever that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Cool, cool. Uh, I had a question for the girls who do uh, OnlyFans. Uh, so some people on OnlyFans can make a lot of money. Just curious, are you guys down to share like how much money you guys make? I'd rather really? not, but they can. Is it five, five figures, six <laughs> figures a month? Are y'all in the top one percent of OnlyFans that make t at least twenty five hundred per month? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, easy. that. But That's so you're the, you're all the top one percent, the three people under the mine? So under like top under one percent or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Point what? I don't know. It, it, it fluctuates. Just, it fluctuates. It also yeah. depends on like if you're with a good agency, if you're putting out a lot of content on social media. It depends on a lot of things. I don't know what that means. So I don't know. Do you guys? Call talk to your to the guys that you that follow you do you have like those communications or is it just the photos and the videos like on social media or on only fans on only fans i think it depends on if you have an agency sometimes the girls are managed sometimes like the girls you, are not. Personally. you personally i do yeah yeah you okay what do you have any men that consider you to be like their girlfriend um I feel like they do. I mean, we're kind of like selling a fantasy here, you know? Like, I feel like they might, yeah. Okay, do you see any like potential conflicts with that? And do they ever ask to meet up? And how do you get out of like ever actually meeting them in person? Oh, I just very forward, like, like I say, I'm not comfortable with that. Like if they ask anything that I'm not willing to do or like meeting up or like um, any photos or videos I don't want to do, I just tell them I don't want to. Oh, okay. And so you have these guys who consider you to be their girlfriend and then they'd be like, oh, but can we get some, like, want to get a drink sometime? And you're just like, no, never. How yeah, does that I would say no. It's for, like, like safety reasons. I don't really want to meet up with, like, people online. They're yeah. probably parasocial. Like Yeah, I think it's more parasocial than, like, actually thinking you're a girlfriend. You're more like an e-girl to them. I don't think anybody thinks you're in a serious relationship ever because they understand that they're on a platform talking to you. It's not like mm -hmm. you're actually like talking on the phone mm -hmm. or like meeting yeah. up for dates and stuff. And um, parasocial relationships exist in a lot of capacities. Like people feel a parasocial relationship with their favorite influencers and celebrities. But I think it borders on the line of a little bit more precarious and a little bit more, hmm, maybe this is not quite safe when you are so sexually involved with them as well because that draws on emotions that are not typical in the average parasocial relationship where people are just worshiping their social media idols or celebrities you know what i mean i think that's kind of right i mean and also like those people have security for a reason like like most celebrities that you see out have security and you guys there's just now all of these content creators who um, i don't think they're as careful about not letting the public know their whereabouts and often they're actually really loose with letting people know mm -hmm. their docs information and it just seems dangerous. I think that's also one of the things I think it's a bit of a cope when people say like oh OnlyFans is so much safer than these other platforms because OnlyFans did not start as a content for that type of explicit content it started off as like a Patreon of sorts right where they had more relaxed kind of standards 
And so when you look at the traditional sex work environment, strip clubs, you know, anything like that, there are guidelines in place. There are restrictions. There's like direct training on that versus with OnlyFans because it wasn't the, the platform wasn't explicitly started with that intent. I feel like that's lacking, which can almost cause people to fall into more precarious situations, just depending on what comes up. You know? I feel like I'm, even Instagram is more dangerous in a sense because people are involved with your life emotionally. You're posting stories all the time. There's not like a story feature on OnlyFans, for example. Mm -hmm. It's not like purely transactional. You can like communicate and comment and like be invested in a figure or social media persona like very, very intensely. Mm -hmm. And I don't see it like as that... There's also like the lack of there's two things that are different than on Instagram. So now with Instagram you can like post bikini pictures, you can post whatever, but it's not like overtly sexual. You're not like literally selling sex. I mean you kinda are, but not explicitly. And then also the exchange the marketing the sex. You're marketing, you're marketing sex. sex. You're not selling yeah, sex. But I feel like and then also can be, oh, my on. sorry, my second one was the exchange of money. I think people Nick, start can you put feeling on start, please. As though they have some sort of ownership over people or ownership over the women because they've paid some specific amount and therefore, like, they're entitled to... I, I worry about people becoming uh, possessive, obsessive, and feeling entitled. I um, just want to say, as far as, like, the strip club or, like, other, like, walks of sex work, I feel like OnlyFans is kind of, like, the safest because, like with those you have to be with these people in person as far as i don't want to say any words that i can't say but like just other forms of sex work like you mm -hmm. know because i used to do those and i joined only fans because it was like i don't have to see these people they know what i want them to know and it was like just safer like as far as that goes yeah. like she's talking about like what is the recourse though if someone was crazy because there's a lot of recourse and there are set protocols and standards in place with these forms of sex work that are like explicitly considered sex work versus something like OnlyFans, which is a little bit more vague, a little bit more ambiguous. Like what is the true recourse for that? Do you know what I mean? Like are there those specific standards and protocols in place where people are even informing themselves about the potential dangers and how to be aware of them and how to navigate them if they were to arise, you know? I would, I would just say it's like the same protocols as like if anyone was in danger, like, you know, Mm -hmm. police like, or like I've had in person like people follow me to my car and all these different things like mm -hmm. in real life or on from your regular. only fans as a result of that or like no in, or before just in real I ever life, made a social media I've had mm -hmm. guys cat call me follow me in your car it's just downtown mm -hmm. LA and all you ha can do is just like keep walking but on only fans you can establish your specific boundaries like hey I'm not comfortable with this this and this mm -hmm. here are some photo sets that you can buy Mm -hmm. here is how we can like chat but it's very strict boundaries i think it just depends on how you are able to establish boundaries for yourself because mm -hmm. i feel like just existing as a woman is kind of dangerous in society like if you're walking alone in like a bad part of town like, I, I mean it's actually more dangerous to exist as a man yeah i think men actually get, do get more violently targeted but it's men, always men are more likely to be victims of do, violent crime so but yeah, was, violent crimes for sure. But I think when it, oh, I think it, the, I just, I just, yes, okay. I just want to know who is the who is committing these crimes like against the men. Men. That that's kind of that's kind of almost victim blaming. What does it matter? What no, the I'm just of the saying. Is? I'm just saying. Like it just feels like men. The conversation of safety and the world not being safe. It's like just because comes back to men sometimes. it's not because of men it's a very small proportion of men mm -hmm. who commit yeah. these violent crimes so and they've existed since the beginning of time and that's never going to change it's with almost any st that's with almost any group of people though for any stats figures it's almost a always a small group but usually like if you divide by race or by gender or whatever then there's a larger percentage within each categorized group in some as opposed to others which mm -hmm. makes these disparities seem large mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I think um, when people say oh it's more dangerous for men it really depends on how you qualify that because I feel like if just across the board generally well, speaking violent crime go ahead okay because I was gonna say I think women do a lot of um, risk de-escalation as much as they can so if women took the same actions as men do then you might see similar numbers of violence but what ends up happening is that women from a young age are socialized to okay don't be out too late at night or if you are be with like a bunch of friends and like always like be careful walking to the parking lot and have the keys with you and the pepper spray and the 911 ready to call and if a guy like flirts with you or comes up with you think about all the ways that he can harm you so 
I'm not saying that men aren't larger victims of like let's say street violence for example um but I wonder if those numbers would change if women were more casual like men are I think it just has to do with proximity and then also like you have gang violence is going to be like one of the main and so it's usually gangs fighting against each other to tend to be men yeah but like also like if you break it down by race like black people tend to hurt black people whereas white people hurt white people asian people hurt asian people women hurt women men hurt men just like it I would say way more men hurt women, but so you'll you'll see more men hurting women than women hurting men, but men attack men more than men attack women. Yeah, that's so true. I think men, we just as I think it's a society that is the reason for this systemic thing. I wouldn't say it's just men. I would just say it's how they were um, raised. Um, is it <laughs> raised or wired? Like nature just, or nurture? <laughs> I don't think any of us were like. Um, uh, have much of a chance with the way that the system is set up. Yeah, it's yeah, largely based on like socioeconomic conditions too. To yeah, I feel like I agree with that because I also was born and raised in China from Beijing for 15 years. I've never actually experienced such high amount of violence where I grew up. Maybe you could say it's communism. You could say it's like the government controls everything, but like. Um, this much amount of, um, amount of violence is kind of unheard of, almost. I was like pretty shocked when I got here, to be honest. So, sorry, you were saying in Beijing there's less violence than in America? I think it's simply because the government has more control so over So wait, there. do you prefer communism then? I don't have a preference. I think I actually prefer here, but because people here can actually have their own voice, have their opinions, and then like be who they are, I think that could potentially lead to like okay. more violence. Have you experienced with the communist government like governmental violence in China? I've not personally experienced it, but I've heard things. <laughs> What's that face? Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck this has to do with dating, but okay. Um, so we're at <laughs> we're not about violence you're, okay you were you were making the point pixie that uh women because the way they they are raised to be more aware of risk like that, risk adverse yeah okay there was another part that you said after that that i had a point on but it's evaded me um what do you what what did you she say was saying that? that if women were women are brought up to be cautious around men which is why they potentially have less conflicts with men than when you were saying that men get attacked more frequently than women but you could also argue that men have uh there's there's something in within a lot of men which is like a white knight thing where it's like told never to hit a woman um in fact i think women have certain privileges on the street for example like you, for example, let's say you're in some, you're walking in mm-hmm. some bar or nightclub district, and a guy comes up to you and slaps you across the face. Uh, there are totally strange men that will intervene on your behalf and essentially be your bodyguards for free that will defend you. However, if I just get slapped in the face by some dude and he starts trying to fuck me up, nobody's coming to save me. So I think that's actually. Uh, a, ben- a privilege that women have. You basically, in a uh, public area, you basically have male bodyguards that will intervene on your behalf that are total strangers. I don't know. Okay. Like, I agree to you to a certain extent, as- especially like if a woman were to slap you, I highly doubt that you'll have any interveners. Uh, but if a, a random man slaps you, I think you'll have a high likelihood that you're also going to have strangers intervene. No. And then also no. there's been Police, multiple probably. issues, Police. specifically during COVID, like when they started letting the trains run again, where women were being, you know, essayed on the trains in New York. And sometimes for many, many stops and passerbyers were videotaping it and nobody was doing anything to help these women. So women do experience experience that as well yeah i'll agree with you that uh in general strangers are more likely to help a woman being beaten than a man being beaten by a woman but uh there's women definitely experience times where strangers will not help them i'm not saying that it i'm not saying that there's never a situation where a woman is being physically assaulted by a man 
and that it's impossible that the guy doesn't intervene. However, it's very, I would say it's very likely if there's other men around seeing a woman being beaten by a man, they are very likely to not just intervene, but beat the fucking shit out of the guy who's beating on the Facts. woman. Whereas if I'm getting attacked by another man, I'm not, I don't know why you flip the genders. If I'm getting attacked by another man, there's no, there, it's very, very unlikely that other men are going to intervene to, to stop. And just to say something on that. So for example, when, when that situation does arise, when a woman is being beaten by a man and there aren't any, any defenders, oftentimes there could be missing context from the situation. So did you guys hear about the woman who got bricked in the face recently? She literally oh, yeah, got. We talked about that. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to talk about mm -hmm. it. Um, oh, we don't. We don't have to. I was just using it as an example because at, she was literally saying men weren't standing up for me. Men are pussies. They're cowards. This and that, trying to paint this narrative. But there was a lot more to the context than. Mike Davis donated one hundred dollars. Hold on, just a sec. People Thank you, Mike Davis. People be thinking I'm anti women when the fact is I'm anti everybody. Most men are completely useless working dead end jobs just to throw that bread at some e thought but they're self-aware and know they're losers. 300 plus pound women think they're special. Crazy. All right, Mike Davis, there you go. The resident, he's, he's on something. Um, Thank you, Mike yeah. Davis, appreciate it. I, I think that, although in theory it sounds like, oh yeah, like, you know, men will be valiant and stand up for women. There's a reason why women are even given advice like, hey, if you're being assaulted or if some like strange guy's trying to attack you, instead of yelling like, help, like I'm being, essayed um instead they say you should scream fire because like there is like the bystander effect there is oh you know a lot of people both men and women in the face of atrocities freeze or think that somebody else called the police somebody else is going to do something about it regardless of gender you kind of want to talk about why men defend women when they see them being harmed on the streets i think most of the time like the average woman's height is like 5'4 versus the average male height is 5'9 mm -hmm. and there's you know a lot more muscle mass when just when you're a guy in general and I feel like people tend to want to defend people who are tiny like, yeah like just smaller like it's like if you see someone literally like beating the shit out of a kid or someone who is you know that cannot physically defend themselves, then you are more inclined to help. If someone's yeah. beating on an old person in a wheelchair, he's like, hey, sure. stop that. So yeah, I, I actually I agree with that. I think uh, if there's a disparity in size or strength, I think there's perhaps, even, even if it's two men, there might be a greater likelihood of intervention. And certainly your examples with, if it's someone who's elderly, uh, a child, uh, I, I actually, yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. You said you had a question for me before you went up to... Oh, yeah. I was wondering how many people you share your location with on your phone. Like, just find my friends if you have an iPhone or Android. Um, how many people? I, I don't think I share my location with anybody. So I want to bring up that most women share their locations with other women and friends just sure. as, like, a primary safety. Like, hey, if I go on this date, this is where I'm at. Something sure. could happen, and it's just we're taught to always be cautious because things can happen, and then we get blamed if something does happen <laughs> a lot of times. Like if someone drugs our drink or if someone ends up essaying us, like it's typically like, oh, we didn't take enough precaution. You always have to have an out, like, hey, like I'm right here. Come pick me up, whatever. Okay. Yeah. It was... <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's fucking talk about something else. Um, so, um, hold on. Let me see if there's any chats. Uh, let me get rid of this. It's just men no, of the dangerous places. I mean, as far as, okay, just really quick, me personally, like me not sharing my location. I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs. I don't go to parties. So I'm not putting myself in potentially violent situations that often happen when you are like, so I could, it's plausible that a girl that three times a week she's getting fucking tanked at uh, at bars and nightclubs, it's probably likely that she's going to be sharing her location with more people because she is putting herself in those sorts of, when you're out at nightclubs and bars and parties, no, like it is a vulnerable, it's a vulnerable position for both men and women. 
Yeah, I was going to say, I don't share my location with anyone. Oh, really? I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't put myself in those situations where I feel like I would you need to. I used to share it with my ex. Um, you might need to just yeah. the volume And on to her. be honest, when I came over here and I traveled to California, I kind of thought, though, I thought about that. I'm like, wow, he was the only person who actually had my location, and I'm here in this state where I don't know anyone. And I did think about that for a second. But to your point, no, I didn't. I, I'm not with a bunch of my friends. It was with one person. I mean, I don't really go to a bunch of clubs or bars or anything, but mm-hmm. I always share my location no matter what mm-hmm. with like my best friends, with, with just people that even if we're just like having dinner or something like, oh, this, where did you park? And it's mm-hmm. just like very casual for me. Right. But maybe it's like the location or like age thing. I don't know. I actually do share my location with a lot of people too, and I think it might be like a physical location thing because I live in the middle of LA. I'm not gonna share where, but mm-hmm. I don't feel safe walking around sometimes. Going just going to the grocery store by myself sometimes, mm-hmm. which is why I share my locations sure. yeah. with friends. Also, I, I would point out. I think you mentioned the word feel, right? So I do think it's the case that women feel less safe. But like, if you look at the actual data, the actual statistics. As far when it comes to violent crime across the board, generally speaking, men are more likely to be victims of violent crime. They're more likely to, to be, be mugged. So, but then you don't want to be harassed either. Even if they're not going to stab you, you don't want someone following home and like hit on you either. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. sound. You don't want someone following you, of course. Yeah. Did you have something for this, Lauren? It sounded like. Well, just like you you said violent crimes across the board. So I'd imagine those statistics, a lot of them would include like gang violence and then also men who are assaulting each other. And then one is considered the victim, even though they're both kind of at it fighting with each other. So I think that's going to inflate the statistics. I would, I don't really know. Wait, what? You're saying that men. So the incidence of violence perpetrated by men, you're saying that's inflated by male versus male violence as well, which is being categorized into that statistic. Yeah, so like uh, not so much just like random victims on the street. I don't Mm -hmm. think that like men are being perpetrated more often than females, like in those situations. They they are though. Also like mugging and stuff. You don't think your statistics are inflated by gang violence and other types of like violence among- No. I, Male I, groups. If you probably removed gang violence, it would still be uh, more likely. I, I think, um, as brought earlier, it also depends like on type of violence, and that's why women are like more cautious as well. Because I think that there is a very big difference for people saying like, oh, you know, we got into a fist fight. Maybe there was like a stabbing versus like, oh, there was a potential stabbing and essay, right? Or human trafficking potentially or things of that degree so i think that also um for a lot of people it's like would you rather be beat up or would you rather be horribly essayed and i think a lot of people would pick like the beating up wait so hold on you're comparing essay to getting beat up but like let's talk about murders men are more likely to be victims of murder would you rather be essayed or be murdered Oh, you don't want me to answer this question. <laughs> I, mean, I think you you'd literally be, Okay, you'd rather be murdered. That's I mean No, I mean I don't I don't think that's an answer other people should have, but But pers- you it's not a fair comparison to say, would you rather just get into a fist fight or get fucking violently essayed? Well, no, that's but that, that's comparison. that's a, exactly that's the point. You're saying like, oh no, men overall, um, you know, they're more victims of violence, et cetera, et cetera. They, they are. No, I'm they not. Are. I'm not there disagreeing certain, with that. Now, there's there's differentials in terms of women are more likely to be essayed, although then murdered. I mean, yeah. Yes, you, you <laughs> women are more likely to be human trafficked. Women are more likely to be victims of domestic assault. In the women United, are. We're talking in the, about yes, the United, in the United States. States. Right? Okay. Women are more likely. What does it um, mean to be, to be human trafficked? Just so I'm clear, are we talking like pimp, pimping? Yeah, or pimped out, lab- labor, there's labor trafficking, there's a lot of different types of human trafficking. You're more likely to like be a maid than trafficked here. So basically it goes beyond, a lot of people when they think human trafficking, right, they think I'm a slave, like I'm in chains or I am being like physically or, you know, mentally I- exploited, right? Um, but what they're saying now is that the lover boy method of human trafficking is also equally punishable Nick, under a court of law. Meaning that like you could get the same level of punishment, prison time, everything for the lover boy method versus, you know, any other forms of human trafficking, which are done by force versus coercion. So coercion is basically like making a woman believe that you love them, right? And then forcing them into sex work under some type of guise of relationship or cohabitation situation, which is what the Tates are facing right now. 
um, so that's Romanian law, and that's that's Romanian that's law. That's also it, uh, coercion is also applicable under U.S. law as well. Right. Mm-hmm. And How do you prove coercion? So you have like it's pretty subjective, but you're it's, trying to show that there's some sort of power dynamic. So it, I read the Romanian law, and I, I don't know the American law because I wasn't interested in it. And at least in Romania, they like specifically say that there has to be some sort of power differential where the person feels like a loss of control and what they're trying to say in the Tate case is they have like some text message exchange in which uh, now there's debate whether or not this text message exchange is real but in which uh, it seems like the Tates are saying like let's get poor people and like let's get poor girls who will not be able to leave and yada yada but there's doubt whether or not that's a real text exchange there's doubt whether that will be admissible evidence it's doubt whether or not that's about the women that are the prime victims in the alleged victims in the case Mm -hmm. so um yeah but because technically to prove coercion completely like unless you have like physical documented evidence like it's very difficult it's kind of like a rape case right unless you have the physical like evidence right and you're able to get a rape kit like immediately after yeah let's not talk about that (laughs) great but sorry, that it's very similar type of thing, right? Where it's highly subjective in the court of law. Yeah. Oftentimes, yeah. I have a question though, okay. So when it comes to like DV, right? So you often hear interpartner violence that oh men are just beating women up en masse. But what's interesting to me is domestic violence rates are actually lowest amongst gay men and highest mm-hmm. amongst lesbian women. So I believe it. So I believe it. So how's the rate it, of reporting? That's kind of like or interesting. Or is it reported? Like is yeah, like it's the rate of reporting. Like you don't think women would report more likely than men? I think men don't report DV at all. I think all, there are a lot of abusive women out there who beat men up, but men choose to not report to the police. So, so you're saying? Oh, I mean, that's almost further proven my point a little bit but yeah i think um what is it at least from the self-reports like separate from like let's say like police reports it still seems like there's a disparity but i absolutely can agree with you that yeah like a lot of men are disincentivized from going to the police or reporting in general because there is a general stigma against men who are in these situations and that's really sad and horrible however i would say that most men on average can overpower a woman and if a woman decided to physically beat a man up the man can stop them physically just muscle mass wise and height and weight wise weight class i'm not i'm Bro, not this just conversation is such a buzzkill i don't want to talk about <laughs> dv and sa anymore um okay um what's the next topic <laughs> all right um okay wait so emmy for you you said your boyfriend and you said he made you this pitch deck uh in your pre-show notes to us you also said he made he gifted you furniture on the first date? You yeah. Didn't... Okay. What, what did he give you? Like a duvet? Wait, not a duvet. A fucking... Um... He, he gave me a tabletop. Because like... he just moved into your home, right? You said you just bought your home. Is yeah, I got, I got my home around like a month before that mm-hmm. me and him ever met. But we started talking like whenever. Um, and I was on a Twitch stream and I was like, oh my God, my Ikea like tabletop is breaking down. And he was on the stream and he was like, yeah, I got like a wood guy. I got the best one in town. Like, ha ha. <laughs> I bet. bet he does have She'll the best one bed. in town. <laughs> That's what got her. So he bought you just a tabletop? Yeah, he got like two big slabs of wood. Oh, me. he got you wood? He delivered me wood. On he the delivered first me date? Wood. The wood. <laughs> yeah. Did, you, did he also give you the wood? No, not on the first date, Not no. on the first date? Okay. Uh, <laughs> second date? Did he show up with some, with okay. a package? <laughs> on the second day, not like you know. Um, I think yeah, I think it's like around second or third date. Yeah. What do you get you on the third date? <laughs> Wiener, schnitzel. Just holiday time spent and Aww. words of affirmation, and okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's All a right. sweet guy. What are, are your what's love your language? love language, Brian? <laughs> My love language. Yeah. What uh what what are the five? It's physical touch. Words of affirmation. Quality Gifts, time. Quality, quality time. time. And then acts, uh, of, acts service. of service. Yeah. Of service. I want to say acts of service, mm-hmm. number one. Mm. Physical touch. Eh, eh. Quality time is pretty, that's down there. 
Uh, <gasps> Down to one hundred. Because you're spending you time. You like to receive gifts. You like to give gifts. Uh, gifts, I don't really. Get. Gifts would be like. He loves gifts. Look at the donos. Don't know more. He loves it. Look at his face light up every time someone gives. He's like. And his attachments to like certain physical items. Like you have some like. Your emotional attachments to something. Yeah, like the mm-hmm. very autistic. But like Brian? Yeah. yeah. Let's diagnose Brian right now. Chat, what do you think? <laughs> What's the uh, wait, so okay. Uh, acts of service, physical touch. Uh, quality time. Quality time. You said that's low down. Gift giving is also Gift giving. Low down. What's what's the other one? Acts of service is top. Wait, what's the fifth one? Oh. Word, uh, words of affirmation. Words of, words of so like oh, you did a great job, Brian. You did so I good. I'm proud show. of you. you it's so amazing. That was amazing. That, that was the sickest show. Like does you that make you feel those great? OnlyFans girls, babe. <laughs> <The fuck? laughs> uh, yeah. I it's, mean, he's smiling and saying they're all good. I like them all. I like them all. Um, I don't know. I the I feel like the whole love language thing though is kind of bullshit. A I little agree. bit. I honestly agree. It's just agree. like, I don't know. It's you can't categorize things into like true main. I guess. Gifts, yeah, because doesn't quality know. time include all of it? Like, is it quality time still if you just like don't no, talk at all and you like... You send me a stack of cash. You don't have to spend time with me, right? That's no, like, give you a like, <laughs> Also with the whole... Uh, with we the do whole, want Lauren Light. It's okay. <laughs> with the whole love language thing. When, so, like, for example, on a dating app, if you see somebody list their love languages, it's Oof. not clear to me if that's what you desire or that's how you show love. It, they like, tend to be both. They tend to be one and the same. Is it both? Because no. I, I think I be... like giving gifts. Like, I like to, I don't know, make like a personal card for people, but not necessarily receiving that. You don't like to receive the cards. If you got a card, you'd be like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) Why don't you hang out with me instead? I'm your dumbass card. People tend to to show people how they want to be interacted with. And Mm so people, it's not always for everybody. So maybe you're an exception, but most people tend to... Uh, do what they want to receive projecting they're projecting basically so like Uh, i am uh, pretty good at like painting and drawing and that's like what my friends think is cool so i like to make little crafts and things for my friends because you know they'll appreciate it specifically yeah but i don't necessarily expect that back at all Hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. like if my friend is really good at like words of affirmation through like an essay or poem person i think like a poem is like oh cool but i can't do that really mm-hmm. someone hands you a poem and you're gonna be like oh wow really i yeah, feel like, they, like i wouldn't be able to like on my birthday it's like oh like happy birthday i just you know you're my best friend like, there's <laughs> okay there's some gifts that people really do think they're doing the right thing and it is the wrong thing like my friend someone serenaded her one time to prom Jason, and i just remember thinking if someone serenaded me, I'd just cringe. I'd like want to. I would. I'd point and laugh and <laughs> call him Beta. What if he was? What if yeah, he, he was, was, like, what if he was that, incredible? Right? What if he was the best musician that you what ever was heard? Like, what was your favorite musician? <laughs> right. Like, what if it was they, at that they level? Came what to if you you then? And like, like, they started playing the guitar mm-hmm. or like DJing. Like, right so if you. Adele serenades me, um, well, I think well, I would. I think I would become a because you're straight. So the male equivalent of Adele. Who? Who? Like, I don't know yeah. who. I don't even know who to compare to that. Oh, but you would. Know. If you like One Direction, okay. you have to admit you'd be about it. I'd be about it. But but depends on the skills. Most no, guys can't. They don't have the skill to back it up, right? They don't have the skills to back up the grand gesture. Honestly, even if they were good, I don't think I would like it. I because this, this guy was good. This guy was pretty good. Mm. Now they're trans, so now now mm. she's good. Well, I mean that says a lot. But huh? <laughs> huh? That's a I'm good kind twist. of the, I'm kind of that way with like a strip tease. I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, you get a lot of strip teases gifted to you. No. Oh no, yeah, he's like, like I've experienced this wait, several is times. Is that an act of service or is that quality time? What? Where does that fit? Is it in the gift? Gift, gift yeah. giving? I'm giving you my underwear. Right. <laughs> it's just like, oh, oh okay, strip tease. Like cool, like. Oh, it's naked? the opposite. You're just like, why? Like, bro, are they you don't need to put that? on some fucking performance for me. I That's good. Oh, he just kind of like wants to get like straight just... to it. Just get naked, get it done, get no, out, no, no. deliver the wood, oh. get out. That's why you're or, anti-OF. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> no, like get to the fucking the white tea, the white tea. Right? The Have you guys white? heard of that? The fuck is You've white never been white teed before? What is white I didn't know what it was. I didn't white... know what it was till I was on Xena's stream. Right, is this where you just wear a white tee and no bra and like 
It's a, it's a strip tease, basically. But, like, guys give it to girls. Like, they take off their white t-shirt. Wait, they're guys give it to guys? Oh, <laughs> I th- I've oh, only been given white wrong. tees. Wait, uh, so you don't like strip teases, to clarify. Wait, Nick, can you... Okay. Is she peeking the microphones, No, I'm Nick? just really loud. So <laughs> Nick, I need you to double check, make sure she's not peeking the microphones. I'm just loud. So Brian won't like that gift that we plan to give him, then. No, I guess no, not. I'm so sad. What's oh, we we all had a surprise for you. <laughs> Physical touch or quality time. So, fuck it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, well, I don't know what we were talking about. Um, love languages. Love languages. To give and to receive. Oh, I'm, when it comes to gifts, first off, I feel like I don't receive a lot of gifts. But if I did, I'd be very... I'm a great receiver. Terrible giver, but great receiver. His love language sound, is receiving. That doesn't sound good. I'm a fantastic <laughs> receiver. Really gay. Great receiver. Terrible giver. So you're bottom. I'm just kidding. No, not in like a gay sort of way. It's more just like when it comes to gifts and stuff. What do you mean you're a great sex. receiver? Like, and oral sex. like you show like a lot of appreciation when somebody. No, mm. not even. You not just even like it. So then you're not how are, then you're not really a great well, giver. So it depends like, what context we're talking about, but I'm a great receiver. You're let's not. Let's just say. You like receiver of what? So you of, receiver of what? Of gifts. Do you write th- of write, ni- write oral sex? Nice thank you notes. Do well, you? Well, we know he doesn't reciprocate the oral sex. <laughs> no, nope. does he reciprocate? Don't do that. Shit. You don't reciprocate. Do you, do you reciprocate nope. the gifts? What? Your... That's so bad. Oh my god. What do you mean? Why is it bad? <laughs> Unless she is the largest labia in the world. Uh, even oh, even okay. if she has the largest labia in the world, I still don't do I it. Wonder why what if it's the largest it. dick in the world? I'm sorry. <laughs> That that's success. He's like, oh yes. <laughs> I don't know. We're not not all of us are like pixie cup. here, where we're going both ways. Yes, I'm a giant whore, obviously, who oh. sleeps with. Wait, I that's mean, no, that's, <laughs> that's not what I was saying. That you're, that's not, that's you're, that's that's so it depends was, on the emotional connection, right? Is yeah, what you're it does. Saying. Yeah. Oh, I th- I'm so used to people that's online being mean to me. That's what he meant. He was saying you're like you'll go for whatever, oh. depending on the emotion that oh, you. Oh, so you're like sapiosexual? No, sapiosexual is the mind. That's like intelligence. Yeah, I don't think that's even real. Emotional. That's fake. Yeah, I think that's fake too. But pansexual is the real one. Wait, there's there's this meme. Is more well, like emotional based. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought pansexual is like, I just don't see body. So I would argue it's or gender. It is more like that. So the, it's hard to explain, but the best way I explain it is the difference between bi and pan is that a bi person is like, I like chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Sometimes I like chocolate more. Sometimes I like vanilla more. Once in a while, I like strawberry, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then a pan person's like, it's all fucking ice cream to me. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I like ice cream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to find the meme about. Oh wait, I think I have it. Mm, no. Actually, if it's about pansexual people, no, sapiosexual. Pans, it's I about sapiosexual, okay. but pots and pansexual. Okay, I can't find it. Doesn't matter. Sapiosexual is not real. But it's like women will <laughs> say. Demi Lovato. Are you saying Demi Lovato isn't real? No, she's not. She wasn't when she said she was bi. What What did she say? She was non-binary. <laughs> she wasn't what she did. They, they are non-binary. They are non-binary. Now, <laughs> but. Women will say they, they, I'm trying to remember what the meme is, but women will say they are sapiosexual, they're like attracted to really intelligent dudes, but then the dudes they end up dating are the type of dudes that like when they're reading, when they're reading, they have to like, they read with their finger. I think some girls are attracted to himbos. I think some some women love himbos, like to have a guy who just like builds furniture all day, like that's cool. You know, somebody reads like this, you know, like, uh, uh, d- okay, no. I think, um, <laughs> babe, you read it. <laughs> babe, read it for me. I think a lot of, I think there are a lot of women who are attracted to like Chris Pratt types, like in um, what is it, he's, Parks and Rec? He's smart though. No, but like in Parks and Rec, his oh, character okay. Andy. Like I think, um, I think a lot of women prefer funny than smart. Like if it, you can make somebody laugh all day long, I think they're well, like. Well, honestly, if someone's witty. Witty is the That's difference because if somebody's witty, then they're, they're clearly intelligent as well because yeah. they're able to contextualize situations and make a light out of it. And that takes some degree of intelligence to be able to do that. So yeah, I would say it's mostly witty men. They're like, they're hot to anyone. Yeah. 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 Witty, Universally yeah. hot. Yeah. Tie, we all love a witty man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, they don't what, have what's, to be... what's his name in the show? I think Andy. Andy. I think it's also, in addition to just being funny, I think it's also having a positive affectation i think yes. yeah i think that's that's good super too. hot like the guys golden that are retriever. like golden retrievers like personality wise <laughs> i love them they're yeah. my favorite yeah 
It's hard to be. Give an example. What do you mean? What's a golden retriever, man? Just like you can't bring them down. There's this guy that I went to law school Uh with who was like that. And you just, we took the bar together and like, he was just happy. Everyone was like about to take this exam. He was just like happy and smiling. And sounds like my my ex-boyfriend. Like nothing. And then I was like, how'd you do on the exam? Like I passed. He's like, oh, I failed, but it's all good. Like I went to the bar, went to this awesome festival. I, I had a great people time. while I was there. You know, people. It's all good. Nothing My ex used down. to literally like rate. Hold on. Valdev donated 99. Yo, good to see you in the chat, man. DGG welcome, welcome. Philosophy is the place to be open your minds and get free. If you want a good night, go watch Not So Erudite. And if you want to fight the good fight, go watch my man Stevie Knight. Those are some recommendations, but it's whatever and your endeavor. Yo, thank you, Val. Diav, for the... Uh... Shout out, TTS. Appreciate it. Uh, we are going to have Stevie Knight on the show. Eventually, I'm talking to him. He'll be on the show. And we're going to try to get a couple other good people. We got some, I think, some good guests uh, coming up soon. Uh, assuming, you know, no, can't we get, you know, people cancel, things come up. But uh, thank you very much for your TTS. Uh, where were we? We were talking about. Your golden retriever right? types. Golden I forget retriever my types. point. Okay. Oh, my ex, he literally used to like rate Uber drivers and tip according to how much they talk to him in the Uber. Like how good they Oh, that's my worst oh, nightmare. I will get I a man. I were a driver. Like, literally such a golden retriever type personality. It was my ex-boyfriend. Yeah. All right. I got a chat here. We have uh, you're not a 10. Q for Nur. What are you looking for in a relationship? What do you think is enough min- minimum annual income for you to have a family with? What buffers do you think are best to keep a relationship together in today's society to come to combat hypergamy? I think that's a lot. Before you answer, that's a lot of questions there. Um, we typically like to limit it to just one question per chat. Um, so I can keep it under 10. Try, try to keep it brief if you can, if you I want to try you. to hit, hit all, everything. Yeah. So what I'm really looking for in a relationship is a leader and somebody who is a superior to me in a lot of ways because I've been the opposite where I am leading either like physically like uh financially or intellectually in the relationships how do you lead physically um by talking about like initiating sex uh yeah that that's one one of the things for sure and I've definitely been in that situation however I would say that for me it's like when you have those traits when you are someone who can lead in those respects then naturally that's gonna obviously show in your income and in your career so it's not necessarily the income that I'm going for, but those proclivities and the uh, the ability to be able to display those characteristics, those, those leadership characteristics, to be able to be somebody who can support a family. Naturally, you're going to want someone who's a multiple six-figure earner. So I would say that that... Because I make that, and I want someone who makes more than me, right? Um, so that is... Did you say naturally? Naturally. Like naturally, that. yeah. Because six-figure naturally, earner. somebody who is a leader, someone who is a leader... Somebody who is able to exemplify those characteristics will naturally find a way to transpire that to their career because they're going to have some type of skill set that they can monetize. Otherwise, what skill set do they really have? I mean, sure, there are some skill sets that you cannot monetize, but generally speaking, I mean, I think if you're looking for somebody who has those character, character, like traits that we're talking about here, they're going to be on, make money off of it, right? Yes. A leader is never broke. A good leader. Do you guys, uh, you're currently seeing somebody, you're currently dating Dating. seven people. Uh, (laughs) You're (laughs) properly single. I'm a hermit. Um, But you guys, I mean, I I know that a lot of girls who do uh, OnlyFans are typically, well, not typically, but uh, it sounds to me like you guys are high earners yourselves. Uh, Do you make more than your boyfriend? We're like about even. Okay. I guess right now I'd I mean, make a little more. Isn't he on strike right now? He's like, <laughs> yeah, like right now, like I make a little more, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Do you guys want somebody that makes more than you? Or how about as much or more than you? It would be nice. I feel like lately I've been, I've always felt like I wanted someone to make more than me, but I've gotten into relationships where it was a bit of like a um, weird power dynamic. And the men that tended to make more than me, they were just a bit more like, I'm sure it's just the ones that I came in contact with, but just a bit more like arrogant and controlling. But then there's the men that make less and they're insecure and it's just like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I don't know. I feel like I honestly, I just want somebody that's like good to me. It doesn't really matter like what they make. I mean, as long as I'm not taking care of them. But yeah, my my last ex, or I guess like during the pandemic, he we so we met when we were both working in tech. We were both programmers, but during the pandemic, we both quit because the company was only fun when there was like a whole campus like it's like there's a meditation room there's infinite alcohol there's all these outings so when the pandemic hit coding was a miserable job so we both quit and he never got another job so the whole time i had to pay for everything like housing costs food and all of that and i did not have a good time where <laughs> this was so, during the pandemic yeah how long was the relationship um so I would say like around two. We never made it official. We just kind of like started hanging two out years. more. Yeah. So like around yeah. two years. Yeah. Sorry, uh, you never half. made it official, and you're paying all, all of his expenses. Yeah. So we started hanging out more and more because we were like carpool and like. So when we were coworkers, we just kind of got closer and closer, and it was never official. Like, will you be my girlfriend? It was just like, we just. Unspoken. Surely there was some mutual understanding that yeah, you guys were exclusive, right? Yeah, or yeah, because I wasn't really like seeing You just like, never said anyone. it out loud, but that doesn't yeah, necessarily but it was, indicate that you guys weren't in a relationship there, right? Yeah, it was like situationship, but I was taking care of him because he was like, oh, we have nowhere else to go. Well, I feel chef. like as a woman, if, especially if you're taking care of a man's stuff, you assume he's exclusive to you. Like, yeah. can any of you ladies imagine being in a situation like that and you find out he's fucking around on the side? Like... Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, so it was like an exclusive arrangement, kind of. And Wait, Abba, I've, so, so what you're saying, Amy, is that if women really want to get commitment from men, they got to start, start being the breadwinners? Is that what you're saying? No, that's like literally not what I'm saying at all. I was just trying to <laughs> that, point. That's a okay. good no, question. Absolutely that's a good not. question. No, I actually think it's the exact opposite because I think that when you go for that dynamic, it automatically, you are conflicting with so many um, factors in evolutionary psychology and just the way people are in general, there's already going to be so much friction in the relationship. So actually, I think quite the opposite. I was just trying to prod a little bit deeper to really get your perspective on it because i'm not sure i quite fully understand what the dynamic was. let me just jump in yeah. really quick i perhaps i should reframe it a little bit so do you think that's a fair trade-off in order to because a lot of women complain that men aren't prepared to commit to them mm -hmm. do you think that'd be a fair trade-off for women they have to the women have to be the providers they have to be the breadwinners they have to take care of ex expenses. Not in exchange, they get commitment. That just sounds like a bedrock. It's such an inverse of values, right? Because naturally, the man is the provider. He is the protector, right? And then by default, you have a woman who submits to him. So what I'm saying is if the standard was reversed, which I do not necessarily think that it should be. Mm -hmm. I disagree. I don't think that it should be. But if it were to be reversed, then wouldn't the man have to naturally submit? Otherwise, what's the point of the inversion of it? Yeah, I think men don't naturally submit, and that's the issue. Like, if he were to cook clean and, like, me buy him a gym membership, work out, whatever, I'd be totally fine with it. But he didn't cook, he didn't clean, he didn't really do much, and he was, like, kind of resentful towards, like, all the social media stuff I was doing, even though I was also going to grad school, and it was just, like, very chaotic because he was insecure. I think he naturally wanted to be a leader, but he couldn't at the time because of yeah. the pandemic. But even I if a woman is the breadwinner, it's not clear to me if women want men to be submissive, even if you out earn the man. Well, I, I think like a wait, woman wait, wait, who's wait. willing to be it, sorry, Pixie, one second. Okay. I feel like a woman who's willing to be in that type of a relationship. Ryan Hold underscore on, OG donated $100. Ladies is flowers on the first day to red flag. And Brian, when is real Natch coming on? Uh. We'll see. We'll see. We got a lot of uh, people that want to be on the show, but uh, Ryan OG, thank you very much for the TTS. Um, flowers on the first date. So we'll come. We'll come back to this really quick. Uh, first date, uh, flowers. Is it a red flag? No. I think no, it's think cute. So. Yeah. No, it's cute. Okay, it's not a red flag, but I don't recommend you do it. What? Why? Wait. You're already paying for dinner. Might as well. Pixie, yeah. you go to your. Point. I am paying, for dinner. <laughs> I don't, I paying for dinner. Who is? <laughs> She can pay for herself. Wait, if you I mean, ask if you her can't out? afford flowers, you can pick some flowers, and that's still cute. It's yes. acts of service. It's a show of gratitude, right? I don't know. Get her some flowers. Wait, when's the last Sounds time like you took someone on a dinner date? Me? Brian. No, Brian. <laughs> dinner date? I don't think dinner dates are... For a first date, I don't think dinner dates are a good move. I think uh, you could meet somewhere for a coffee or a tea or go for a walk even. 
Uh, because for dinner, when's the you last gotta time sit you down. did that? When was the last time you had a date? Oh, it's been a minute. I've been way too fucking busy. I'm not trying to. It's it's not worth my time right now. Um, Especially in this day and age. No, it's not about that. I'm just way too focused. Like I have a big thing going on here, and I'm not trying to be distracted right now by like doing that. But um, oh, but Sam I'll donated one hundred dollars. I do want to Why continue on the point. Why do half your guests not understand the difference between women and woman? Talking about the girl in the light blue. Is this an education thing, Carly? Thing? My toddler nephew has better grammar. Do you have a response? Pit? Is it? Why are they in, oh, they're, they're talking about my pronunciation? A women versus woman, which I, is something people say a lot in this space. They say woman where it, they should technically say women. I've noticed this well, too. Women, All women. I'm going to say is that I literally speak two languages so he can suck a what? dick. <laughs> like, just he saying. can suck a dick. Yes. Wait, what, you that speak one. Spanish? Or? Yeah, awesome. I speak Spanish. Can we, can we hear a little? Si Tell quieres. him to suck a dick in <laughs> Spanish. Chupe <laughs> um, verga. <laughs> well, you speak two languages. Let's okay. hear it. Sí, puedo hablar español, pero tengo Ooh. acento de gringa y eso es porque hablo en inglés. Gringa. Pero podemos hablar en español Perfect. ahora si quieres. That's hot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. Caliente. He, he, he might slide into the DMs after that. Okay. Yeah, guys, it's English. ESL, are you English as a second language? I'm ESL too. My first language is French. Do you still speak French? A little bit. I, unfortunately, I started speaking English when I was very young, so I started losing it a little bit. I understand it fairly well, though. Yeah. Speaking's a little harder. Yeah, I, um, I technically learned Spanish first, and I learned most of my English through reading. So I mispronounce a lot of words the longer that you know me because I pronounce them as you would read them in Spanish. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Sam. Yeah, I, I hear that maybe it could also be like they think they heard someone say woman instead of what like yeah, I, don't I know. haven't noticed or heard anything but yeah but uh, I notice Sam, it every time much. anytime I'm on a red pill podcast I noticed it <laughs> literally anytime I'm on a red pill podcast <laughs> I notice people say woman where they should be saying women but well some are grammar nerds so I or, guess it's oh, just women. A, it's, women instead of women. saying women they say woman. the word woman, woman where they should be saying women plural women. versus okay. singular women. exactly women. but it's okay I mean it's I figured it's an American thing because I've only noticed it since I moved here well I mean if they can't recognize the pre court justices they're not going to recognize grammar so. <laughs> yeah no Shots our fired. educational system is trash like I'm from the Central Valley I'm from Bakersfield after I moved from China. Oh, I'm sorry. And she's from Fresno. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, Yikes on so. Bakersfield. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so ladies, it's flowers on the first date of Red Flag, and then we were talking about paying for the first date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all were shocked when I uh, said... You don't Because women men, aren't going to... Men should gonna, not get like, flowers. Men should not pay for the first date. Yeah, Wait, oh, you have to get okay. ready for like an hour or something just to meet someone that you're unsure about you're like having a lot of risks just to like grab a coffee i think that's like well you're assuming like i'm at least assuming that you're meeting this person beforehand in person and then you're like okay i want to date this person so then you're going out for a date how much risk well, is there you want to like look nice and i think it depends well, I mean, on the a lot of people app. meet online social media dating apps and right, so. but women put in that much effort to look good pretty much every day when they go out of their house to meet strangers it's i mean maybe yeah, they go I'm, they go the little extra mile for a date but the majority of women are already caking their face before they step out of their house it's true on the balance of that shit's true and and you don't know what kind of shit we do before. We got to get ready, too. Oh, yeah, they do. Tell us how long it takes for you to get ready. I see you have gel in your hair. It took him an hour to get ready. This is I put a little maple syrup in my hair. I don't use gel. Oh, okay. I just put a little maple syrup at breakfast. I just... You all know what men are doing before they... Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot, okay? I got I bet you do. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, you know? What's that movie when Harry met Sally? You yes. gotta, you gotta bust a nut before a date. You know that's. Yeah. <laughs> sure, we were all going. Is that where the What's, when the with Cameron Diaz and with the with the, the, with with the, the, with the <laughs> Yep. Um, well, okay. Let let me also just add to the gentlemen. You should probably not listen to me on this one. You probably should pay for the first date because you're gonna lose women if you don't. But um, uh, yeah. I, if you want to min-max your dating success, your dating results, you should pay for the first date. Because You're more likely women... to get laid. You're more likely to have the woman just keep talking to you, period. 
I've it feels a little transactional though, don't it you does think? Feel like, it's the video about are you guys saying are you guys saying that women are basically mm. prostitutes? Is that what Jesus you're saying? Nerd. Oh, he has to pay for no, my day. No, not have Otherwise to. he ain't getting no pussy. No. What's up? I in usually words, split. Like, it's usually just that, I actually uh, like Yeah, I do I'm a feminist. I've heard talk about this. I've seen YouTube videos of women talking about this and they literally say, Well, I mean, it's not because of feminism, but I mean if you don't want to split it I, if you want to split it my pussy's gonna dry up and that's your I think wait wait wait, 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 wait. I, oh, I think the problem is I don't agree with that wait. I'm just saying that that no, is what I think what said. happens is that men are also like competing against other men and also versus a woman being with herself but basically if a guy doesn't do that the problem is like there's gonna be like 10 other guys who are willing to do that right so if a woman is it. like pay. yeah Pay for the first date. Enjoy your simps. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy but also, it's simps. like, if they pay for the first date, I'm more likely to be like, oh, yeah, drinks on me. Like, if they don't pay for it, it's like, okay, I owe you nothing. Or, like, if I insist to split the bill, if a girl, like, really, really insists and, like, is, like, fighting on it, like, it probably means that she never wants to see you again. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, is splitting the bill, like, an American thing? Or is it, it is like- an American thing. It's a Californian liberal thing. Do you know In China, the where you're from? No, we don't. The, man, like, the man pays. Well, wait, yes. how, how long have you been in the U.S.? Uh, nine years now. Yeah. Oh, I mean, so, and you're... Wait. You have not experienced this on the dates oh. that you've been on? Where I you're think... like, oh, this is a bit different to back home. Yeah, yeah, I've experienced it, but then I was wait, like... Wait, but you're 24. You've been here for nine years. I came here when I was 15. I mean, were you really dating all that much prior to 15 back in Beijing? I think it's more so like family values, like what you yeah. see growing up with sure. family yeah. and My, stuff like that. Like I've seen people split bills here, wait, but then... S- no, 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 sorry, continue. Didn't mean to interrupt, continue. <laughs> but yeah, like usually if they're like, let's 50-50, I would just pay for it. Cause I, I, I don't know why. I feel like it's just like, um, maybe it's a culture thing. Like you um, said, but you said f- v- values. Did you say family values? Yeah, a little yes. bit of that. I think growing up, I've seen men provide and pay m- m- most of the time, and then so like after I came here, I was like, oh, so you like, what, what, like. Hold on, hold on. Let me just try to continue on this chain really quick. Um, so, are, your parents are still together or divorced? Divorced. Okay, but growing up, you had strong traditional values, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, would you you do OnlyFans, correct? <laughs> like you do nude content. Yes. It's not. I don't have an issue with it, but it's not really doesn't strike me as traditional. You know. It's not, which is why I've had like, um, like your, issues with with your um, family. With family, yes. Do uh, your does your dad and mom do they know that you do content? I haven't talked to my dad in forever. Um, I think my mom does. She, um, you think she knows? I think so. Yes. Okay. You, what do you mean? You think she we're knows? not? We haven't been on speaking terms for a long time. We recently reconnected, and I kind of told her what I was doing, but I don't think she understand like the social media stuff quite a bit. Wait. But I, how, how would you say it in Mandarin? Do you speak Mandarin or Cantonese? Mandarin. Okay. How would you say in Mandarin, dear mom? I post my titties on OnlyFans. <laughs> Wait, what did she watch us? No, 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 what's up, mom? No, no, no. Wait, what's your mom's name? Is she single? <gasps> <laughs> is she still single? Because like I'm, I'm. She is single, but I thought um, you were in the Hey, can the you date. link? Can you link me and your mom? Up? Oh, is she single? Like, is she in the U.S.? You won't yeah, even she's take in the her US out now. for dinner. Uh, she wants yeah. a nice I'm dinner. She's a traditional woman. woman. Did you know in China, for a man to marry a woman, they have to provide a house and own a like have to own a house and a car at minimum, and they have to pay for know, all man. the. Sounds food, like a lot. And of also, work. they pay for the wedding. I learned that in America that the bride's family pays for the wedding. Which, which is like that's why blowing. you just don't get married just mm-hmm. saying just throwing it out there wait so is your mom single can, can you hook it up <laughs> maybe is she in california uh she's not i thought I'll high value out, i thought high value <laughs> men were supposed to look for a, a young woman a you know is she's your mom cute. a babe she's cute she got a boyfriend or what was the situation oh my god am i really hitting <laughs> on your mom <laughs> what do you guys think do you guys ship me and her mom yes do you, is she looking, you think? Or? She's cute. You don't even uh, know what no, she looks like. No, is she like. is she looking for for a But maybe you should give boyfriend. her some time cuz my stepdad passed away like fairly Aww, recently. Oh, Brian, something just, so just rude. a little bit of so time. trying to dig into widow's <laughs> panties like so quickly. That's the perfect time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Talk the about, emotional I, support. One time <laughs> wedding crashers to funeral crashers. The funeral, I was about I was yeah. thinking Yeah, it was uh they be mad horny. <laughs> right. <laughs> the grief. Um, but sorry to hear about your uh, step 
father? It's this, okay. This, Unless he sucked ass. Am I appropriate yeah. right now? Okay, fuck. I'm always saying stupid shit. Um, uh, okay, so I don't know how to make it unawkward um, after hitting your hitting on your mom. Um, yeah, do you have any... So wait, where is your mom right now? Oh, uh, she's in Florida. Oh, she's in oh. Florida. Okay, mm. did she move here when you were 15 as well? No, I actually came first. Um, I moved here by myself, and then she came when I was like... Maybe like four years after. Three Where years after. was she at the time? Um, first off, Hawaii, and then to Florida. Ooh, Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, oh. Hawaii is America still. That's America. Where yeah. was sorry? Where were you born? Where are you from originally? Uh, born and raised in Beijing. Beijing. Okay. And rebound. Is your, is your dad still rebound. in Beijing? It's a rebound, right? I, I know, have no clue. <laughs> you don't know she needs at a all. Rebound. She needs a rebound. Tell her I'm available. Okay. Um, okay, I will. All right. Wait. What? What? We were okay. We're talking about paying for first dates. Yeah. Did you guys have any thoughts on that? I feel like Lauren has some I've, thoughts on that. Honestly, <laughs> the first date, it's ultimately going to be his idea. So I think that he should pay because I didn't ask. Yeah. If I Whoever really. Asked, though, the person out should pay. If I you, ask someone out, I'm like, let's go to Disneyland. Like, yeah. Let's go. Like, Same. I'm not going to be like. Date? Yeah, if it's like a first date and you're first like, whoa. First date to Disneyland? Yes, then I should pay, right? Because it's like. That's a lot. Yeah, no, that's too much, so that you should pay. Sounds like, unless you're, you're the one asking. Like, if some guy asked me to go to Disneyland on the first date, have they should pay. Have you ever done that for a first date? No, I haven't, but not yet. I have that's had people so ask me to do it. I which... feel like over-elaborate first dates are very <laughs> ill-advised, because let's say it's weird. Like, you want to you be in a kind of casual situation where if it's you're just not into them, or if it's weird, you can be like, oh, hey, nice to meet you and you can dip like but for dinner that's why i'm kind of hesitant with dinner because it's like oh we gotta wait another 20 minutes for the food but i don't like you you know it's like <laughs> you can't Disneyland. wait like an, you can't spend an hour with someone you don't like in the pursuit of eventually finding your wife well if well, you if, don't if, get if, married if, but what if you don't hit it off at first donated 99 the right answer to who pay for the first date is easy no one good call it should Make be that free, shit free. Hell yeah, comrade. Do something free. Um, well, okay, so if if you're just not attracted to them, but they're otherwise pleasant, I say just continue on with the date, you know, uh, you know, eat the meal, have a nice conversation. But if there's like something like you you feel your safety is kind of, or like they're being weird in some kind of way, then yeah, absolutely. You can't like you can dinner. Cut, like with a weirdo so like we're having dinner we're on a date and then you're like oh wow she's really fucking weird like uh, yikes you're gonna be like ah oh, sorry can't finish this i'm gonna tap mm -hmm. out or like so, if you're on a nature walk even wouldn't do that i'm not going <laughs> i'm not going into nature well you said that you want a free you're saying that you want a free date so what's a free day it's no walk around the like park go, go to a Starbucks, grab a tea, that shit. That's not free. Go to the gym. Are you, you know? That's what? Date. what? <laughs> yeah, no. Or you can just go walk date. at the beach. I, hike, no, oh, because wait, then fine. you're getting into the crevasses of the mountain. <laughs> but like so beach, long. there's people around and shit. So beach is okay. Definitely agree with doing a free thing. But whether you're a man or a woman and you feel uncomfortable on a date, then yeah, you reserve the right at any moment to be to fucking leave. You reserve the right. Sure, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be allowed to. I'm not obliged to. to stay on a date with somebody. Now, again, if they're otherwise Social pleasant, norms. if well, no, if they're otherwise pleasant, but I'm just, and this applies to women too. If they're otherwise pleasant, but you you can tell, eh, I'm not really. Maybe we don't align. Maybe I'm not attracted. I'd say, yeah, the polite thing would be just stick it out. Have you ever walked out on a date? Yes. And if so, what's the yes. story? What is the story? She was 30 minutes late. Oof. She didn't apologize. I stuck it out for 10 minutes. I, I was brewing because <laughs> um, if you're late, she, and she, she didn't let me know she was going to be late. Was this uh, to a restaurant? Was it a park? Was it a beach? What was it? Uh, it was a uh, it was like a lounge. We were going to grab a drink. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so she was 30 minutes late. She let me know like 10 minutes after I had already arrived. Hey, I'm running late. I'll be there in 10. She it ended up being, so she was 30 minutes late. And uh, I would have actually been okay if she gave me a token apology, like, hey, sorry, I was late. But she just stepped and didn't say anything. So I was like, all right, let's, uh, so yeah, I was just kind of 
Okay, so you were taken back, and then then did you try to like? Was that it for you? Like yeah, you can't you move out? on, or was there like a further conversation? Then you're like, oh, this is it for me. And then what was the exit like? Okay, so, um, I was basically like, okay, because of this, because you were late, because you didn't offer up, I think the polite, courteous thing would be to at least. I wasn't expecting her to be like, get down on one knee and be like, oh my God, Brian, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I just wanted like, hey, hey sorry. sorry, I'm late. How's your day? Basic How you courtesy. That's, I yeah. think that's, that's I think that's like, the, if you're that late, you say mm -hmm. sorry, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let's just see if she's DTF. So I was like, you, you want to come back to my place? And then uh, she said no, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, hey, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but to be fair. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't think most women oh, would say be why. DTF within the first like ten minutes Wait, of meeting. But I was, so that it was, was like, it though. Like because she didn't apologize, like you were like you couldn't like, see okay. past you weren't even like gonna figure out what she was gonna say. Then you immediately went to the DTF and when she was No not, no, I was waiting for the apology. <laughs> so you just were sitting there waiting for the apology and when it never happened after ten minutes, you were like No, I wasn't it wasn't like awkward silence, but I was like, Okay. I guess we could fuck, you know. But you would fuck a person who's that inconsiderate? <laughs> I'm just like shocked yeah. at that. Like, <laughs> it's so funny because you already had yeah. your mind made up. And then she was like sitting there for 10 minutes trying to have a conversation with you. And then you were just like probably awkwardly thinking, I wonder if she's down to fuck, but I don't want to like hook up. I don't want to date this person any more than this. And then yeah. she, she lacked the necessary courtesy for me to ever consider her for a long term relationship. That makes so sense. So I was like, Okay, we could maybe be fuck buddies, but did I did she seem upset just, when you left? No, because I thoroughly tanked the interaction when I basically was like, "Hey, do you want to go hook up?" And what was her reaction to that? Oh, I mean, she was just like, "No, nah, I'm okay," and I was like, "Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna go." Peace. Yeah, I think it was thoroughly <laughs> awkward. Most girls would not be down awkward. to fuck within 10 minutes of talking to someone. I mean, he it's was okay. already over it, so he just I was shot his it. shot. Oh he shot God. his final shot. I shot my see. shot. So what happens if she says yes? Yeah, what if you're just stuck in a situation so with her? Where she says yes? Yeah, so yeah. what if she's like, you know All right, what? Maybe you can redeem yourself. You caught yourself. me. I am. <laughs> what do you think this girl's That's crazy. True. That's it's been 10 can, minutes man. and she's That's ready to fuck. Maybe she to says like... sorry while the, during the BJ. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, Brian. And she's I'm fucking so, so sorry. sorry. In the middle of <laughs> sad. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me you're sorry. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me you're sorry. Tell me I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's into I, that. That's such a yeah. That'd be great. She's apologizing during the sex. I'm so sorry. So Ryan. donated one hundred dollars. Maddie does it too. <laughs> Light blue. I also speak uh, Spanish. Nobody cares about your gringo accent as long as it is understood. Woman equals just one female though. Mujer equals mujeres. You know that. What? <laughs> Wait, what is it? I don't speak Spanish. Well, what is it? It is, he just well, said the woman is woman. The plural versus yeah. the singular. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, Pixie, like do you it. smoke weed? No, I, do. I always look high, though. Everybody I, yeah, tells I was about me to that. say, you like have resting high face. Yes, yeah, it's happened to me more than once where a random person comes up to me and is like, oh, like, are you smoking anything? Do you have anything? And I'm like, no, I don't smoke weed. Oh, wow. Shame to anyone who smokes weed, honestly. It should yeah. be jail. Oh, wow. That's that okay. wow. yeah. why Degenerate. I mean, do you guys have a rebuttal to these people? I don't know if any of you smoke weed. All I weed. have to say is just like, <laughs> Fuck me. Like. <laughs> She's taking it as a compliment. She's like, yes, fuck me. No, I mean, I'm just... Because I smoke, so... Okay, uh, have a debate. Shame. Have a debate. We're fucking shame being like ironic, I'm... dude. We came here high as fuck. What are you talking about? Yeah, you guys smelled like... That's awesome that you can, like, mask it like that. Oh, like, or it's not, it doesn't be present. Yeah, y'all, yeah. yeah, like, seem You should see her when she's your... sober. That's, I haven't. Awesome. What do you mean? Did, it, that's have amazing. you been sober? Ever? <laughs> On a podcast? No, I'm always at least one. Within to be the person. last couple of years? <laughs> uh, yeah, the last couple of years, yeah. Don't you? Do you like, for like a day or two? When you need to be somewhere for like three to five hours straight, just sitting around the table talking, I'm sorry, people aren't that interesting, right? So <laughs> it's not for me, it's to make y'all more interesting, uh, to be honest. Wow. I love the fact that. Rude. Yeah, Come on, roast it's the same. Roast that's why back. I smoke I'm not too. saying you guys specifically, I'm saying Kathy, like people. Roast in her. Well, back. bitch, I drink to make you look pretty, so how about that? <laughs> So I just love the wow, fact that, you know, we came in the car, 
these two bitches would be smoking, be smoking, be high. And then he comes up, And then I'm the one who's asked if I'm Aww. high. Pixie's like rolling down the window, like, Okay. All right. Um, wait. So, uh, Amy, you have a dark past. Is that correct? I have a dog paw. You have a dark what past. There's, like, like, dark there's like some post on your Instagram that's like, yeah, I used to be wild. Yeah, no, totally. And now I just smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. So are we talking when, like, are we talking with men? Are we talking with no, drinking? We're we talking always, with drugs? So for me, I'm a very, um, I don't have a very high sex drive. So you, for me, the majority of the time, this when I am in a committed relationship, like, I want to please my partner. Like, that's my goal, right? But generally speaking, unless I feel that level of, like, commitment and attachment to somebody, I'm not about that life. It's been very, very rare, few and far between, for that to occur. Stop the my cap. <laughs> Brian? For, wait, for what to occur? <laughs> sex? Yeah. It's been it, rare and far between. Yeah. Like, for me to meet somebody who I'm not in a relationship with, who I actually end up sleeping with. I mean, there's just a lot you, of risks, Have you ever had too. a one-night stand? Yeah. Um, One. One. My whole life. Whole life. Yeah. How what about that other one? <laughs> Wasn't it's... there another one? There's multiple ones? What do you mean? Why are you looking at me that way? What <laughs> the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about. But um, I, no, I mean, so after my relationship broke up, there was something that I did that I regret very much. What did you do? I hooked up with somebody after my breakup. Mm. After okay. my breakup, like within the last several months, I, I hooked up with somebody. Haram! I know it was very haram, <laughs> and like I literally, I literally. Is like, he a cried. podcaster? I literally no. Podcaster. I, I mean, you know what? Who gives a fuck? But I literally just cried the whole next day. Aww. There was a lot of regret because that that's not me, and that's not the standard that I hold myself to, and that is not necessarily. Dude, you asked. Really cried too. Too. You can't yeah, put this no, story after you ask. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Go on, continue. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to say. Oh no. my gosh. Okay. Um. My so the dark pause. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. No, it doesn't necessarily come from that, but other things for sure. I was definitely a little bit of a party animal. Yes, I like to party. Yes. Okay. No, like all right. Let me get a couple chats in here. Oh, wait, actually, no. We got all of them. The soundboard is fighting words. It should be written into the Constitution. It's based. <laughs> um. I don't know where the fuck we were. Uh, we were talking about paying for the first date. You're talking about my dog past. <laughs> we're oh, talking about gosh. bringing roses to the first date, which I'm all for. Yeah, spring flowers on the first date. Bring Even flowers if you pick on it the first date. From the sidewalk, it's cute. No, don't my mother's flowers off her front yard. She'd be pissed. My mom oh. would have be pissed. <laughs> like if you I like still plucked pick. flowers from our garden and then handed it to Bring me, I'd get I, shot. Yeah, you'd get you'd get <laughs> some max. <laughs> You want me to ask a question right now? It's Damn, yeah, okay. Oh shit. I mean, that was pretty rough. Did mm. you guys not feel like that was a little bit rough? Mm. God damn. Who here considers themselves to have somewhat of a past? Yay or nay? Like a dark <laughs> past? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's what you yeah, no, me. Like, it's like, what is the context of that when somebody says that to you? I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, it's also a very ominous question because I'm sure if somebody said that to me, I'd be going through like yeah, my entire like, life history. Like, what horrible yeah. thing is like, he talking about? Like, what do you mean? Past? Are you talking about current? Like, no, but yeah, my past is pretty checkered. Yeah, not with regards to like dating, but I mean, obviously your past influences the way that you approach dating. Anyone right? here have a felony? Mm. No, but I have mm. misdemeanor. Yeah, I've been arrested a couple Ooh, times. what you've been for arrested what? for? I don't think I should say right this second, <laughs> but I have. Anything <laughs> to do with like, boy drama? Kind Did, of, yeah. I was 19. Ooh. It happened a couple times. I was young. but A couple of times. That's kind of like the worst <laughs> time. If you're going to be rowdy, do it when you're charged as a juvenile. <laughs> like 19. Yeah, like the not fuck? like, you know, 30 plus. I think that's crazy, but I mean, things happen, so... Yeah, no, oh, she has had, like, a really interesting past that has led her, like, to, like, OnlyFans today, but OnlyFans is so much better than... Than your past? Yeah. Yes. Do you have it? So, would you say that your past contributed to your decision to be able to do OnlyFans? Yeah. Yeah? For, it drove me to it. What, that in, was what, like in, what of, in what way? I was just doing different types of sex work, and it was just... I was doing different types of sex work, like, everything Stripping. you could... 
everything you could possibly think of, and it was escorting. The bunny ranch. But she was groomed into escorting? it. Oh, this escorting. Sucks. But wait, how how did you get your start, and when did you start? How old were you? I was nineteen. You were nineteen. How? Uh, what was your life leading up to that? So, like, what was your high school experience like? High school, honestly, like my freshman year, um, I don't know, I hated school so much. So um, it was really like family life, like childhood growing up. Everything was kind of just like Turbulent. fucked. Are you close with your dad or your mom? Oh, okay. I talk to them, but they're just like people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I Damn, understand. that shit's sad. <laughs> That sucks. I mean, I mean how's sad. everyone else's I think, relationship? Oh, I think it's family. crazy that anybody can have a child. I think it's wild that any like drug addict, any what? person oh. who hates children can just have a child. Is that right. something that commonly happens? Like ch- children haters are just like, actually, let me yeah. just pump out. Well, I think what happens is like literally we have bad sex ed. We have like a lack of contraception. We have like literally people trying to ban contraception. We have like people who don't allow for abortions. So what happens? People get born into like shitty family situations and it's horrible. Should we, are we going to have an abortion debate right now? I mean, we can. I mean, that's interesting, right? We can. Are you guys pro-life? Yeah. Pro-choice? Okay. Pro-choice. But I just, I honestly strongly believe that most Republicans came to claim to be like pro-life and everything, but then they're against contraception. So I don't think they're actually pro-life or anti-abortion. Just It's not clear to me that conservatives or Republicans are necessarily anti, what kind of, what kind of contraception? Oh, like all types of contraception, IUD, um, emergency birth control, just long acting. Plan B. Yeah, plan B. There's, you literally have, let's see, um, Ohio, Bill 704, Virginia, HB 1395, I believe, um, Louisiana as well, all in 2022, tried to pass um, laws banning long, long-term contraception. So like IUDs, like insane shit like that Even is happening. Even non-hormonal, contra- uh, non-hormonal like IUDs? Well, no, there's the copper IUD, which is not because because what I have heard from Republicans and conservative conservatives, they make the argument that the hormonal birth controls have a uh, negative impact on like fertility and on your health. And it's not good for you to be on it. But um, I mean, I, but I don't know if they full outright object to contraception such as like condoms or non-hormonal. Well, I mean, in, yeah, in the past, there have been I think it's been consistently conservatives who have been against legislation allowing for condoms so like for instance there was a supreme court case where people were handing out condoms and condoms contraceptions were only how long ago though because i've heard about this a long but like in recent history i don't think conservatives or republicans are that against well, contraceptive just, use. And that's I don't not, think they're that okay. against Well, it. in 2022, you had Louisiana, Ohio, Virginia, Texas, sure. all bills. tried to ban long-term, long-access contraception. In 2021 and 2022, the federal government tried to pass a bill guaranteeing contraception as a federal right to people. Every single Republican in the House voted against it, as well as in the Senate. So this is something that, you know what, the majority of conservatives in general throughout the population, over 90% of the population agrees this should be a right that people should have. What, but, but no, no, no. When, when you say a right, hold on, just to be clear, just to clarify, the, the second thing you mentioned there was they just, it sounded like they didn't want to have it be taxpayer funded. No, no, no. I mean, as a literal right. I mean, as a state should not be able to say, hey, it's illegal to sell condoms. It's illegal to provide IUDs. Wait, uh, yeah. I, I just want to make sure you're not strawmanning the opposition here. I am not. There are I states swear. that are trying to ban condoms. Are I, I just want to, I haven't heard of that, but is that actually, have you guys heard about this? I think there is that something seems to be to said. Be a straw man. But. Okay, right what? now they can't ban condoms. Right now it's not really an Condom issue. Ban? Hold on, no, no, Brian. Right. right now it's actually not an issue because of the Supreme Court case, which made it so that um, right now it's like a constitutional right to like, have these because of a supreme court case but it's not codified so right now a state wouldn't be capable of banning abortion am i right i'm well no do states that have banned abortion but also i want to ask like for you pro-lifers like do you truly think that someone will be a good parent if they did not want a child but are forced to i don't think 
you're not forced to have the child. You're forced, like, first of all, if you want to, if you're going to subject yourself to getting pregnant, if you're going to open your leg, which but there are people who just open their legs, but they absolutely would not be good right, parents. Right, good there are... But that should be a adoption. consequence. Like, a whole other life form should be a consequence. I don't and think you should be allowed trash. to murder somebody just because you think that you might be a bad parent. There's but other do you options think out there besides murder. think suffering is better than, like... I think a life, a life of suffering... A life of suffering whatsoever. But not Very many true. people actually and always get adopted. And There's even so if they're not adopted... The okay, even if they're not... Even if they're an orphan, that doesn't mean that they're a life of suffering. And even if it is a life of suffering, life of life itself is better than beautiful or than being yeah. brutally murdered. And haven't you guys heard of those people who will like who literally talk about that? They're like, I my parents wanted to abort me because this was the yes. situation. Well, I was down friends. and out. I was in this situation. And honestly, I was one of those kids. My mom wanted to abort me due to what my grandparents said because they are very traditional Hungarian. They do not believe in having children. I'm Hungarian. They do not believe in having children out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. And so my mom got married when she was like six to nine months pregnant with me. Um, But but you hear these stories time and time again. Oh, to me. Oh, I'm so sorry. You went like this. Okay. Um, Well, there's also different opposite arguments where one of my best friends growing up, like I met her in middle school and we're still best friends right now, where I asked her about the abortion argument. She said that her parents only ever wanted to have one child and that she, her mom had, was pregnant out of wedlock before. And if it weren't for that, she wouldn't have existed. So there are also a lot of people who wouldn't have extra children if it weren't for them becoming financially stable or into wedlock. Like if you're in wedlock and more financially stable, you would have like three or four kids or something versus if you're a single mom, sometimes you can't afford to have more like healthy, happy, like financially stable children. So there's like the opposite, there's arguments on both sides where I truly do think that if someone cannot afford to have a child and has a really bad relationship and turbulent relationship with everyone around them and are like drug addicted i don't think having a child is good i don't think that should negate somebody's like that doesn't negate the fact that it is a life ended and this is the the i find the disparity in this argument is where does life begin then right you know what i mean and some people believe it's from conception as soon as it happens from that very moment some people believe it's at like what 28 weeks other people believe it's much further along. So I think that's the semantics that we come down to. We all agree that it's wrong to terminate a life, to kill somebody. We all agree that's wrong. I think the point of disparity is where does that actually begin? Where does that life begin? When they cannot live out of the the womb. That's like, from my personal perspective, and also I think culturally for me and Kathy, like we're Chinese, and um, I think for Chinese people, or like just like spiritual, whatever, like historical, like religious stuff, like mm-hmm. your soul, you breathe in your soul, your first breath when you are out the womb, or whenever you breathe in your first breath, that's when the soul comes in, or at least that's what so I what, was you guys taught. Are taught in like your religion, or just... I mean, there's not really religion that much religion in China besides Buddhism, which Wait, is like hold on. Even... I'm sorry, my my aunt's Chinese. She also said that like when you're born, you're born at one years old because they consider your life to have started at literally the moment of conception. And so therefore, when you're born, isn't that true? Like you're not born at zero years old. You're born at That's, one years old. I've heard that. Not from, I've heard that from Korea. Me? Is that in China or is that, that is other in Asian China. cultures? Because I've heard that exact I've same heard that thing. I've heard that in Korea in some Asian cultures. Not for me in Shanghai, but it's not maybe in China. In, but you're saying it's in Korea. Or I don't know. Shanghai's in China. Yeah, Shanghai's, Shanghai's in China. China. But you're saying it didn't happen for you and your Not Chinese. for me. I don't count myself a year older, but I do know some but, people but from China. But do you think that people in general in China, on the balance of probability, meaning at least 51% of the time, are people inclined to believe that or not believe that? Or are you talking from your um, own perspective? Not from my generation, no. But I cannot speak for so other generations. So your mom's generation, generation and huge. the gener- I mean, Wait, well, can you scoot your mic back? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like on your on your legal paperwork, when you're born in China, they start counting you one years old at the moment of birth. But do they do that, Kathy? Hmm? Do they count you as one year old? Let's uh, paper. We're gonna move away from abortion here. So. Oh wait. Okay. Can I can I say one more thing? Just on the access of contraception thing. Last thing. Go ahead. Okay. 
Because you're saying like, oh, are they banning condoms? Blah, 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 but specifically, they're trying to ban IUDs. And you can say, oh, no, it's a health thing. It, maybe it's a health thing, et cetera, et cetera. There has been no study that has shown long impacts on fertility if you're doing it properly. Now, if you're misusing your birth control, if you're doing only emergency contraception, if you're leaving your IUD too long, then that's something else. But again, you shouldn't ban IUDs as a whole because of that. That's like saying like, oh, we should ban like, let's say soda or something unhealthy if you misuse it, you know? But that's my So wait, thoughts. have any of these bans actually been passed on birth control? No, but what has been told over and over again, well, funding has been cut for birth control, for access for birth control, especially in like low income communities. So that's really bad. Second of all, you have these groups that continuously say, we're not going to stop passing these bills until they pass. And then on the other hand, you have Republicans who are like, hey, you know, instead of codifying this law, we're going to veto it. We're not going to pass it. So it's to me, in my opinion, imperative <laughs> that we try to pass this instead of being like, no, we're going to leave it in a limbo. All of a sudden. She's Sorry. passionate. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think the reasoning is but. because the birth rates of the U.S. is going down. The birth rate, we're still increasing in population no matter what. Um, so it affects our 401k, our retirement, our, our Roth RAs, and overall, like all of those things only exist and work Wait, you're with like stocks. hiding behind the mic. We oh, need, weird. Can okay. You, can you push only it? Thing does it? Is it not directly? No, no, no. Can you uh, move End it? End of the table. To your to, clavicle. To your... That... Right here? That way. Can you... To your right? This here? Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here. So, basically, I think that people are panicking and trying to ban abortions and also some certain types of contraception because the birth rate is going down as that's like the trend for any very developed country. And... But a lot of our economy is based off of the population and like having workers on the bottom to sustain everything. And even, even like when it comes to any sort of retirement plan, 401k, Roth IRA, it, it's kind of a Ponzi scheme where they depend on more people to go into the workforce. And people are also dying later. And so your retirement funds Wait, are, what are we talking about here? What we're talking we about, about like the reason there are a lot of anti-abortion laws being passed recently. You think it's a populist control, like, levelation? Populist yeah. control levelation yeah, thing is he, the reason behind the legislation. I think it's partially the reason, because you see America talk about, like, Europeans, like, the, how the population is declining, and then it's like, oh, like, they're not going to be an economic power. Well, Just that, okay, oh. we're moving on. Okay. <laughs> Pixie got her word about birth control. Um, okay, so... Jesus Christ, let me try to bring it back to something more. Sorry, whatever. tangent. <laughs> uh, okay, before y'all, like, I don't know, some of y'all grimaced when, I, when we were talking. Okay, is it a deal breaker if a guy doesn't want to go down on you? We'll go around the table. Go mm, ahead. No, I don't Based. care. Um, if he expects me to go down on him, then yes, it's a deal breaker. Wait, so, okay, if a guy didn't want to go down on you, let's say he didn't have an expectation that you go down on him, but... Yeah, as long would, as it's even. Would, no, 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 but would you still go down on him? He doesn't have the expectation, but would you still go down on him? Um, probably not if he doesn't want to go down on me. It has to be even. Has to be even, though. Has to be even. Okay, all right. What about you? Uh, I used to not think it was a deal breaker until I dated someone who only wanted head all the time. Then I was Based. like, wait a second. Like, <laughs> you're not doing anything for me. And she knows who it is. Like, it's oh, like, what God. What the oh. hell? I, I just found like, out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But like, he would not give any head whatsoever. So that's a deal breaker. Like, I didn't used to like care about head like much. I was like, whatever. But since I dated someone who's like, I only care about head and you like should do it all the time. Then I'm like, okay, it needs to be more even. So now I like really appreciate men who do go down on women <laughs> wait so hold on question uh th this guy he wouldn't do anything to make you come or please you yeah pretty much like for no it was, it yeah just, it was just you just he, he gave was, him head yeah no he would he was kind of a narcissist for sure and i don't even use that word lightly like, i feel like that you word is kind of used everywhere like he just does like lack the empathy i think he just legitimately did not understand that like pleasing people is like a good thing okay but were you guys he was you were just giving him head like no sex uh no there, there's still like sex going on oh but okay it was or, like the main thing would was just did he make you come i mean like occasionally like oh. not like it was just very like him oriented okay so 
See, I because I, I don't like to give head, but I, I like to make my girl come. Like, okay, prefer- that's fine. That's prefer- fine. Preferably before me. So, what oh, if she oh, were to great. say that she could only come? By <laughs> <getting> oh, <laughs> sucks for you. Well, apparently, doesn't suck for him. No sucking. No, just I mean, uh, if there's no way that. No, you can. Make but a if girl someone come. doesn't like, have empathy, you, wait, are you saying this doesn't exist? The only way a girl can come is through head. There's definitely men out there who the only way they can come is through head. So, ooh. <laughs> okay, no, 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 it's not cap. Out? It's not cap, but there's probably guys who say that, but it's cap. They just want. I've seen it. Like someone who no, can only finish by well, actually. No, it, it exists, but like I. Th- <laughs> Death grip. But there's probably some guys who say they can only come from head, but they might be lying about that shit. No, I've experienced it. Um, Wait, this... question, but were you fucking raw? Okay, well, no. These are so personal. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, because like, with a condom, yeah, that it's kind of it can be tough to come with a condom. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll bite. So, <laughs> under, the, under, those, <laughs> under those circumstances, yeah, maybe you can only come from head. Okay, yeah, that but, makes sense. Okay, well, I don't know. What, whatever. <laughs> but I will say that when, you know, it's a long time ago, but he would come really quick by being jacked off and that huh? was like a red flag to me from from just a hand job <laughs> i was like yeah Wait, just a hand job <laughs> yeah i'd rather masturbate with sandpaper than get a hand job <laughs> <laughs> it worked for him i'd rather not do quick. anything than get a hand job from a woman like we've had or you men know. for that matter <laughs> i bet men <laughs> can make you feel some type of way <laughs> <laughs> no just like wait chat nick can you can you scroll down the chat yo chat would you rather, like, if the option with a girl, let's say you're hanging out with a girl, and she's like, I'll give you a hand job. Wouldn't you rather just not get the hand job? H-J's do you know what I mean? Great. Chat, do you hand know what I mean? Like, would you rather, you'd rather just not get the hand job. This was I really play. doubt that and Brian. What the fuck uh, Nick, you uh, hand jobs? Sandpaper, sure, Ryan. Wait, chat, do you agree? Chat, do you agree? I don't think chat Depends on the circumstances. They, yeah. No. Nope. I can do the hand job to very myself. Over the I'm going to sleep. I'll take sleep. it. No. Yes, um, I love it. Wait, no. okay. Will you take what? the handy yeah, or will me, you double it and give it to the next person? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chat, 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 chat. Double it. Hold, hold on, chat. Okay, so if the... Holy shit, what? what? <laughs> this is a very contentious Is it... Subject. Wait, chat. Is it look really blue? I f- we, we did some adjustments with the lights, and I think, chat, one in the chat if it looks blue. Okay, when it comes to the hand job thing, here's the option. <laughs> Your chick will give you a hand job, no lube. Or no, no, no hand lube. job. No lube. Can she spit? Yeah. Why yeah. the fuck? <laughs> Why not just give you a blow job? Why then would if it she's be fucking... dry, though? Because you can see Why? the STDs in the throat. <laughs> you can Wait, get what? STDs <laughs> in the throat. Lube it. But you can't from a handy. But, but you're just going to be spitting <laughs> and you, no, no, no. Just lick it, lick it, but like not, I mean, not what full if you on. Don't have, what if there's no lube prepared? So it's like, it's just going to be a then dry. You're not going to do dry. I'm sorry. You don't no, have no, no. any lotion in your house. It's not Bro, any unscented off, lotion. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't just use like Neutrogena <laughs> on your fucking dick. You need, you need sex Every, lube. I'm sure everyone you'll in get, chat does. No, no, no. You'll get Every, a UTI. In chat, can you do if you, a lotion? Bro, why, are you, why are you jacking off Martin Shkreli with some fucking Neutrogena? <laughs> No. I never did. Well, I never that? did. I never no, lied. So the lies. No. Exfoliated. The lies being told right now. Just not Whoa. the tip. Just not the tip, right? Like, you can no, do the no, shower. Guys, bath the and body that's works, what, okay? And the balls. No, no, no. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the balls. No, but, but like, you, okay, obviously, if, they're, if it's a dry handy, which, uh, <laughs> why the fuck would you even do that? Okay, dry handy you yourself or dry handy by a girl? Dry. Both. I'll tell you what, I will accept a dry handy from a cello player. Like a virtuoso a cello, cello or violin. Player. Otherwise, these normal women out here who don't have fucking symphony experience don't have the necessary, the requisite technique the to do a proper fucking dexterity. hand job. Damn, you got like like strings on your dick? Like you gotta have someone Whoa. that like... No, bro, bro, bro. It's, it's, it's just like... Instrument. Have you seen... Yo, put Nick, pull up a, a, a video of Yo-Yo Ma. I want box... <laughs> Box. Mrs. Crush. <laughs> no, no, actually, it's probably copyright. Box cello suite number one. Bro, pull up a chick doing that shit. They got the fucking. They, they know how to do that shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Damn, sorry. Even cello I, I had some caffeine. I had some caffeine. <laughs> Just kidding. No, okay. 
Just the shaft, though. Because obviously if it's dry, you can't... These girls be trying to, like, go over the head and shit when it's dry. You can't do that. It hurts. It's um, strangling it, yeah. Do you not have, like... Do you not have any like natural fluids? Like this is like a normal. They do. Thing. Wait, like, what? what? But they like, do, like barely, right? Like, like, like I'm sorry. Wait, natural fluids is a lot. Oh, don't yeah. don't don't pull, don't pull up the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I, am I crazy? Like. Wait, what? Oh, only Mark has. Here, wait, wait. Actually, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, Mark. Here's what we're gonna do, Nick. I need you. Uh, YouTube video box cello suite number one by a woman, but we can't play the audio. Brian likes no, cow no stands. Pause, so he Actually, wait, never mind. Have never better mind, fantasy. He just wants it like on silent. Yeah, shut never the mind. fuck up. Let's just watch. <laughs> uh, I think it still probably might get us copyright, so I just let's not do it because the, even the oh, video even might. Oh, the image could be. Even the video. Yeah, Isn't even this the like fair use? We're like educationally analyzing the uh, her hand movements. Of, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little on the fence, and I'd rather not risk mm. it. Unfortunately. Mm. It's too ahead of its time. <laughs> yeah, so uh, deal breaker for you if the guy doesn't want to go down on you? Um, if he just first, like, off the bat says, like, oh, I don't do that. I feel like it's really childish and, like... No, it's not childish. <laughs> uh, I think it no, is. That's, that's like, what's up. the reason not? What's the reason for not? Like, you're not with me for no reason. Like, you know... And my like, ex was like, we, I just don't like looking at it. Whoa, like, I'm I just not, don't I'm not, like... I don't agree with that. Okay. I like to look. I'm a fan of looking. I will look. Was he gay? I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. I just processed that. (laughs) Yo, big labia matter in the chat. Big labia matter in the chat. What? Wait, what? Huh? He's saying big labia matter. He he likes it to look like a box of cow tongues. Like he wants it to just like. I will not. Hold on. Lauren, I... I am offended on behalf of women with large labias. I will not stand for you. Are you saying cow dogs are ugly? I like, will I like not cows. stand for Arby's you shaming the trying. natural way in which some women, some women's pussies are. Mm. I will not stand for it. I demand an apology to all the women out there. All pussies are beautiful. Yes, yeah. yes. That's okay, true. I'm they sorry BLM. to Brian's mom. BLM, big labia matter. <laughs> yeah, big labia. Big labia matter. Just kidding. BLM, for short. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's not. <gasps> wait, what? <laughs> wait, you apologize to my what? My... To all the big lovely labias. ladies out there. Yeah. What, what? Yeah, and I, I mean, it's just an extra fat labia. Yeah. Said you're a mom. I'm a bum? No. Yes, yeah, that's what yeah. I said. <laughs> Your mom, she a big apology to your mother. Speaking of mothers, Lauren, <laughs> is your mom single? Because <laughs> oh, no. he's into milk. He has some milk. He's on the prowl. I think she's, I do have a milk thing. She's married to my dad, and they get along swiftly. Mm, beautiful. I would love to just get well, in I mean, there and well, you love fuck that relationship. Ah. Ryan, can you tell us? You've never told us why you like the large labia. Like what? Like speak it out loud. Say it. Okay. Why do you like it? Do you want me to actually articulate yes, this shit? Yes, articulate it okay. in words. Go. First off, if they have an, an Audi, right? Oh, my God. It, like, grips, lips, lips, lips that, that grip. grip. Lips. lips that grip. It grips the dick. The grip gets dicked. Wait, what? Hold on. The dick gets, gets gripped. gripped. Uh, the grip gets dicked. It, it's, it's, this next one is it's hard. Both. It's really both. We need more men like you, though, because... All these women are getting surgeries to have more That's like right. it, porn and it, star standard lips. And, and there's a lot of men that like. Yeah, and that's great. <laughs> giant labia, hook it up. But no, it's like 10,000 a year uh, women in the United States get labia placed where they get yeah. their, basically get their genital, genitals mutilated. And uh, it's very unfortunate, ladies, if there's any ladies watching who feel self conscious about their large labia. I will talk you out of getting a labia placing. My DMs are open. Okay. I wonder if there's any trans people who are like, give me a big one. <laughs> oh, big labia. That would be hard, that would be <laughs> hard to do, though. That would be hard to do, right? Is it? You, you laugh and then you're like, wait a second. <laughs> okay. Thought um, about it. <laughs> wait. You get to make it however you want, oh, right? Wait, you wanted me to articulate why? I'm you a just beyond... did. We got well, it. There's, there's really? more. There's okay, more. There's more. Oh, I want to okay, hear it all. There's more. He wants to go into detail now that it you just, asked. Feels better. That was so descriptive. Thank it, you so much. I, I don't know we how got to articulate that from the first thing you said. I don't know how to articulate it, but it okay. just kind of feels better. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is she an Audi or an Innie? Kiki. Don't, don't touch her hair. <laughs> she does not consent here. 
You got, at least got the stuff of her face. Mm -hmm. I got most of it off. Yeah. Her lace is showing. Ooh, Fix that gross. Yeah, Scratch it. it. It's all good. It's I'm confused. Good. Is this like a mannequin or like a sex doll? It's, what is it? It's a woman of the night. What happened a to her? Woman of the night. Why? Because she's dark? What? No, no a woman <laughs> of the night is a. I'm but kidding. Well, it, that's, it's not actually an exact. Well, woman of the night would be like a, uh, a courtesan. Do you have like a little red light for her to flash in the window? No. And scare everyone? No. <laughs> <laughs> like demon. <laughs> no, that's like to signify be, that you're working. Uh, mm. I, I wouldn't get with her because it's just like, you know, what's the point? It's unprofessional, you know? She's your yeah. coworker. You have a problem that, with colored haired women? Huh? Is that it? Because her hair is blurry? Oh, no, she liberal? loves that colored hair women. No, we actually, we actually talked about this last show. Um, from a purely aesthetic point of view, I actually like women who have either like say uh, red hair, like dyed white hair. Uh, oh, you like the eccentric, blue. the eccentric like, type of women. I like blue, not, gr not green, not you so like much. The female destiny. Oh, <laughs> you like the female Wait. destiny. You like the female destiny. You like the destiny let general. Me, let, me, let me finish my point. He just likes destiny general. Blue, pink, red, and like, uh, what like uh he looked back like kind of, yeah, like, ooh. maybe like a little more white what about it's my a little mom? faded i think what <laughs> platinum blonde like yeah super platinum blonde i get you you're already but, but, cheating on her mom with her you what's just that on my mom. what's that movie producer a woody allen what's her, what's her yeah you're woody name? allen 2.0 oh maybe you shouldn't share that yeah i don't i don't know about that uh, anyways, maybe after maybe after. but here's the thing when it comes to the hair aesthetically i like it however it is associated now there's a pretty strong correlation with if you have color in your hair, you're like a woke, super, super liberal, social justice warrior uh, person. Whereas in the past, like you're probably, it just meant you were like, if you had, you were if, alternative. Yeah. You yeah, were if, seen. If you had, yeah. if you had color, you're raw XD. Like, very hot topic. If you had yeah. color in your hair like 10 years ago, it meant that you, it might not have anything to do with your politics. You could be apolitical, just have mm -hmm. color in your hair, and you were like into rock, alt rock, or had daddy issues. Yeah, so. when I went here in so college, true. I had blue hair just all the time, and then I dyed it back. So true. And professional, yeah. I have beef with liberals over that. Like, you guys ruin cool colored hair. They, <laughs> they took it. Like, no, they, they ruined, ruined it. it. They, they made it. They fucking ruined it. They actually know, because like now as a conservative, when you have colored hair, it really makes you stand out. Like, I had purple hair in law school, and then I'd be like, so Super yeah, hard, like pro. Lived, they thought I was trolling as a conservative because I'd like come into con law class being like, fuck Roe v. Wade, that's bad law. Wait for it to get overturned, bitches. And then when it like and got overturned, I I had purple hair, that. yeah. That's Super so fun. Okay, Piximus Maximus, I have a question for you. Wait, oh, uh, actually, before that, deal breaker for the guy who won't go down on you. Not, not a deal breaker. But disappointed. You're De not mad, you're just disappointed. I feel like he doesn't <laughs> care about me. Like okay. enough. Uh, Amy, what about you? It's not a deal breaker for me. I think where it would be a deal breaker, I think for a lot of women, they don't give head because they fucking love it. Because they salviate at the concept of being able to suck a fat one, right? <laughs> it's because they want to pleasure their partner. They want to pleasure their partner. They want to see their partner gratified. And so if a man, if you're not doing it for the love of being a throat goblin, right? And you just <laughs> want to pleasure your partner and that is not replicated. Oh, it's there muted. Is, Nick, it's muted. There isn't a symbiotic relationship in that sense. And yes, I would have a problem I'm with mute. that, right? I'm mute, Nick. If it wasn't on that type of a level, then it would be fine. Have I been Haram! muted this time? No, no, no. Oh, the just sound the soundboard was oh, muted. Bummer. Yeah. So, I mean, if she's a throat goblin, throat goblin prior, then yes. Throat, I oh disagree. God. However, if she's just doing it purely because she wants to pleasure her man and make him happy, <laughs> and he's not willing to reciprocate that, then I would have to that. <laughs> I think that was fair. Wait, what? Yes, I think that was fair. I don't know, I just checked out at Throat Goblin. That's all I heard. Oh, he's right. fantasizing. But, like, have you ever had a girl say that she wouldn't date you because you wouldn't go down on her? I don't think I've encountered it. Mm. It's possible, though. It's possible. So you don't? Yeah, do you, are you no. worried that any of your exes are like, and 
not only that, not only would he wear the same stupid flannel to all of our nice dates, I have, but he first of all, also, I have five flannels. He How dare also you? would not go down on me, and then be like, oh, and oh like I, and he would ask for it all the time. Like, do you worry that that's what your exes are saying behind your that back? They're telling. Well, I think it, uh, on a serious note, I think it would be. Uh, I mean, besides the fact that I've already disclosed this publicly, I do think it would be in bad taste to like disclose. Well, and eh, women do that shit anyways. Uh, to disclose like private sexual details about the partner, um, I I believe that there ought to be certain things that you have discretion about when it comes to current partners and past partners. But um, would it bother me if she was like, yeah, he doesn't eat pussy? No. Do you think that's like one of their major complaints though? No. Like, to- no. That they- most of the, I'd say most of the women that I end up there's there's definitely women out there that I mean I don't know if there's any girls at, here at the table but some women actually don't like it. Oh, wait, how much I do don't you, like how, it. How much do you like care? It. Most women don't. Like it's not my Yo, favorite thing. She's but a it's keeper. Considerate. She is a keeper. Okay. <laughs> wait, but all other stuff though. How much do you like, care? What do do? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's dive deep into this here. <laughs> what are we talking about here? What kind of you want to peg the dude? What? No. Because I'm um, not down for that. Like don't try. You don't to have to me. go down on me, but you have to choke me. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> She's got her kinks. Like, when we're talking choke, are we talking just a hand on the throat? Or are we talking, you want to be suffocated? You want to see God? I think, oh, the way. Yeah. It's a real I, I, goblin. I, I, I can't. Real, real goblin. I, it's a real goblin. She's a goblin right there. there. <laughs> she gives the throat. And she also wants to be choked. But she doesn't care about that. That's like, you know, you need to come or... Compromise. Yeah, you can compromise. Wait, I, have, I have a question for you. First on whatever <laughs> podcast, then on first forty-eight. <laughs> I, I have a question for you on the whole choking thing. Where was it? Something that you either saw in porn, or was it something that one partner you didn't know you liked it, but a partner did it, and then you're like, "Ooh, I kind of like that." How did you discover that you like to be choked? Mm, I think there's many ways through whether it's movies or <laughs> animes or what was it, what partners. was it for you what was it for you huh. I think they I've do that shit in anime fan, like I've had were you watching hentai hentai <laughs> <laughs> choked by choked by an octopus <laughs> since I was like <laughs> 12 oh, oh this is 13 she was 12 maybe 13 wait what's the volume at Nick is it sounds kind of low I don't know oh no it's okay um that's a yikes. Um, so choking, how did you, was it a dude that introduced you or you, mm. you read Fifty Shades of Grey or what was it? Um, there's that there's was books, there's movies, there's actually um, definitely previous partners too. Have you ever passed out? Um, I would like to, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I have. It scared me. Um, I didn't like My that. recommendation to men is... <laughs> If she just wants like a hand on the neck and you do a little squeeze and it's a pretty token choke, do it. If she wants to be choked the fuck out, make sure you uh, have your lawyer Get ready consent. to go. Is it just consent. choking or is it spanking? It's everything. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever like to dom or you just? Um, dumb? kind of a switch. I can do both. Yeah. So like in your house, you own like handcuffs, whips, dungeon. all of that sort of stuff. You got a dungeon. Yes. I do. You have a dungeon? <laughs> Not like a dungeon, but you but know, you like a, a little room. drawer. You know? Jesus. Do you have one of those sex swings? Um, it's not, unfortunately, my place is not big enough, but maybe oh, eventually. One day. Yeah. One day. <laughs> what about being tied up? Do you like to be tied up? Yes, and I can tie too. What is it? Hab, hab, uh, what's the she, Japanese rope tying? Hib, shibari? Shibari, yeah. Shibari? Okay. All right, don't ask me why I know that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what are we talking about? We're talking about not deal breaker well, if the dude doesn't I wanted go down to ask you, like, how important is it to you to make your partner reach the O? Okay. Um, how important is, sorry, repeat that. How important is it for you to make your part, to get your partner to reach the O? Oh, to climax. Oh, I mean, how important is it? Yeah, like if you, let's say you, like, you come, you're happy, no, no, you're well, like, okay, okay, good to go. Are you, or are you like, okay, I'm gonna make sure she. Sure. So my goal is to always have my partner, my girl come before me. Okay. Every, in every instance. So. It's a little whether, bit more forgivable than for not going no, down like, on her. No, like, I don't like to give head, but like I, I enjoy to make my partner come. I like to make my partner come. It turns me on if she comes. 
um, even better if it's mid-sex, but, uh, and you can achieve that with hands, with toys. With so. whips, with, with choking. Your, not with your thing. Not with what? Not with your you tongue, though. with hands and toys, but not, not with, with the one thing that you usually you would hope it would be juiced <laughs> by her. I mean, so, oh, okay, you're talking about G-spot orgasm? So you're saying, I mean, for some, for some women, that's more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, most women are only like... And you gotta be, like, really, like... If you're right. gonna make her fucking G-spot orgasm with your dick, but like, uh, and here's the thing though, is women's orgasm response is so much more varied than it is in men. So you'll have women, I've dated women who are like multi-orgasmic, who can come in like 10 seconds without toys, without hands, just uh, P in the V, like mm -hmm. insane, like, and they'll come like 10 times in a row. And then you'll have other women, you can use the most intensive vibrator on their clit while having sex, while fucking spank, like psychologically stimulating her and they still can't come. So the, the orgasm response in women is super varied. And some women like need very gentle pressure if it's on the clit. Some women need like a bit more firm pressure. So there's such a variety. There, there's Sounds a like much experience. more variety. What's that? Sounds like you've had experience. Yeah, bro, I'm a, I'm, I've been fucking since I've, for a minute, <laughs> since the fucking Bush administration, son. And I haven't been, I, I have gone down on a girl, like maybe, it has occurred, but like, it's, it's been since the Bush administration. Do you think men's body count matters as much as women's body count? Do I think it matters? I, I think women care less. I don't know if I'm answering your question by saying that, but I think women care less about body count than do men care about body count. I think it depends on the type of woman. I think um, a lot of conservative traditional generally. women. Yeah, generally, I would agree. Also, I think the head subject is a skill issue. Just kidding. Uh, wait, <laughs> the head subject is a skill issue? Yeah, you said you only did it like a handful of times. You only did a handful of times ever. Is it because you didn't get the reward and like the No, no, no. No, reaction? the reward was achieved. I just didn't really enjoy it wasn't my thing. I found out very early on. I must have done it three times. And I was like, yeah, I don't really like it. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of women do it for that reason, right? They do it because they want to pleasure their man. They want to see him get off. And that is their main objective in doing it. It's not necessarily because they are... Throat goblins. Throat <laughs> goblins, exactly. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you, exactly. And so what do you have to say to that, though? Like, is it a little so, bit different when your woman is only giving you head because she wants to pleasure you, and then you come to the table saying, this is not something I'm willing to do? Are you able to see that in a different light versus a girl who's just wait. like... No, go, go ahead, go ahead. So there is a girl, right, in your example that you give, who's yeah. like, oh, she, because I don't want to give it, now she doesn't want to give it, right? Which I agree, that is tit for tat, that's not very good in relationships in general. Agreed. But what if it is a woman who is only giving you head because she does it for your pleasure, and she's like, I don't enjoy this, but I love to see my man get off, and I know that this makes him really happy. Therefore... Well, she enjoys it because of that. Okay, so you don't jo you don't enjoy the seeing app. your girl happy to Wait, the what? point that you become Wait, what? so like women enjoy what Amy is trying to say. And tell me if I'm wrong. Is women will enjoy the act of giving head because it, they enjoy seeing their partners happy, not mm. necessarily the act of doing it. But you disin like you hate the act so much that even if your partner's enjoying it it doesn't, it doesn't it. bring mm -hmm. you joy at all your pain of doing it and your neck problems supersede yes the joy <laughs> that you get from seeing a woman get off right and so um, what i'm saying is maybe a woman has neck problems back problems whatever she doesn't like it Her but she does it my because back. My, <laughs> like my and my crack. exactly so do you do, would you see that there is a different instances versus a girl who's just like it's tit for tat i'm not gonna do this just because you won't do that you okay. know what so i mean what the question is would i be upset if she was tit for tat with it no a girl who isn't tit for tat who genuinely the only reason she was doing it is because it brings you pleasure that's the cool. only reason sweet so why yeah, so why don't you do that that and she says okay well if it's non-reciprocal in that sense then it's tit for tat 
Then she would be tit for tat? No, no, it's not Wait, tit for tat. what's the question? Yeah. What's the question? How, are you guys really that confused? Am I being like, retarded? No, no, what no, is no, it? I yes, understand. you are being arsed. Why, why can't you enjoy it the same way she would enjoy it? She enjoys it because it makes you happy. Why can't you enjoy it to make her happy? I don't really f- totally follow the question. But <laughs> because because that was pretty literal. I think that was a I just, really I don't, right I don't question. Jesus enjoy... Jesus Christ, Jerusalem. Chat, am I being retarded? Okay, but, but, okay so there's women who say, yeah, okay, it is tit... It's tit for tat. So if you aren't going to go down on me, I'm not going to go down on you. And maybe they even like giving head. They like it. They enjoy it. But they say, I'm not going to do it because you don't want to do it to me. Versus Is there a question? Are you arriving at a question? I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, go, go, go. Go, 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 Versus go. Versus the woman who says, maybe, like, I don't enjoy giving it, but I will give it to you because I like to see you happy. What is the question? There, where is the question mark? Where is the question mark? But you, you said that you would have a problem dating Where's a the woman like mark? that. There is a woman who is saying it's tit for tat. Would you have a problem with tit for tat? Um, or would you have a problem with, you know, a woman who enjoys, who's only giving it to give you a pleasure? Like, would you have a problem with either of them? Well, that, what? This, is, this was not a, well articulated. I don't know why. Hold on. Okay. This is okay. not coming no, no, out no. very clearly. So, so what I, I, I phrased it perfectly already. No, you didn't. Yes, no, you I did. Didn't, let me try. Let no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus, okay, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. She look. enjoys giving you head because it makes you happy. Yes, you get that concept? She enjoys giving you head because it makes you happy. Yes, okay, but, I get that. But she you, hates it. She hates but she it. doesn't actually enjoy it. I don't, I don't want a girl you doing it. If she mid. hates it, I don't want her doing it. Even if it makes you happy? Well, it wouldn't so make if she happy. hates so it. So she doesn't like the physical sensation, but she does it because it makes you happy. She's and not so a throat no, 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 goat. No, no, no. And he, no, 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 and no, no. you hold might on, not no, no, like. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want an unenthusiastic BJ. No, it's enthusiastic. Okay? I want it's an enthusiastic because she BJ. knows that it like. Jazz hands with your BJ. You're having a time. Jazz hands. Bro, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want stupid. like a. Uh, fuck, what's the word? Jazz. Um, Sympathetic Hello, BJ. Princess. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. A begrudging blowjob. Get the fuck out no, of no, here no. with your begrudging. She is passionate blowjob. because it makes you happy. She just but then she also us. wants head because it will make her happy, even if the feeling is check neutral. Check out this vibrator I got, Too babe. negative. I guess, yeah, check that's a good solution, right? Check out my right? index finger. What's up? <laughs> I got you, you babe. You can check out her vibrator and index finger. Bro, what, is she going to okay. bust out a flashlight? What yeah, the yeah. Fuck? What, if, what if she did that? What if, yeah, she busts yeah. out a flashlight. She's like, oh, and here, They're baby. even more advanced for men. I've seen some of these, like, mechanical oh, flashlight like things. Like, spinny things. Yeah, wild. Yeah. And they don't have that for women. And one of the prostate. <laughs> <laughs> My point is that it's different. It's a difference between a woman who's like, oh, you don't want to go down on me? Fuck you. I'm never going down on you versus a woman who likes it, who would do that anyway. Right? Or a woman who says, I would never do that, but I'm just doing it to pleasure you, and then you're not reciprocating back. It's a difference. I think it's a difference. I, sure, I guess, yeah. Okay, is it deal breaker for you if a woman doesn't give head? Huh? Is it a deal breaker for you if no, a woman doesn't not, give head? No, it's not a deal breaker, but um, she's a l- little less appealing. <laughs> What is it? Fair. Okay, wait, Fair. Although, ask? honestly, you know what? Besides, mm, actually, wait. There was one relationship I had, and it was actually a good relationship. <laughs> it was actually good. Uh, where it, she did make it tit for tat. She was like, well, you don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. And um, this, w- this was when I was younger. So uh, I would have probably... Because here's the thing. I think that you can... Just because your your partner doesn't want to engage in a certain sexual activity doesn't mean that you necessarily have to be like oh so i'm not going to do that shit for you like i I don't think like amy said i don't think it has to be i don't think it has to be tit for tat but um i did have a relationship with a girl like that and fell apart with tit for tat for other things or so what if you found out what if she said to you let me let me just finish really quick so so um but i mean we were having we were just having sex instead. So and it, it wasn't was a relationship. It was just sex. No, we had a relationship, but just she wasn't going da- going down on me. I wasn't going down on her. But I'd say the m- most of my other relationships, I don't go down on the girl. She goes down on me. Good for you. 
And you use toys, <laughs> you use, yeah, you still make them finish and everything. Yeah, yeah I sometimes like I, I make them come before they even go down. That's the me, least so. you can do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, no, that's no, I've great. already said that. Yeah, they, yeah that's like, fine. I'll, I always try to make the girl come. Okay, before that's, me. that's good. Before Acceptable. Yeah. yeah, acceptable yeah, to bro. never give. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's not taste very nice for her. Wait, taste very nice? No, I make her. What? I don't come. No, no, no. I make her come before. Wait, what? Before she puts her. So you go inside her before she puts her mouth on you? I just don't get Wait, how you what? didn't get what no, my question. What? I don't get how you didn't get what I was saying this whole time. There was no question mark. There was no question out. mark. So you were saying you would have a problem with a woman who does that. Does what? <laughs> Tip for tat? Yes, correct. But what if the only reason she was doing that was because she is just... What she other? just wants to see you pleasured. It's not because she likes doing it. She does not enjoy the dick down the throat. She does not enjoy the mouth ache. She does not enjoy... I think, I think which is so much... Hold on. Honestly, what, is, what is more enjoyable to do? To give head or to eat pussy? Because you've done both. Which one's easier? Which one hurts your jaw less? Which one tastes better? Which one's um, nicer? Yeah, giving head Wait, to a til- man... Turn your mic. It's kind of like... Yeah, there you go. Um, I would say giving head to a man is a lot more work because um, giving head to a woman is just like simple tongue action flicking, you know. But for a man, you have to put a whole like engorged thing inside of your mouth continuously. It's gaped wide open, and sometimes you know they take a while. It depends. So it's honestly. like so it's not only more work, and she's doing it for his pleasure, and then he's like, I'm not even going to do the easier task for your pleasure because I just not don't even like, it. He doesn't like it not even because he doesn't like it but he can't even be like I'm just doing this because I want to see you happy right. right that's the problem that I have with it because most women are not sucking dick because they They're love like, oh, to suck oh, dick this is so hard well, that's why I'm just <laughs> that's why it's like Unless if it's even, what's it? I mean, my ex used to tell me different. He's like, no, girls fucking love it. They love to suck the D. That's like, what they tell oh, you. I had, like, that's yes. what they, they say. I know. I had to ask like, oh, no, I saw this video. These girls like oh, really wow. seem to enjoy it. The yeah, video? I bet they video, did huh? seem to enjoy it in the video. <laughs> like, I'm what? sure they're getting paid for that video. <laughs> they enjoy the pay for sure. I just don't think, look, there's some things that women might not like in the bedroom there's some things that men might not like in the bedroom ultimately we all have our preferences when it comes to what we like and what we don't like and uh, i don't think it has to be totally reciprocal i don't think it has to be totally or sorry not reciprocal uh symmetrical um you know i i certainly what it, what i do find interesting though is there seems to be a lot of pushback when a guy doesn't want to go down on a girl like it's like oh wow oh you must be selfish you must be xyz because it's, it's easy it's e- what's like easy? At com- like it's much easier to go what? Blah, 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 as opposed to go. Well, yeah, ah! Maybe, maybe he has like a, what the fuck? Maybe Wait, he has have, like a tongue deformity. Have, maybe he can't like flick you, his tongue. Have yeah, you, maybe have he has you a eaten short pussy? Tongue. Have you eaten pussy? <laughs> have you He's eaten basing pussy it off of what you just heard. Lauren, have you do you eat pussy? <laughs> No. Why you? That did not no, I, I, no, I have. I have. <laughs> wait, did y'all? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> No, I like maybe maybe maybe, <laughs> yes. maybe you're discriminating. How did I put them. in the work? I got a, I had a feeling there was an in, there was something between you two. You guys uh Yeah. Be fucking. Okay. All right. In Australia they tell you to go down under. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. okay, um <sighs> I don't know how it is. So, okay, we've been talking about something degenerate, so let's talk about something toxic now. Um, (laughs) Oh, wait, really quick. Yo, I know. (laughs) Pull up the Twitch, please. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. If you have one, can you move it over? Uh, Yeah, drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Oh, Power Thor, thank you for the raid earlier. Let's see, Preacher, thank you for the prime. Knight, thank you for the prime. Rolla, thank you for the prime. Church, thank you for the resub. Justin Bieber, thank you for the prime. Gascar, thank you for the tier one. Shaggy the Boomer, thank you for the prime. Guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow in the prime sub if you have one. Uh, Nick, can you also pull up the Twitter post from uh, the, that we got to react to? This is one of your uh, posts. So, would you ever date someone with an OnlyFans? <laughs> this is a question for the chat. Chat, would you date a girl with an OnlyFans? One in the chat, if you would scroll it down. One in the chat, would you date a girl who has an OnlyFans? Two in the chat, you would not date a girl 
as OnlyFans. But one the chat, <laughs> if you would. I mean, OnlyFans chat. also there's like a whole spectrum. So there's people who only do cooking on there, or there's people who do full sex work, or there's people who do drag. Or I don't think that matters though. At the end of the day, your reputation is going to be affected regardless, and anyone going into that career and that profession should be very aware of the label that they're going to get, regardless of the type of work they're doing on the platform. Yeah, but I think a lot of people assume OnlyFans is only porn, for example. Exactly. And they wouldn't date someone who is doing that specifically. What? But what? anybody who's willing to cast themselves within that same light and same shadow is willing to cop that same reputation. So whether or not they're willing to do the same act, like you just said, mm. everyone's dumped into that same category. Therefore, if somebody is willing, is a willing person going into that they know the type of ramification this is going to have think, on their dating prospects yeah. on their reputation on everything it, so if they still choose to go um, into that engaging in it then they should cop the full ramifications of that whether or not they're doing bg contact whether or not they're naked like cooking or not yeah, yeah no, no but in I, la i think in la if someone's like i have an only fans people ask like what do you do on it versus i think outside of la people are kind of like, oh you have an only fans then like you're you're for the streets like, is that so, what it's like in la specifically they they categorize it based yeah. off whether your yeah yeah like what you do on OnlyFans like Patreon do you okay what led you to OnlyFans because you're a very smart girl you're college educated you went to a very good school you have a very impressive degree so like what what led you to the OnlyFans route she said fuck it no, no, it's like, yeah. no, it's like a supply demand thing. It's kind of like if men are giving me unwanted attention anyway, might as well monetize it kind of thing. Are you doing something other than OnlyFans to like supplement your income? Yeah, so I do real estate. I'm a property right. manager and I own several properties. Are you and- worried that OnlyFans is going to um, hurt okay. your real estate business at all? No, I actually think that social media has got, given me a lot more opportunity when it comes to clients, when it comes to being like a buyer's agent or a seller's agent. I can just post like, hey, like, does anyone want to sell a house? And people actually don't personally know that many real estate agents, surprisingly. So I actually get more listings and more people to be my clients than before. It'd be like, oh, yeah, my parents need to sell a house. And it's really surprising because I never thought those would intertwine, but it works. I feel like whenever you have a really big following though, irregardless, you could put up any offer and there's gonna be people who fall through the cracks, right? Who you're like, okay, this is my ideal client. It just, it's law of averages if you have a big enough following. But on the balance of probability, I would not deem that as like an effective marketing strategy. No, I don't think that's- To be able to attract uh, real estate clients, for example. Yeah, however, I had a lot of people in my class, so I had to go through like the real estate exam and everything and go through the classes. I would say like majority of my classmates like have not ever had a listing, for example, or have had deals, even though they've been in the industry for like a like couple years. So it's like only so because you're a sole proprietor and you have to like get into your brokerage yourself, there's not like, oh, you get hired specifically. You have to kind of like hustle your own way. And it's all about like your sphere and who you know mm-hmm. and not even what you know. Like, it actually is advantageous if you have a social media. Like, ironically, like, the people who work really hard who are really fucking smart. For sure. Your network is your net worth. But, like, I would, like, I deem it questionable when the people in your network have a, deem you in a sort of light and a certain regard. Is that really advantageous to you long term? Possibly by what you're saying. But I think for the average person, having that type of reputation and the people in your network generally regard you in such a light. Like, I don't think that would be advantageous to most business endeavors. What's, for what's the more- average person at least what's more profitable your real estate agent like your real estate business or your only fans um it's about even for sure because i have like airbnb so why don't you just go all in in real estate then because it's like an extra six figures a year okay i get it but but sorry it's really hard to go all in on multiple things right could you not see yourself if you were put away from the only fan stuff and you just went all in on real estate but also with my only fans network all my home girls and all my friends also make a lot of money who don't have the financial advice or like the real estate networking connections to help them invest in 
different real estate properties. Mm-hmm. So like, but why you wouldn't make I six tap figures into... in real estate? Don't you think it's a cop out to tell women that the only way that they can make six figures is by literally turning themselves into a commodity and selling their body? You I don't think that's the only way. No, but, you, but you make six figures through another avenue. And what I'm saying is, why not go all in on that? And you're saying, but I have friends. They see that as their only thing. No, what it's not you... that their only thing. It's just that I can help a bunch of people who have a decent amount of income who can purchase houses versus most of my nine to five friends actually cannot afford homes. So do you actually recruit girls for OnlyFans? And um, what do you mean? Like, like the referral program. Yeah. Do you referral program for like agencies for or only just, fans. Oh, for like OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. Um, not, they, I would say most people already do OnlyFans that I know. Like when I started doing OnlyFans, a lot of people already do it. But I think occasionally I'll be like, yeah, like if anyone wants to ask me questions, I like hear the pros and cons. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't be like, yeah, this is the life indefinitely. But and so what she's asking is, so you recruit those people into your OnlyFans business or not? Oh, no, I don't have a personal business or agency. I'm just a sole proprietor for my own OnlyFans mm-hmm. platform. Right. But they yeah. have an affiliate program, right, where they can refer anyone and they can make up to 5% of the commissions of the person who they yeah. brought on. Irregardless yeah. of whether you're an agency or not, you can be an individual. Yeah. It's kind of like an MLM, right? You can just send someone your sign-up link. They yeah. sign up and... But I yeah. think to my understanding, what she's saying is that you, there's already girls doing it that then ask her for help versus her seeking out other girls and being like, oh, join OnlyFans. Ask you for right. help with what? Like, growing their own only How to optimize the yeah, money. Yeah, how, how do you optimize it if you're not, like, doing more... Like, if you're not doing crazier and crazier pictures, how are you growing an audience on OnlyFans? Marketing. Um, marketing for your front end. So you can do, like, comedy skits. You can start doing cosplay stuff. You can go to Broadway. You can do, like, anything that's front end. You can do music. People, like, as long as you have exposure, they will fund into your OnlyFans. You don't have to go more and more explicit. <clears throat> I think that's a misconception that you have to go more explicit and you have to do porn. But it is to a degree, not to get people to sign up, but the main thing with OnlyFans is the residual income, the fact that it's recurring. It's month after month. But if somebody signs up and like, oh, this bitch is literally just dressing it as a furry, she's dressing in cosplay, like that's not going to do anything for them. And the, what I see is especially in a society where things are getting more and more degenerate. And now we're getting the AI girlfriends. We're getting these yeah. AI parasocial relationships. Things are going to get more and more degenerate. They're going to have to keep pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope in order to get people to subscribe on that like residual basis. Right. And I think that's what she's more so talking about. It's not about the marketing to get people in. Like mm-hmm. I know people who literally said, hey, I'm launching an OnlyFans, had a thousand people sign up and their first picture was a thing saying sucker. I got you, right? It's not about that. It's about the ability to be able to have that ongoing residual income. And that is not going to happen unless you are delivering the content that these people want or expect. Wait, now I kind of want an OnlyFans that just goes like (laughs) (laughs) I mean, there are a lot of people who actually scale back. Like, I actually know people who used to be in porn, who used to actually do in, in real life clients and mm-hmm. all that they're, they're so they're prostitutes basically they yeah i knew people who used to be prostitutes who mm-hmm. just scaled back on only fans and now they only do like lingerie stuff and it's great because they were able to like save up and eventually like delve into something that's legit mm-hmm. i know people like from all avenues who like started from only fans and then they funded all the money into different like passions that they're into like um, I have a friend who's a race car driver, but they had an OnlyFans for a year before they were able to like fly themselves to these different like race tracks and stuff like that. And she's really open about it too. But yeah, and yeah. I think that's great. I think if you're gonna do it, then fuck yeah, have an exit strategy, have a plan. Because number one, your body is a depreciating asset. And even with in the AI, realm of no, even in the filters. realm of mills and gills, <laughs> though, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then somebody's gonna make an AI of you, and you're not gonna get paid shit for it because they're just gonna create something in your likeness or something that's even more attractive. Because to be honest, anyone but that's can do like, that with AI. But that's the fear. But the money, like you know, opportunity cost, like the money is worth way more now than later. If you just like don't optimize anything that you have now that you can take advantage of, then it's gonna pass. And then in the future, you might ask like, oh, what if I did that? True, oh. but but also, but no, oh. I agree, but most. So with sorry, your, sorry, sorry, with sorry, your sorry. mindset sorry, and intellect, I would agree, but with your mindset and intellect, not with your body. I feel like at the I end lost. of the day, there's two very different it's types over. of people. There are certain people who believe, who are very um, opportunistic 
And I think it's a good thing to be opportunistic, but you need to have parameters on that. At the end of the day, your money, money should never cost your fucking dignity. That's what I believe but at the end of the day. And there's people- undignifying? I think it's undignifying because I think that at the end of the day, your body, your naked body is the most intimate you could ever be with somebody other than physically doing the act with them. And there's maybe some people who are able to be emotionally detached from that, but I would agree that it's very rare. And even you, Pixie, have admitted that. You literally said on the podcast with me that if you would have put your naked body on OnlyFans, you'd probably be depressed. You'd probably deal with self-esteem issues. Yeah, but that's also me personally. I, I know, but that is the majority of women. The majority of women, because of our psychological proclivities and our inclinations, will not feel good about ourselves because sexualizing yourself nine times out of ten... I feel like you- I have more agency over sexualizing myself. I also was in swim my entire life, so like I was in like competitive swimming i had personal trainers my whole life and mm-hmm. i feel like i was just in swimsuits like mm-hmm. my entire life growing up and mm-hmm. i was in the junior olympics and i feel like people sexualize me no matter what and i feel like if people did that it's anyway. gonna be different in professional sports like my mom was a professional swimmer that's very different at the end of but the day people definitely oh. still do oh. sexualize they will in any oh, industry. sorry sister, keep going keep they going. will in any good, industry that I'm you're good. a part of they're always gonna find a way to do that but i feel like a like a professional swimmer especially at like that type of professional level olympic level very very different to only fans girls well, and one of the biggest yeah. things about sexualizing leads to something called objectification objectification so means that question. you are objectification means that you only deem yourself as an object you yeah. you view your value based off your physical appearance which is proven through many many different studies that that is one of the ramifications that come along with sexualizing yourself or being sexualized by others i have a question for you so what do you think about people who acted in for example euphoria hbo shows like game Mm -hmm. of thrones where i'm completely against all of that and honestly i'm probably deemed as someone who's a little bit extra in our society but i don't watch any of that i don't watch i never watch euphoria i don't listen to music that explicitly talks about being overly sexualized and yet i am very very intentional about anything that comes in here because i know that everything that comes in here determines what i speak what i think and literally my day-to-day interaction so i'm really not the person to ask about that Mm. i do agree that there are issues with that but i think that's very very different that is not the slippery slope we're talking about in how maybe media and music is a little bit risque it's a little bit this and that versus blatantly sexualizing yourself on a well in in game of thrones like the first episode khaleesi like you know was naked the brother touches his boob her boob Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of sexual things going on. There's I hate incest. all of that. For me yeah. personally, I hate all of that. I would not engage with any of that. And I would not let my children ever engage. I would be that overprotective mom who's like, you don't get an iPad. You don't get this. You're not going to have these things infect your subconscious brain before mm. you come to adulthood and you're able to determine how to react to those things. But I, what if they get exposed to it anyway? Like, and, they, and they probably They have would, friends who have degree. iPads. They absolutely. Have absolutely. The internet. But I think at the end of the day, the standards that you implement in your home like your leadership within your home needs to be stronger than the world's programming that's what Mm -hmm. i thoroughly believe and i was somebody who used to say i didn't want to have kids i was strongly of the opinion i don't want to have kids because i know this world is fucked up and i don't want my kids to be affected by that but i have learned to accept personal accountability over the last year to the point where i've realized that my parenthood my leadership of my children needs to be stronger than the world's influence over them and that's yeah. what I believe. You're, you're capable of doing that. It's difficult, Spitting. but yeah. I believe that it's possible. <laughs> yeah. I just think you're just so unbelievably talented and smart because, like, being in the Junior Olympics, that's very impressive. But I never grew taller, so I and never then, made it to the real um, uh, <laughs> I mean, also, you are well endowed, so I'd imagine that would also dif- be difficult <laughs> with <laughs> swimming. What are you talking about? What do you mean well endowed? Well endowed? Yeah. What are you talking about? Well endowed, well endowed. <laughs> well, you got, they're, they're fake though, right? You got fake titties? No, they're not fake. They, yeah, they are. are they? They're pretty. Okay, yeah, they're so right there. Are they real or fake? <laughs> I'd imagine it'd be dif- I difficult to be an athlete with. They are. I got they're the right here. Fake tit- right I got here. the fake titty vision. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Well, either way, you're very impressive. And I just wonder, like, is there a reason that you would choose? Like, do you have some sort of affinity to OnlyFans and to sex work when you have so much other talent that you could put out there that uh, and other people might find the sex work debasing and also find that sex workers eventually find themselves debased? But Wait, what do you mean by debased? Um, 
like welcome to regretful. the whatever podcast <laughs> okay. only fans intervention well yeah. no i think this is like the biggest like difference between like what you guys think and what other people think and it's basically not for everybody sex work is inherently debasing and it is intimate for a lot of women but that doesn't necessarily mean like that sexualization sexualization of the self is seen as a bad thing it can become a bad thing it can become objectification but i think a lot of people also associate that with a lot of other jobs that they think are even worse so for example McDonald's or like doing service industries can get yeah. very objectifying and humiliating very quickly. I, I worked at the Rex in here, so I literally just went to the gym earlier today at UCSB. I had to clean up literal human shit, and I think that was like way uh, more. That's the most I'm humiliating thing on, ever. Hold on, just a $99. For Amy, I appreciate you teaching them that selling your body on the internet is not the only way to make money these days. Clearly, there are better ways to make money than starting an OnlyFans. But how does one new RR what the learn of averages is? OnlyFans. How does one new learn averages? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's the only way to make income, but I think that's another avenue that I want to take advantage of when I'm young. Once I hit like 33 or something then it's like completely gone or i can go towards an avenue where it's like oh it's just bikini modeling it's like oh it's equivalent to it's like oh your mom was like a playboy bunny which for my circle and people in california and la is not that negative of a thing if how someone did it start how did you start doing what you're doing like what was the moment and did you have any um questions or precautions about it before going in and if so what changed your mind so I used to do Patreon where I would sell professional prints because I'm also really into photography and like cosplays and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I would have, I had a Patreon and then everyone was moving towards OnlyFans even though OnlyFans had like a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and, but people were like, you can do the same exact thing, but then you just do it on the OnlyFans platform because there's way more people on there. And I, I think that was kind of the decision. And then I saw the revenue and... It was so, like, and then you, did you did sexualize you, your photos more that's after what I was you ask. Did you Did your type of style of content change the more that you got into working on that platform and realizing what was acceptable at the time? Um, I guess it was a little bit more sexualized, but I still <clears throat> do not, for example, show any vagina or like do any like. But did you do content. on Patreon like sexualized? Did content? you show your titties on Patreon or just um, OnlyFans? No, no, I didn't show my titties on. Patreon, but only on OnlyFans. Since, yeah. So since you started OnlyFans, that was one boundary that you kind of were able to push through, basically. Or was it against yeah. TOS in Patreon? I think in Patreon it was against TOS. Oh yeah, Patre Patreon it is. But yeah. I never thought that like topless content was like super outrageous. Like I like looking at magazines that had like beautiful like new. So I also was an art minor, and then we always had new models to where we would draw them and i wasn't like how dare they show their titties and the mm -hmm. guys are literally completely naked and you would draw their penises mm -hmm. and i just never thought that was huh? a terrible thing mm -hmm. it was at ucsv by the way they were like my like figure John, drawing class John penises what like yeah no, they, they would draw drawing. yeah they would have nude Super models to like <laughs> study Europe. study the yeah, human no, body i just <laughs> never thought it was such a like taboo thing Wait, okay yeah. question for all the girls here who do only fans do you object to and maybe you've heard this from men but would you object to a man not wanting to date you because you do only fans i think that's fine yeah, I think it's I funny. They don't have to date me. Do My you, are, ex. But but you have any feelings about it? Like fuck you. You don't know me. No. No. There's, nope. there's no. They're just know me. ignorant. They're they immediately just, ignorant yeah. because it's like you don't know me as a person. Like you know, I could be the best wife, the best mother. Just because my job title, you're going to you know like shit yourself out of luck pretty much because you can go be with a regular girl that has a nine to five and she can be shit Based. to you as well. So, oh, okay. I what mean, that? and that happens in real life. It does happen. But if you had to choose between a regular chick who's shit at you, who's shitty, shitty versus a chick that I does mean, ask the chat. sex work who's shitty. <laughs> Yeah. At least a sex work gets bread. Like, I mean, at least they get spoiled. The yeah, but you don't share it. At Women don't share their money with men. So that's, it's not true. Not true. that's not true. That's true. At that's said, such oh, a oh, minor oh, answer. Wait, wait, but, but okay, yeah. earlier on in the conversation, you said during the pandemic, you were holding a guy down. Like, you were, you were paying for everything. He was living with you. And you're like, ooh, I, 
Like I. Well, she was also doing because, the housework. Yeah, and the house he labor. wasn't cooking or cleaning or working out. Like it, I would be totally fine with like a trophy husband who just chills okay. and like hangs out and is just like cute. It's that's totally fine with me. How much you make? <laughs> she says Anne didn't work out, Brian. This was an issue for her. Okay, I will buy them an Equinox membership, like personal trainer. Oh, he has to work out. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's like if they cook and clean, it's fine. It's like right so now. it's like either somebody. or. They have to either cook and clean or they work out. So, oh, so one of those. <laughs> so if the guy's shredded, you'll. You'll be like, okay, I'll do all the He's work, but at least you're candy. in really good shape. Yeah, right? I thought it was like, both. I thought he had to be a hot bod and, and with like that's a like impossible. My standards are not that high. <laughs> Is it really like? I feel like when it comes to keep taking care of the house, I don't know. I live pretty much on my own. Guys I like don't know how to do laundry. Like, Guys, they don't know. Oh, do don't know how to feed themselves. I do my laundry. I feed myself. Can you cook? Amazing. Uh, I I eat out a lot. I can cook, but I prefer to. Or sorry, I prefer he to get takeout. He doesn't eat out a lot. If you can you sustain that yourself, very clear on this show. <laughs> <laughs> what What does your toilet look like, though? Is it clean? It looks clean. You wanna, it looks clean. Oh, this is your toilet why? no at home? No. Well, I got the and studio. I'm taking care of the studio and my other place. Clean as a motherfucker. Okay, oh, that's so good. Have that's acceptable. Kids. That's I good. Do you have a maid? No, I clean myself. Okay, that's good. It's really not. I feel like it's like one or two hours a week what percentages of your meals do you eat at home versus oh out? i do doordash for most of my meals <gasps> convenience opportunity cost how do you wipe like your cost, ass though. what the fuck <laughs> why? why how do you after you go to the bathroom what do you do oh, oh my god that's he's very asking specific. if you have good hygiene bro this is a men a male topic oh. for my yeah is it front bro. to back or back to front is that what Wait, you're are asking you talking about my technique Just or like the whole process like. she's asking <gasps> some don't what the mind. fuck no, that's true. Some There's men like don't some Reddit. No, 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 I, I have that I take that, as that well. shit a step forward. Not only do you have paper, you have a you, day, huh? Well, you should get no, but I have uh, I have the put on the, the Amazon wipes. wish list. Booty wipes, yeah. Booty wipes, son. No, there is like I heard a Reddit post. This doctor is talking about how like with her male patients, she would do like prostate exams, and like fifty percent of them, they would sit down that on the shit. white piece of paper, and when they would get back up, they would like leave a mark. I'm so gross. <laughs> Can you guys hear? Jack, can you hear that? I really like the yelling. And Welcome the to the Whatever guy. Podcast, where the local crackhead is having a blast <laughs> down down on the street. Woo, Santa Barbara. Did he Why? really? Rude. Was it a that full was a can sound. or an empty can? <laughs> He doesn't want to play. Nobody wants to play. I think, I think he plays, I want to play. he plays yeah. League of Legends and he's really upset that nobody How? wants to do a uh, well, really over really like this maybe I, I have no fucking idea. Um, <laughs> wait, what, we were talking about what? Why are you talking about wiping? Yeah, what the fuck? Cause, because men are gross is the point. So, but I do think it's similar to Baby intellect. Wipes, like I think women... Like when it comes to cleanliness, similar to intellect, they're like average cleanliness, whereas men are either like neurotically clean or disgusting. disgusting. Like, like mm. there's really no middle disgusting. ground. Disgusting. Yeah, I Word. feel like. With let me uh, let, let's do a couple chats here. So we have Liam L A. Kick that J seventeen. What is J seventeen out? Um, what is J seventeen? Is is he? Is that a slur? Is it a Jew thing? That's what I was saying. Okay. Oh my God. Is it a Jew thing? I'm so for bring, but bring on the anti-Semitism people. I face Nick Fuentes. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we have Anonymous here. Basic human dynamics, opposites, uh, opposite attracts. One is a receiver and one is a giver. One likes being on the bottom and one likes being on the top. When both are givers, y'all competing who is better or vice versa. In conclusion, bad sex causes failed marriages from Anonymous. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Pat escalated mm. quickly. That escalated <laughs> very quickly. You don't have good sex. All right, we have Big Blue here. Oh, Brian Brooks and Brian. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, busy day, intervening in fights, counting debate points on my fingers, buying Neutrogena, making pitch decks, <laughs> identifying as a hippo. Anyway, Martin is misunderstood. Long live Wall Street bets. R.I.P. 
in peace, Harambe. Yo, Stochastic, send me a DM on Instagram. Uh, yo, Big Blue, Lauren, tell the audience about how you got booted from the Air Force Academy for trying to seduce a cadet. Oh, I left the Air Force Academy on good terms and got an honorable discharge and am fake, currently a veteran. Fake news? Fake news? Yeah. Ooh, okay. so you can right. probably get a VA loan. No, I, I can get a VA loan. Yeah, I absolutely oh. can. All right, we have Conan. You should get a quadplex. <laughs> you should. Okay, Conan 19. <laughs> Head for men versus women is very different. Some men find the idea of unsettling of sticking their tongue in the hole that excre it excretes blood hole, old tissue pee and multiple dicks have came inside of before you like you the already clip. don't know how to do it just by that <laughs> description because what do you mean? don't throw Conan in the 19 hole. under the bus what no i'm talking about the fact that he's just said in the hole like in what are hole? you talking you just guys are sticking their tongue in there i mean when they do it's well, like it's a proximity it's funny. I think he proximity thing he comes from the same hole as the blood which i yeah. think is very funny same Old for them tissue. as well where is I mean, it how are you getting tissue up in there i don't know oh yeah you said pee wow okay yeah <laughs> I think he thinks women a have a he cloaca. doesn't pee out of the vagina. Women pee out of the vagina. What Wait, a cloaca? What? Wait, Wait, are you being? Are you joking? Yeah, no. Um, oh, Co right. Conan. That's what he thinks. I, I'm. I am confirming his beliefs. Oh. Yes. We have only two holes, sir. Well, I, we have a cloaca. <laughs> when it comes exactly, to peeing, when it comes to one. peeing, though, you could actually argue that I mean the urethra is closer to the clit than the. So I mean. The tip the, that the we vagina? have to put, insert no, no, in our no, mouth. No, no, the, ur the urethra. urethra is closer to the clit. So where you pee out of is closer it is to the clit. Then, but then the for vagina. the men, it's yeah, really but, just like. So you're saying they, that when they're they're licking the clit, they're getting some pee. And so no, are what we. I, but I'm I mean, it's, no, you're saying that men the, pee. The prox no, I'm saying that the men proximity, pee, yeah. the proximity of the female urethra is cl closer to the clitoris than say like the. He's just, the he's just trying to show off his anatomy <laughs> skills. He's just trying to prove that he knows how to make a woman child. He's a little bit correct. Okay, we, we'll give you that. He's like, look at we'll me using we'll lady part that, terms. I know female anatomy. He's like, I know clitoris. <laughs> I swear. I know right. labia. Yo. Oh, we got big red. Big red takes 130 Thank you, man. Appreciate $100. Wow, that was scuffed. To the ABG in the front right corner, a Texan could treat you right. Brian checked out during the of convo, the same way the girls would have during a wow rant, uh -huh. but he wasn't playing wow. World of, World of Warcraft. Wow. Um, do, you, do you have a response to him? Wait, he, he's calling. He's calling you an ABG. What's that? Asian boba girl. Wait, Asian baby, baby girl. girl. Yeah, Asian, Asian baby, baby girl. girl. Isn't that for girls who are like from here? Yeah, I think it know? typically yeah, applies like to literally. like American-born Asian women mm. who have a certain like attitude or style or something. It used to be like related to gangs but now it's more of an aesthetic so it's, it's like yeah. someone who has tattoos dyed Ooh. hair and goes to raves do you have a response to him Wait, sorry i didn't really catch it um oh, what did he say? he said to the, here uh to the abg to in the front corner a texan could treat you right so, so he's I asking go you to out to tech he's Ooh. asking you out i, I would vouch for southern boys i've never been that'd be cool Okay, I guess, are your DMs open or not? Because you have like three boyfriends right now. I thought it was seven. <laughs> yeah, I have no Don't, clue. You what? He could try. There's a lot. He, he could try? try. Wait, yeah. okay, give us more details about how much competition there is though. Like, okay, so you said there's like, th you're kind of dating. Be specific. Do I have okay, to? You have are to. Are you going to make me cry? I'm going to make oh, you. <laughs> Wait, but, you're going to cry? No, okay, so as her friend, I would say sexually is literally just like one person. There, oh, wait, so sexually, if you, you, that. you're if, hooking up. Yeah, just wait, one. Wait, what do you mean? Or if just that. one person, like, so who, like, barely, like. Barely what? Like, they when, don't. They don't what? <laughs> they just fuck. It's not like, no, it's not like they, no, no, no. They don't see each other every single day, and they don't live together and things like that. Like, it's just like, yeah, one person sexually with their situation yeah do you feel Wait, okay whoa, whoa, whoa. with her ta saying your situation oh no you can you can talk i mean she said if that so what do you mean by if that you well, mean she's I mean, not he, actually like turbulent. he comes around from time to time right you know <laughs> Wait, so you guys... Okay, that's, that's the only person, do you though. Like she doesn't guy like for her? Do you like this man for her? You think he's good for her? I, if she likes him. Do you, yeah, like, it's, do you like it's, him? If, if she likes have you, him, too, Have you yeah. met the guy? Have you met the guy? Yeah. Wait, how long have you been seeing him? Um, I don't know. Maybe a few months. So, what, you guys fuck once a week kind of thing? What do you mean? 
I guess whenever he wants. To. But okay, how f av if you had had when to average? When does he want to? Mm. Once a week. Mm. Once Probably every time. Do you want yeah. anything? No, no, no but how, no, no. how, how times. often? <laughs> <laughs> every time, like once a year. Okay. Like, <laughs> like how often is he swinging by? Twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. Does he? Have you had any conversations with like where this is heading? Do you want to like mm -hmm. have a relationship or? Do you want a relationship? Or do you not care at all? I'm not really sure. I think I just I am just going with the flow. You have needs. I. I think I barely do actually, but then if my partner wants to, then like I would be more than happy to. Wait, so question. That's his he, type of girl. He, <laughs> <laughs> he comes over. Do you guys like kick it, or is it like he comes over, you fuck, and he dips? Oh, we do stuff here like and there. Netflix do do? And Board like games. dates, dates, you and know? then like. Oh, you you'll go yeah. out in public. Where do you yeah, go? Out? Like oh, okay. I said, I'm dating. I don't right? do that shit. Blue okay. donated right. one hundred dollars. <laughs> Lauren, as I recall, although you received an honorable D, honorable you got D. kicked out of Yusufa. Oh. Can you tell us the full story? I didn't. Or is it you too embarrassing? You can't get kicked. If you got kicked out, it would be a dishonorable discharge. So on like my military paperwork, it says I have an honorable discharge. I don't know what they're... I don't know who this person is, but I uh, nope, have an honorable discharge. Honorably served my country for two years, did... Basic training, I did ESET, I did SEER, uh, then I went on to get a math degree, and then I went on to go to law school, and then I passed the bar. And uh, Speaking Ooh. of the honorable D, you can honorably suck my D, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, you, are you gonna, you? hold on, are you gonna let her talk to you like that? Don't let her, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, we have Eric Beck. Why are men paying to view these women in OF? Google images, you can see women for free, and corn on the hub you can view the act for free how do you keep these people paying for your content i mean isn't it just like a uh, there's the actual engagement of messaging back and forth yeah, as well there's as also like dmca yeah. yeah it's like more about the personality but also there's dmca you usually especially now can't see everything that people put up like even when it comes to oh, what was that musician um who i canceled recently who Lizzo, Lizzo. No, no, no. Uh, oh, Lizzo. Wait, so she Lizzo had cancer? Yeah, she what? got canceled very yes, recently. Because she made, oh my God, I made a whole video on this. <laughs> I, I'm, okay, anyway, I changed like the lyrics to her songs to like make a video on this. But anyway, she forced her force. Wait, 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 let's not talk about it. Let's not, it doesn't matter. Oh, so, yeah, so the, uh, the point matter. is that she, she had like, for example, like a video of her like go viral because she fell off a stage and then like saw everything wait, and then she erased it the by the internet or from the internet. It's just that DMCA um, erasing is very strong now with technology. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, Stifler, ask the ladies, f ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. I hate this question. Rate our own looks? Yeah. Or each other, like, what are you talking about? Okay, so, no, no, no. Either so, way, yeah, that's rate the person rate, to the right so, of you. No, no, no. So, rate your own looks. We'll Zero. go around the table like this. <laughs> like, right at this moment? <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Like on a scale one. of one to 10, what do you rate your own looks? Uh, it depends on the day, man. It's like, just like right now. <laughs> Oh, um, like six, seven. Don't do that. Pixie. Seven. Yeah, I'll say seven. I would say on a good day, a 10 out of 10. Yeah, a good day, I'm like nine. Yeah, it depends <laughs> on the day. <laughs> Don't start that. Don't start that laughing. Ten, 10 out of 10? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, very, very much so. 10 out of 10 in delusion. What do you rate yourself, Brian? Six. Yeah. What do you rate yourself? I said seven. <laughs> you already said seven. Okay. Uh, Lauren. Four. Three. What the fuck, Lauren? Sorry. No, okay, for women, I feel like Everyone the scale is, is always above five. Like, well, that's like the here's zero. The thing. Are we going purely based <laughs> off looks, or is it also intellect, just, personality? Just looks, just looks, just, just looks. 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 looks, looks. Oh, okay, wait, no, I'm sorry. Just Before looks. you continue. This girl, we went out to the freaking bars, like, the other day. A seven men hit on her, like, in the night. Like, one after the other, after, <laughs> after the other, after the other. I'm just saying. Like, you have to be delusional to think you're not a seven, at least. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so, like, fresh out of the shower? Like, nothing? Uh, I'd say, like, yeah, six, probably. 
Wow, you guys really what? underdid it, I feel like, for you. But well, okay. no, but because well, think of a 10. Think of the most well, no. perfect, most beautiful woman that you've ever seen and then try to, like, calculate the disparity between you and her. I'm just being logical. Such a bad like, uh, like, honestly, yeah, I mean, for okay, sure. Okay, what about, what about on you your best day? Like, your best day, like, professional makeup? Oh, like, totally. Downs. Like, I mean, yeah, like, eight, seven, eight, sure. I'm but at 10 right now i'm just gonna say <laughs> <laughs> also like attraction is so subjective like i grew up with a really low self-esteem especially in baker still there's no asians people are like what the fuck is wrong with your but face but there's also eyes? general things right so like symmetry <laughs> is one thing that people really look for like there's certain like like things based in health right so like your complexion having healthy clear skin these are things that like psychologically we're programmed to look out for right so there are certain determining factors that really state whether or not somebody's attractive it's not as subjective as what some people would make it seem for sure beauty is in the eye of the beholder i agree with that to some extent but there are parameters which define that to some degree or to some degree depending on like the culture depending on the region and the area and what is popular sure right. i mean there's some cultures where right it's bad to be tan because they're like if you're tan then that means you work outside therefore you're a peasant only the, <laughs> the really pale people are attractive right versus in in a lot of western cultures being tan is considered a, a lot more attractive so i get being subjective in that sense but i feel like there's certain factors especially where symmetry is involved that is a really large determination of whether someone's attractive yeah or not. i guess that's like kind of genetic can we see like who is because wasn't there like a vote of like america's most attractive people it was like two people a man and a woman I feel like they, they were. were both? What was uh, this? Every year I feel they, like they come up with just... a list of the most attractive people. Was this it? science? Oh, it's like really? Kim Kardashian. Wait, scientifically. Wait, Jen- didn't Jennifer Aniston win like two years, but like very like decades apart? That's so funny. Mm. <laughs> I think she did. Beauty uh, standards change Really all quick, the time. we had uh, Liam here. Liam, sorry the TTS didn't come through. It's probably because you used a profanity. The uh, robot voice doesn't like to read it. Uh, but that girl est a D and left. I sucked it. You're allowed to suck. I'm not sure if you're aware about this. If you join the military, you're still allowed to suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like... It's not like, it's like a religious boot camp. Lauren De Laguna, <laughs> confirm or deny, you did you suck a dick while you were in the military? Oh, I, you did it, everyone? <laughs> did I have a it's not the reason I left the military, okay? Okay. <laughs> there's a lot worse. <laughs> but there's a lot so interesting. There's a lot worse going on in the military, so I just want to say that. <gasps> Wild. Let's bring it to Pixie here. I got something for Pixie. What about oh, me? So Pixie, you're a feminist. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, are any of you, would you consider yourselves feminists? Anyone? I love humans. I don't love anything. <laughs> <laughs> I would like being. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why they made me laugh so much. I would like things to become more equal, but I would say I was way more feminist in college than now. <laughs> Word. Okay. So you're still kind of feminist, but. Not yeah, like much. I think the wage gap, like I think the average man still makes way more than the average woman, and Alonious. I think that's why Alonious. men should pay for the first date because women Alonious. have more consequences. Erroneous. <laughs> a lot of these things, I feel like a lot of these things are applicable, and I think everyone, I mean, their experience and their feelings are valid depending on you know. Don't you I think like, men are paid more because they choose like they tend to choose more STEM jobs? Why do you think they and choose also, more STEM jobs? And also, not only that, but their ability to be more to work STEM. Hard Wait, what do you well. mean? Definitely not. Well, like it, it Definitely. depends on the culture. Like, like in I, Asia, like all the women are in STEM, like in white collar jobs, and like doctors and all of that, good at math. But in in America, it's like so. When I moved to America, I learned algebra in fourth grade. I moved to America, people are in like still on multiplication and all the women acted dumb because it was like a social norm because that was cute no so i think they really just strange. are <laughs> no no they're like oh my god i'm so bad and then it's popularized in pop culture because it's like, cute yeah it's in like America, cute and i was like, like what and then i was like bullied for being a nerd and, but there's a lot of cultural differences like in mm-hmm. asia there's a lot more like ceos that are women and stuff but like mm-hmm. here there's not so i would like to mm-hmm. for society to kind of like not discriminate against women who like but like assuming okay. they don't work as hard in a capitalist ours. market if we were 
if a company was really truly trying to maximize profits, which is what most companies do, and it's true that women just will accept less pay than men, then why wouldn't all of these mm -hmm. companies hire exclusively women? Because then they could just pay 77 cents on the dollar and make huge... They're because men believe that women are less capable at producing good work when it comes to STEM. So, like, that's a Wait, problem. What? There's, like, these discrepancies between, like, hiring yeah, like, practices I, and, no, like, the companies... I was in all these coding hired. classes and all these guys are like, oh, yeah, like, guys helping you. Well, like, I even in my job. about STEM specifically because I don't really know STEM, but when you think about it, anybody who's able to maximize and get to like the top like one, two, three percent of their profession to the point where they're making multiple six figures. Because at, at that point, when you're making six figures, you're already considered to be the one percent of American income earners, right? Or like the top three percent no, at like least. 10. Top three percent. No, it's the top three percent actually. A hundred thousand per year makes you within the top three no. percent of we income earners. That's, that's false. No, actually. it's not. It's not actually. We it's not. No, no, no. Look, look it up because a hundred k in San Francisco is actually poverty per household. Yeah, I know. But when you oh, consider that with Whole, when you're or? talking about America as a whole, okay. the top when you make over a hundred k, that is considered the top three percent. I thought of it was like ten earners. to fifteen. My no, can we look it up? And that. that is the disparity where women get that wrong because when they talk about the man that they want, oh, I want a man who makes six figures to be this, to be that. Oftentimes, women think that that is a large majority of men. To be frank, it is in California. When you calculate all those factors, it's less than 0.5 percent. It's usually less than one percent of men who actually make over six figures who are at least like six foot tall, for example, who have a lot of the other characteristics that women are looking for, right? So women, honestly, people really get that messed up when it comes to income expectations. And especially with women who are able to maximize their income on platforms like OnlyFans. But I'm telling you, shit is rare. For the average man to make six figures, that is exceedingly rare. For him to be able to do that regardless of your location. Well, in San Francisco, no, it's not Wait, that Kathy, rare. are you feminist? Uh, I'm not sure. Define it. Okay, maybe you're just apolitical. You believe you in equality between men and women. Yes. Wait, what? Feminism. What? You believe what in equality between yes. men and women. Oh, is that what feminism is? Yeah. But oh, that I doesn't I, seem to I, be I feminism's was... goals right now, Pixie. I strongly disagree. I think a lot of people have a misconception of feminism because you have certain places or people who take like the worst type of woman or extremities of women and then put them in place and basically make fun of them so you, is that like a no true scotsman no it's not like a no that, true oh, scotsman by definition feminist. of feminism you have to believe in equality between women everywhere. and men if you do not meet that definition you are by definition not a but, feminist but would but, you not agree sorry no, can you not agree say that there are a large majority of women who would claim to be a feminist who literally when they say like what do you think of men or xyz it's automatically something de de derogatory or something negative and a lot of those women claim those ideas to be based on their principles of feminism so are you saying they're fake feminists or i think it specifically depends on the context that you're talking about so for example if we're talking about like women who have gone like through essay they might be talking about like oh yeah like mm -hmm. um these men in general or these men who you know that these mm -hmm. societal problems indicate a problem with how we raise men for mm -hmm. example yeah. um that's very different than being like oh um i think all, all men suck yeah. yeah but i feel like a natural like um extension of feminism is this whole mindset of like fuck the patriarchy yeah. right and that's one thing before i even knew what feminism was i'd heard the term fuck the patriarchy before i even knew what the patriarchy but that's the loudest was. of the internet i think feminism is kind of like default in for example la san francisco and like mm -hmm. a lot of the majority like big cities metropolitan cities such mm -hmm. as new york city even shanghai like I would say even Houston and Dallas, like big right. metropolitan cities, like people are default feminists. Right. But my but question is... But the loudest people, they like, portray it as like really negative. And I see a lot of people online who are like, oh my God, these feminazis, whatever. Right. Like, and I get that. So, but so, okay, if the argument of fem feminism is based on equality, then where are we... Where would you consider us to be unequal in society right now based on the United States of America... And where we currently are right now, what would you consider to be unequal, unbalanced? Okay. Let, me, let me add to that too. So you were saying feminism is about men and women are equal, equal rights, right? Um, not just equal rights. It's a little bit more than that, but generally speaking, sure. Okay, but would you do you think that women don't have equal rights um, in I, the U.S.? 
I think, or in Western countries. What is it? I think in terms of, okay, what do you define as a right? Let's start there. Do you mean like pure constitutional rights? I think women and men have... Reproduction rights. Men have a more... We can't just get our tubes well, tied. Yeah, I have a, men here, actually, I have a really men good... actually have no reproductive rights. I have a rights, decent example. That's not true. You can't, you can't get a You guys can get a vasectomy. That that's is not a reproductive a, right. That's a reproductive yeah, right. I, no, re reproductive right has to do with the children. Bearing that's a the consummation, child, right? No, huh? that's the, the, the well, that's what okay, is so it. Wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. But, but if you were to get pregnant and you decided that you were no, you didn't want to keep the baby, would the person who impregnated you have a choice over your ability to get rid of the baby or not? Psychologically, but no, no, no. not physically. Right. Would no, but a baby? reproductive right has to do with your body's reproduction. The fact that you can get a vasectomy is an example of a reproductive Are you comparing vasectomies right. and abortion? With two tying, with no, two I'm saying, I'm saying you're being like, men have zero reproductive rights. And I'm like, that's not true. Here's one reproductive but, right but that men women, have. Women I feel like that's are, a contraceptive right, not a reproductive right. Contraceptive, I guess so. The most important reproductive rights. Women are legally, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Men can get vasectomies, women can sterilize themselves too. Uh, no, uh, not can't. necessarily. Yes, no. You would have to be over. No. Um, you would have to yes. be in multiple a certain age no, for that's approval not by true. a husband. That is, that is okay. not true. That yes, is, it depends on the state and on the hospital. It is, there we is can no search law, it up right now. There is no law that says... So many of my friends trying to get their tubes tied. They okay. can't. That is not true. That is just... That's some myth that feminists have invented. Is it possible that some doctor was being sexist in some way and he said... Are you sure your husband's okay with this? It's possible. The but, fact but if you're a woman and you want to get your tubes tied, you can. The well, fact that hospitals can literally make it a policy for themselves to say we will not give a tie a woman's tubes unless if she has um, private what is hospitals it? can do what they want. Okay, but well, private then hospitals just, aren't allowed. Wait, 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 wait. Private hospitals aren't allowed to discriminate based on race. For example, they're not allowed to say we're not going to take black patients. Yeah, because they have a constitutional requirement, but they're not constitutionally exactly. required to give anybody who wants. Dollars. One sec. Quite comparing SF to the United States. The U.S. national median income right. is $32,000 per year in 2019. No too many people make over 100 comma slash year and in order to be in the top 1% of earners you have to make $650,000 per year. Reality check. Yeah, 100K is like top 10 to 15. It's not 10 okay. to 15, it's top three at least minimum. It's so, still top three. but okay, what, what rights do, do men have that women don't? The only one that I can think of, and I think this, it depends on your city, but men can go topless in public. That's the only right I can think of that men have that That's women cool. don't. That's cool. I wish. <laughs> the fact that hospitals can have a private policy stating, oh, no, we're not going to allow a woman to get sterilized unless if she has, like, permission from her husband is already showing a but vast difference between how they're no, treating men and how they're treating women. They can have the same thing for men. They c a hospital could have a policy saying, okay, we won't give a man a vasectomy. No, I'm not well, saying men who got give his vasectomies and my women friends who don't want children, can, they can want to be Can we also, I, I think I'm not sure sure on the procedure of getting a tubal ligation i think it's what it's called and there's also can you also get a hysterectomy i don't I, there might be a couple different things but we can also agree that uh, I, I believe it's a more uh, invasive procedure to get your tube side than to get a vasectomy that yes. doesn't excuse yes. so that Say, could be the whoa, reason whoa, okay. that could be related to perhaps the further uh hoops that women might have to jump through in order to undergo like a more potentially dangerous and invasive but procedure let's see if we can agree on this basis right okay there let's should see. be no we'll, we'll yeah. <laughs> there should be no hospital that should be allowed to say okay if you're a man in your early 20s we're gonna you know help you get a vasectomy or you can get a vasectomy versus oh if you're a woman we're not gonna allow you to do it unless you get permission by your husband. And if you do not have a husband, you're kind of fucked. Private companies get to do what private companies wanna do. Okay, but you can argue that That's private company. Okay, let me finish my sentence. You asked me a question, let me finish I, my I sentence. Oh, sentence. No, okay. Here. So, <laughs> use <Yeah. laughs> I mean, no. Kaiser is private. I have Kaiser. No, but Kaiser here's the point. You shouldn't be able to discriminate on the basis of sex, right? We, we should agree that that's something that shouldn't be discriminated against. I don't think the, like, in the American con does this, is in the 19th Amendment? or no, It wouldn't be under the 19th. If anything, it'd be under, like, the 14th. I think 
Let's it's search a it up lower right now. discrimination. I think that they okay. can. So I think they can I discriminate they... on the. Yeah, actually, I know they can. Yeah. So why, why don't we do this? Let's just concede. Let's just concede that can. all hospitals ac across the country are just denying women the right to get tubal ligations or get sterilized. Let's just. What else? What do you mean? What else? Okay. When and I when say, I say rights, like but uh, rights. like laws. Yeah. No. I think Any in modern I think book. in modern day America, most discrimination discrimination comes from like social norms rather than laws. You asked me to give you some examples of unfair treatment, but I do think that give America has come a very long way, <laughs> and yeah, I think most of the discrimination is now social rather than legal. Okay. So sure, let's talk about social. What are some ways in which women don't have equal rights socially or okay so there has been multitude of studies showing that when women or men have the same qualifications if there is a woman name on the resume they are less likely to get picked rather than like a male name well uh, number one i feel like that is Aronius. number one with uh what's what's it called uh when but isn't, i, I forget the name of it when they they're like literally selecting women or well, literally selecting affirmative action. affirmative action with affirmative, affirmative action act is like a band-aid though like, I, it yeah but regardless i think at the end of the day it comes down to who can get the job done at, when you look at it right and i've seen this from There's first-hand experience a woman who walks that. into a job interview where the person tells them this is what you're gonna get paid are willing to are probably gonna walk out of that interview and be like okay shit that's what i'm gonna get paid a man who walks into that interview who's qualified who knows his worth when they tell him that figure will say no I know what I am worth. And that, yeah, women is a, that is a personality characteristic. And at the end of the day, that all factors in to this wage gap disparity it's, that it's we're talking social, about. It's very social, yes. Yeah. And women are trained to be okay. Like if an employer asks you, like, what did you get paid at your last job? Women mm -hmm. tend to tell the truth while men tend to say that they got paid 20% more. But now the wage gap is slowly diminishing and closing. Mm. But right now, it's still not there yet. But we're like on the Actually, way. Actually, if you adjust, it's pretty much. When also, you, also women it's will. Gone. It's gone. I, that it's is gone. Not, also, it's gone. when women. It's gone. Look, if, you, if you account for Medium all income. variables, if you adjust for what do you all mean variables. By taking time off for children, for example, when you account for the fact that women are far more. Like, what woman is willing to work 80 hours per week to be able to get into the position of other men? Men, that is naturally their proclivity. They are based on competition. How can I get ahead of the men next to me? Women don't naturally have that mindset unless they are an exceedingly rare type of woman. I strongly disagree but then on top of that you can make the argument of like oh you know who's pressured more to take care of children and to stay at home it's always women that's it's and always that's a natural proclivity but, and and I, don't, I don't think husband. you can make that claim I don't think it's a if you look okay the argument that's a natural proclivity proclivity comes from like okay civilization post agricultural revolution which has been like the last 10,000 years and that is even by itself like very tumultuous because we look at oh men gained supply or control of the food supply at that time so you can argue that like when men have control of the food supply that's how like environmental factors end up creating society but for the past a hundred thousand years before that when we were nomadic societies things were a lot more egalitarian in nature which makes sense we hunted in groups we took care of children in groups it was there's a reason though. there yeah. was women who were gathering and men who were hunting who but, but doesn't mean one is more jobs. valuable than the other no. If you look, no, 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 no. but it's showing that they have different places, equal but separate. They serve yeah. different purposes within society. The idea, okay, but here's the deal: the idea that's like no, women only gathered and men only hunted. That's not true either. There was a great overlap. We can search it Some right now. Some overlap, but but, but um, the great overlap. Probability. Then why is that literally a thing where they said women were gatherers and men were hunters? Were they lying? Well, I want to argue. Well, well, no. Would be, what would their motivation because, be to lie? No, about because it? that uh, is what happened. Because what uh, because the argument post 1800s when this was first brought brought up was this idea that women are too frail and too weak to hunt so therefore they must have only been gatherers but if we look at let's say like the recent like bone studies basically where we mm -hmm. look re-examine the corpses and stuff hey guess what a lot more are women than we previously thought and which makes sense because the way that we hunted wasn't through brute force and strength it was mm -hmm. through literally walking animals until they collapsed out of exhaustion and then reaping the meat out oh, of that that's how they did well, it back in the day I didn't <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean sure but also like, modern society because men aren't like just doing blue collar jobs. I would agree if like we're in a blue collar society, it's just farmers, it's just hunters, it's just construction workers. Like I would agree that yeah, men should do these jobs, but when it comes to like white collar jobs, like I think women are just as capable and intelligent and True. Well, well, again, work as that's really into sexist it. of you to say that <laughs> men should do the dangerous, dirty, difficult I think work. men are on average 
bigger but muscle work, mass. Work at the, would you say, like, can you name many women who you know in your friend group who are willing to work 80 hours per week on something? I could name several men who I know, who I who are in my circle who do that or who aspire to do that versus most women were exhausted I mean, I know after doing an average 40 hour week. That's why most women are going to OnlyFans because they can't even work a fucking restaurant job. They can't even oh, work I a was... 40 hour per week job. So they go and they do OnlyFans and yet we're here fighting about women's natural work <laughs> ethic and proclivity to be able to achieve the same results I mean, as you, men. You just assume like they're not that willing to put in the work. You're assuming that I only do like OnlyFans and well, no, I, I know that you do other else. things as well because you stated it. I'm talking yeah. about on the balance of probability for most women. They I know see so that. many lazy men as well like you know the men like they're if you look at the the stats of the norm like there are way more men who are homeless who mm-hmm. are unemployed and there are also way more mm-hmm. men who are billionaires mm-hmm. and i think there's just a lot more men on average who like do everything but it's not represent doesn't represent the whole and same with like women i think women more have like a normal curve where a lot of people work like maybe average 40 hours but there are people who work more and there are people who work and that's less what we're, but we're talking on the balance of probability we're not talking about the yeah the probability the of it is that there are a lot the more men standards which are in turn relate to people's natural proclivities which i don't is think what it's we're talking about necessarily here. natural you might have like an excellent group of friends who are very extremely hard working but i know a lot of men people who are just unemployed dollars Joe Dirt believing men and women are equal is crazy. Who's Joe Dirt? Yo, no Bender the Offender, thank you. So <laughs> I do think the that chat, there are men who I, work... I think it's you, Pixie. I think you're Joe Dirt. I'm Joe Dirt? That, that's what he said. He's saying do you know who Joe, Joe Dirt, Dirt is? Who He's is a Dirt? character from a movie, and he had like a mullet, <laughs> and so they're trying to say that. I have like, a mullet? No, you have beautiful hair, and it's just blonde in color. And they're These are to be, actually things. Like, there's you look, they're just things. You, you look stunning. Over, like, yeah, you, you look stunning. They're just... It's, yeah, okay. it's just a movie reference. And um, it's one of my favorite movies. Wait, okay, okay, okay. I think with, with your sample wait, wait, wait. size of men that you know, I mm-hmm. think they're probably really excellent people because you're like an excellent woman as well. But I do think that there are an equal amount of, of men who work zero hours per week and just like what? play Please. video games. Like I do know a lot of sure. unemployed men. And I think wait. a lot of this is the product of the times, right? But I'm talking about like the natural like inclinations of people on a biological and like psychological level. There are reasons that are So do you think it's more people... nature or nurture? No, I think it's nature. Like you think I think it's just nature. Nurture has an effect, but I believe at the end of the day, evolutionary psychology plays such a huge huge how, how much what percentage do you think like nature takes over compared to nurture like, i mean and, if you're raised in a certain and honestly, environment so for me for example i when you look at my nurture i should be a failure i should be this i should be that and i'm not but i you could be an I'm, outlier i know i'm an exception exactly and here's the thing there are exceptions to the rule but people try to use their personal experience to be able to denote what is actually going on in society when to be honest you're not the world doesn't revolve around you it's not correct. Just because this is my personal experience doesn't necessarily mean that that is how society functions or runs. Yeah. And I'm self aware enough to be able yeah. to realize sure. that. Like, um, I would say about like your Hold conclusion on. and let, assumption let me... with OnlyFans <laughs> girls, too, though. Like, <laughs> no, I don't because I do. On a balance of probability, most OnlyFans girls are going to, number one, affect their job prospects because AI is also being used to determine job candidates for a lot of companies right now. And they are on a, a, like a 0.01% accuracy and speed going through your history. So that's number one, and that's just going to become more and more prevalent. Number two, a lot of guys aren't going to want to date somebody who has been on OnlyFans. Some men will, but a lot of men, you are limiting your dating prospects. I when feel you, like I attracted a lot more people who are open-minded when the they The type of men you'd want to date, though, or the type yes. of men who are into you? A type of men that I want to date. Yeah. But you also so look at billionaires. The type of men I, I would want to date are also attracted attracted to me because they are also more open-minded then why aren't you dating she them? is dating i am yeah. dating them. okay she's okay. got rela- but, oh you're the single one over here mm-hmm. Amy. I know. But, but i'm yeah, saying like but if you look at billionaires though, for most women generally speaking a lot of guys and for you i can tell you are like she said you're an exceptional person you're obviously very intelligent i don't think i'm necessarily that exception to the norm though like i know a lot of girls who graduated from college and yeah, they think- have like a high she graduated from usc dude that's a way higher ranking than ucsb like there's so USC? many women yeah. Yeah. What, what's your degree? Um, art and design. Oh wow. I just feel like there's a lot of women Red who flag. literally just they're kidding. just kidding. They put all of their value into their body being a commodity and that is their only plan. Oh, I mean I think strategy. most people are aware that the body does decay, but then there's AI, you know, if you're already an influencer they can just keep on deep faking you. Like 
um, my boyfriend did do like a oh my boyfriend did do a video for Paul McCartney where they defaked him to look like he was 20 and it was a whole music video like it's just like there's so there's so much more to the industry than what is to the eye. But aren't you guys worried about that as OnlyFans creators that then your value is going to diminish when someone can literally just make a replica of you? Like, what type of intellectual but uh, they can make replicas of people that? who don't do OnlyFans? Like, Ex I know a lot of celebrities where they have news out there, but it's mm -hmm. just like someone does it. But this is only becoming prevalent the last couple of years. Imagine they in done ten it years you? from now, though. Hold but, on. Yeah. So okay, let, let's we're we're talking about OF. We've talked about it quite a bit. Pixie, mm -hmm. you're a feminist. Yes. We a lot of feminists claim that women are oppressed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you agree? Do you think women are oppressed? Yeah, I think there's certain ways that women face oppression. Okay. Wow. Are you, so you're a woman. Yes. I didn't mean to assume your gender there. Um, how are you oppressed? As I previously stated, I think it's absolute bullshit that me and a guy can have the same exact resume or that I might be overqualified than him. And on the basis of my name, out of like the million studies but, that there are out okay. there, I am less likely to be chosen. However, the thing is, though, is that that's one study, but then you hear all this stuff about affirmative action and that, oh, we're going on a diversity hiring spree. And apparently diversity has to do with 50 percent of the population or more than 50 percent of the population, which is women. Okay, so there seems to be a disparity between a company claiming to be diverse and inclusive and then actually hire actual hiring practices, right? Can HR we agree departments that this exists? are made out of hyper liberal, typically women. Okay, I'm not the women leader have a of every HR department, but I can say that we can just like look at like blind studies and blind data. And when we look at affirmative action, the way that's supposed to work is that it's supposed to be two people of equal merit then okay, we might pick the woman or the woman might be picked in certain scenarios. But either way, it doesn't change the fact that you see like a big gap in diversity for a couple of reasons, mostly favoring men. And guess what? One of these reasons- <laughs> you, think, you think DEI has, has a bias towards hiring men? I think well, so it mainly has to what? do with because Wait, the assumption what? that women will have children eventually. So it is true. If you see a name on a resume, if you're a woman, you assume that they're going to, like, especially a woman who is like mid twenties or late twenties or early thirties, they actually do hire women less because okay. they assume that they will have children. So they're gonna take but, which away. it is, yeah, yeah. But so a like that's a business speaking, decision, but it's still unfair because not all women want children. It's just like a sure. generalization. And also like now a lot of men also take care of their kids. Like a lot of women want like stay at home husbands because but the wage gap is closing. Hold on. With the HR departments and with diversity, equity, inclusion, almost all companies are attempting to hire like at least 50% women, have a certain amount of women on the C level, have a certain amount of women. What companies? What? Not in tech, All not in fucking fame. Not, <laughs> not in tech? Not in tech. Not in tech. Why is the tech like is the most. Trans people. In and software like engineering? Oh, maybe in marketing. Yeah. Maybe on like the front desk, but no, in software even, engineering? That's what we're even saying. programmers. There's even a programmers? Program. Yes. Yeah, they well, not when I worked. In yes. 2020, can you name the companies? Even, I've, I've heard can you stories. name the company? Huh? Can you name the company? Can Literally, I name the, can I name the company? Facebook, I don't know the the first like, five Netflix. biggest the banks in America for certain, um, like pretty much any company that cares about ESG scores whatsoever, which is like the majority. I think every single company on the NASDAQ. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Apple.com diversity <laughs> page. Inclusion in di diversity. Yeah. We, oh, Nick, can you search this? Apple.com Apple Apple slash diversity. Yeah. Look, so like, just like how I said, what? right? Oh, yeah, no, no. But, just but, how I said. Uh, Listen uh, to me. There is a gap but, between what people are stating, what they're marketing versus what's actually happening in reality. And the gap is closing, but it doesn't change the fact that there is a gap. And, and the question is, why does this gap exist? It exists or because, it, hey, people assume women are less competent. They assume, sure. yeah, they, they assume that women are less competent. They assume that women are going to have children. And women, to begin to get into these fears, is they already assume, very difficult. Wait, they, hold on. They assume that women are going to have children. I mean, but is, there, is that a fair assumption to make? Um, Don't most women... Have well, they assume that the mother wants to take care that's of the children. That's what we're taught. Yeah, that's what we're taught. Well, aren't there certain just like biological realities? Like she has to nurse I bet the more women child. are having children than men. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> Controversial wait, Pixie, take. Pixie. <laughs> can, can men? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Pixie, Pixie, Pixie. Hold on. 
Oh my god, can, I'm not no, no, gonna answer Pixie, this question. Pixie, I refuse to answer this question. Let me just ask. No, I know what you're gonna no, ask. Hold on, just, you're gonna, oh, gonna, Pixie, hold on. Wait, can we let her guess what you're about to ask? Before <laughs> I know exactly yeah. what you're what gonna is, ask. What is he about to ask? You're gonna be like, can men have children? Yes, that's what, that's what I was gonna <laughs> ask. Can men get pregnant? <laughs> can men get pregnant? Um, Wait, can men get pregnant? Let me answer. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yes, that's what I was she about thinks to say. They can. Hold on, hold on. She's I'm a ready. liberal. She thinks they can. Well, I think if you, a trans man, technically, but I feel like this is so already like beyond the realm of general reality. Yeah, science is getting really um, good. interesting. So I, I feel like some. anything can happen sorry. pretty soon. You're not part of this team. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my Hater. god. This is discrimination. We yeah. believe in trans men, so we don't get popcorn. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucked I'll up. Give, I'll give you some after. <laughs> sure. mm. I don't, don't want to just throw popcorn at you. I think. Okay, here, Kat. He kind of does, though. Wait, are you ready, Pixie? Okay. I'll turn your mouth. Oh, oh, that was an aggressive. Yeah, that wasn't like that was malice. Okay, that was that was assault. That was battery. That was it's on camera. Oh, okay, that that was was so 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 look. No, she consented. <laughs> well, I, I, you you like, said throw it. To that was like a. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to throw it that hard. I thought popcorn would it have a little. Really <laughs> yeah, it it's not cotton candy. candy. Ready? Oh! oh my you ready, Kat? Is this a him. thing? You ready? Oh. Uh, you ready? All right, this, He's like, wow, that was oh, terrible. Give it a try. Kobe. Catching your boobies. Wait, wait. You literally. Oh, oh, okay. That's why I was trying to catch it. I mean, thanks. Come on. Kobe. Oh, oh no. okay. all right, all right. You're um, such a big target. Yeah, Mom. how are you missing? Wait, so men? <laughs> men can get pregnant. Man. Um, a trans man could theoretically, but okay. I feel like this is just. Don't forget the non-binary. Wait. Don't forget the NBs. Yeah. The, 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 the babies. Okay. The walruses. Not, don't forget the babies. Don't forget Please. the hippopotamus. Oh, the hippopotamus. Wait, oh my God. Pixie. So, how yeah. are you oppressed? How Besides I'm, the that one example. Okay. What else, what else you got for us? Um, I'm more likely to get sexually assaulted. That's not oppression. Does it, I I will oppression. say yeah, that men are more likely to get killed. How kills. are you defining oppression? I okay. But. Like oppression typically <laughs> has to come from <laughs> Sorry, some like. Raise your hand. <laughs> okay. Do you want to? I feel like an, an, from let me ask you a question. If you're like, let's say you're in the upper echelons of of status of society, but like you fall victim to some sort of violent crime, like random violent crime, does that m mean that you are oppressed because you're a victim of a random violent crime? If it's random, but if it's on the basis of my gender, that's different. What? Wait, what? There's no female president. Wait, not, it, would that same man do the same, or I'm assuming it's a man, do the same thing to a man, or is he seeking out women? I think that's what she's saying. Men like a can Jack get the Ripper vibe? Okay. It's, yes, men can get sexually assaulted too. I, but so. no, but course, people like, are no, mostly heteronormative. In specific um, circumstance. Okay. You're playing some weird judo with language here. I don't know exactly. <laughs> let's, okay, let's, let's start here. How are you defining oppression? Because that's where how all do, the other arguments are going to come from. How do you define oppression? No, I Madame. asked you first. How I'll do you define yeah. free speech? Oppression. A lack Ooh. of free speech. I <laughs> know. Inequality, like, like you don't have something that the other person has. They have some type of a leg up, some type of a magical or mythological thing that is allowing them to be able to supersede your results even though you have the same qualifications well yeah that's a very uh, yeah that's a really good example that's not a good what example you because YouTube for most people who became a politician Twitch. they were probably working 80 hours per week as either Twitch a lawyer Twitch. or some other type of similar profession donald trump in order though to get to that the idea level. that yeah. okay twitch streamer hold on you're just writers, you're just naming podcast. hold on you're just naming the fact that certain jobs men have dominated in those fields but then you also have recognized earlier in this conversation that when it comes to like the when it comes to men spending money on women yeah only fans is a thing no but because when i'm talking about the when i'm talking about the intellect uh yeah and into the mic when you're talking. oh uh, yeah, yeah. when you talk about the intellect for men versus women men have a much uh, less steep bell curve women have an extremely steep bell curve around the median so you're going to have men it's who are normal yeah have so. a more uh, normal like it's a, it's a normal distribution for both of them but women are much more centered around the media and have a much steeper bell curve so you're gonna have more 
men who are mentally slow, but you're going to also have more men who are exceptional, Excelling. exceptional mm-hmm. geniuses. So when you have spaces that like people of particular genius tend to excel, then men are going to be within, like are going to hold most of the space to the top 1% of those. Mm. Oh, is this the greater maybe, male variability? No, okay, this yeah, 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 that's what we're talking I'm about. not going to lie. But maybe it's because okay. of the Pixie's fall pissed. of the middle class. Pixie's pissed. I, I just love the Pixie. Pixie maybe it's because Wait, I'll let the middle speak class and then that speak. I feel like women have the short end, but it's just the middle class that's literally becoming less. Okay, able. Pixie, how like are purchase you power lower. No, wait. Let me how let me answer. I just oppressed? literally answered, but multiple you times. Said, you said you're oppressed because you have a chance of you have I'm a more higher likely likelihood be- of being victimized. But the- yes, I'm more likely to be sexually harassed than a man. Okay, than a man is to be sexually harassed by a woman or even other that's men. That's not. I don't think that's yes, evidence that of oppression. Yeah. All sex are, I'm You're literally we defined as something. But how does that affect your day-to-day life? Like it, every single day when you go out there, when you wake up, when you walk out of your house, when you go to your job, when you go to sleep, is this literally on your mind? That's like, not how we started. LA, if you live in LA, actually, if you live in downtown LA or K-Town or Hollywood. Chicago, Fresno, Chicago, Chicago, Bakersfield. Bakersfield, New York City, it, like just, it depends. It depends. No, Chicago, okay. isn't it like a lot of gang shootings, a lot of fighting? When I it's think of oppression, I think of, you know, not being able to vote. I feel like it needs to affect your day-to-day life. Not being able to it own to property. I think, I think, okay, like, that's not how we first started establishing oppression, but even if you want to establish it that way, I think things that affect my long-term career opportunities and my long-term trajectory in life does count, even if it's not like a single instance every single day. It's the fact the, that my life men in general, are not I have holding you, Men are not holding you back example. from the job that you desire. What do you mean? If I literally, are, if I literally am just as qualified or more qualified for a job, do you have of that? So you can literally have study after study there's after no, study. You can that, search it up. Not, I mean, there's there's a quality of outcome, but there's a quality of opportunity. Do you not acknowledge well, that? That's at least a problem. A quality of opportunity. I, I'm not even getting the opportunity to shine in certain spaces. So you don't think? So you disagree that there is a? You don't think that there's a quality of opportunity right now? No, I don't. You have affirmative action. You have yeah, more but affirmative action is only a band aid. Most people who get admitted to college, for example, from affirmative but they, action they actually have to drop out. The benefit of the affirmative action. Can't which they receive. Do you think of, okay, I affirmative have, action uh, isn't this like little magical fairy wand that solves too. all problems regarding yeah, like no, equality or like sociality? Hold on, minutes, guys, one mic, mic, one mic at a time. Go ahead. Okay, affirmative action is not this little magical wand that suddenly that's solves all saying. problems when it. But that's what you're saying. You're like, you guys have affirmative action, and it's like yes, even but, with affirmative action, there are still differences in the ways that men and women are treated in society. Some of them unfairly. Yo, hold on, but, can you but agree? Affirm- so okay. You've presented some uh, a study. You've made some arguments about well, there's this study where with the two s- describe- exact same resumes, the one with the male name is does better than the one with the female name. But we actually that's a study we have in action. Like that's I think much more observable than a study. You have affirmative action. You have DIE in major. Even mid-tier corporations, major corporations. Yeah, and yet you still see. No, when they do the studies, though, they do comparison between with names and without names, and people who, like, when you do the studies without names, way more. And you know, you know who probably ran the study? It was probably some feminist studies program. It's not just one study. study, There's multiple entire journals. There's going into well established. Let me finish. Let me finish. Going into the study, they were looking. They were fishing for an exact. They were. It's like if you're looking for the answer. Yeah, you're, you're no, no, saying no, that the study is false to begin it'll with. It'll be like the same people applying to all of tech, and then some tech places. Who conducted will not... the study? Was it some feminist? I think it was I Yale. Trust... I guess Yale is like the a feminist. feminist. It doesn't have to be a feminist. Yeah, but the assumption not is that reliable. women will eventually have children and take maternity leave. So it's like a business decision. So what she is saying is true, but because of the business decision companies so are trying to make. So you think that your career <laughs> has just not manifested itself in the way you would have liked because you're oppressed? No, that's not what I said. I said that if I decide to go to certain career paths, I will most likely be at a disadvantage. What did you study in college? I studied, I triple majored actually in philosophy, economics, and psychology. Okay, so have you not been able to proceed in a career because of the oppression that you believe I'm saying that if I decided to go into a STEM career, it will be statistically much more harder for me to get a job there's, with my qualifications. There's actually more women in STEM than there are men. 
Well, that is define, just not true. No, define it's, STEM. Define STEM. Like okay, which jobs? So, well, okay, I have some notes here. So in America. Yes, here in the U.S. Okay, right. so science, technology, engineering, maths. Yeah. So what the feminists like to do is they like to exclude certain STEM fields where women are actually overrepresented than men in order to like further try it's to about wage? gain. No, in order to further try to gain uh, okay, affirmative action. What is what it, what you're okay, saying? Okay, so I've got some notes here. I'll read it. Medicine and dentistry, subjects allied to medicine, biological sciences, veterinary science, agriculture, and related subjects, physical science, mathematical science. Those are majors. Hold on. Computer science, engineering, technologies, and architecture. Those aren't jobs. That's right? the official de no, 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 official definition of STEM. Yeah. Okay. So, but when women say STEM, it's they they don't acknowledge all those things. What is I a study that, for instance, nursing, right? I was gonna say yeah, nursing, yeah, nursing is probably like very dumb. much overwhelmed by women. I guess yeah. that would be classified under STEM if we're including it all is medical. But that's yeah. like, but very like low nurse percentage. assistants, so all, all, like like STEM as a whole is definitely male dominated. STEM as a whole, it's not. okay. Can you tell me STEM where you're getting a, that statistic from? STEM if you're including whole. medical, like, then I as guess a, like women careers, would be, like if. They yeah. make over six figures. If it's software engineers, if it's data scientists. No, I'm genuinely they look, curious. They look at physical science, mathematics, engineering and technology, and computing, and they yeah. think that's the extent of STEM. But when you, if you start removing like biological sciences, nursing, et cetera, veterinary science, agriculture, any subjects allied to medicine, then women are actually overrepresented. There's are, more women in STEM than there are I want to know what men. study There's you're more, getting this from. Also, Please just tell me what source. Are these assistant jobs I've, as well? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Let me find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm not even woman. doubting you. I want to one know. One for like 10 female assistants. Of course, it's going to be female dominated. Oh, of course it's going to be female dominated if you count all the assistants. There's going to be one doctor for like 10 nurses and assistants, but it doesn't mean that they make more or that they actually graduated from those fields. You can be a dental assistant. Yes, you, for every dentist, there's dental assistants that didn't actually graduate from college, but they're also counted at, in STEM as a job. But if you just look at like income, people who make over six figures in the STEM field, like how many people are women and men, I think that's a more fair comparison. Because if you're an assistant, it doesn't really matter. Like I can get an assistant job in like any field okay. right now, and I can see, still but, be but counted. See, this is this is like, you, you want to focus on, it's the apex fallacy, you want to focus on the top positions. Yeah, you because that's want, what, you need a degree for that. But that's not that. equality. You don't hear feminists arguing, oh, we need 50% uh, of women to be bricklayers. We need 50% of... Uh, women to work on oil rigs. I think the argument... Up, work, like workplace deaths, there's a gap, there's a workplace death gap. 93% of, it's 91 or 93% of workplace deaths are men. I think let's we should we equalize that perhaps huh. men one of the reasons men get paid more than women is because I think it would make sense for likely, blue collar jobs they're more likely to do dangerous work they're more likely to work outside if there's some major fucking power outage in the middle of the winter and below zero below freezing and I admire men for being who's gonna be the one who's gonna be the one who yes, goes out at 2 fucking a.m. no I agree with that he's working on the line wait, wait, but, but I don't agree is, that women bad should be in the office Okay, this is, no, okay, sorry. Okay, this is such a bad argument because when it comes to jobs that are making the most amount of money to begin with, with your logic or whatever, or what you're saying, it's actually like white collar jobs, nice CEO positions. But regardless of that, putting that aside, yes, I really want that's to- right. You can only have feminism when there's cushy air conditioned jobs. No. You, no, no. Like what do you, like, okay. You don't hear feminists fighting for, for these dangerous, First of all, that's dirty not true. jobs. First is, of all, no, no first of all, true. it is not true. It's if you literally true. switch up you feminism, want, blue collar no, 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 work. No, 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 hey, no, 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 Yo, y'all, feminists just want to fight for the cushy, high-paying, air-conditioned office jobs. You don't want to do the dirty, dangerous work that, are, that men are doing that happen to be high-paid. And you think that because all the men you surround with yourself around say the same exact thing about feminism, but there are actually feminist movements within this field that if you did three seconds of research, you'll see. It's no. Just say, yeah, you can no. say no, 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 but guess what? I'm a feminist. I'm actually part of these movements. I actually look at STEM. them. You literally yeah. went to STEM, which is a it, Yeah, because STEM is one of the biggest disparities where, you know, theoretically speaking, there shouldn't be. 
That's why. That's why I went to STEM, okay? There isn't what do you mean? Disparity. There's not a disparity. And actually, we there's a disparity. Hold on. But w do you acknowledge that there's a disparity in college enrollment? Between, oh, yes. There's more women yes. in college. Yeah, exactly. So how come does it take a woman to have, like, I guess, like, 1.5 more, like, of an educational level than men Wait, to get what? the same paying job? Basically, what? a woman has to go get what? her undergraduate degree and master's to get the same level of job that a guy erroneous. just has to get his undergraduate erroneous. degree. Erroneous. Yeah, you have to say Dude, erroneous because but, you can't respond but to me. What? Okay. Okay, so no, Whoa. I can respond to you. I Fixie. can respond. I can respond to you. Okay, respond. Throw you, the popcorn oh, back. I'm being a bitch. You, I'll tell. Sorry. Sorry. You, you just. I love this savage pixie. This is for the popcorn. You didn't even address my argument about how men are underrepresented when it comes to uh, attaining college degrees. Yeah, no, I said I actually proves the point of like, hey, guess what? There's a disparity where it shouldn't be because men need less education to get the same job that a woman has. They go or to a woman needs, trade, though. Yeah, a woman needs to get an undergraduate degree and master's to basically get the same level paying fake job news. as a man who got. That's fake news. Oh, that's oh, not. Geez. You can search it up right oh, now. That's fake news, bro. It's bruv. not. Go bruv, search it. Well, I, that I hate news. the fact that you have a computer and you can literally Google that's what I'm saying and you just won't. You're Whatever. saying a woman needs to get a master's get degree to earn the same as a guy who hasn't I said on at like basically the way that like these numbers are coming out is that a woman needs like more education to get the same I, level paying as a guy who has less can education. Can I address this though because when it oh, comes oh, yes. there is there's a lot of studies that confirm that when it comes to applying for jobs women will look at a job description and let's say there's 10 bullet points if they meet like nine of the ten bullet points or eight of the ten and they're like "Ooh, but i didn't meet the last two yeah like it says i have my master's or you need a master's and i only have a bachelor they're not even going to apply yeah whereas men like let's say they only meet like three or four they're gonna apply, apply. yeah and absolutely. 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 So, absolutely men have if more you're, if you're saying absolutely us, that's why men are more likely to have the same jobs with bachelors than as women with masters because they're flipping applying they're putting themselves out there way more because they can take they experience rejection in and life that's why you significantly yeah. more than women do which is why they can and that's why there's women who are still high levels in those different careers because there's women who are able Yo, to exemplify you, the personality characteristics to be able to achieve that same level otherwise there wouldn't be any women right if it was really that oppressive but no the women who are able to exude and exemplify those characteristics that that are necessary to actually get on top they're still successful. They're still in those positions. So it's more nurture. <laughs> well, that's, that's the other thing. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. absolutely. And again, but that's the exception to the rule. I still believe it's the exception to the well, rule. Well, we can be more norm than outliers, though, in the current day. But if you look at it 50 years ago, yeah, it's like more nature, you would argue. Well, I would say that when it comes to the point that you brought up, Lauren, that's true. That's definitely one of the contributing factors. But then that goes back to like socialization and like the and maybe you disagree with me, oppression that comes from like brutal, so unfair socialization. So the fact that like women are always taught to be risk adverse, even financially risk adverse, risk adverse, risk, risk adverse. Um, oh, no, you should just be doing everything. Play Wait, it safe. Women are taught that or that's just the natural order of things. I think, I think women are definitely think taught it, that. Definitely taught Because boys will be boys. That's so, the thing. But men, if you ever meet men, a woman who wasn't socialized. I would argue men are biologically though? more uh, risk tolerant. Risk tolerant. No, yeah, men are taught. Not allowed to be. And yeah. Like, I'll sit like a woman. Like, boys will be boys. Like, why are you doing that? Like, women are taught to be, like, more nurturing from the get-go. We get bought, like, Barbies. I don't think it's about being taught. I, I just like think that's just the natural order of things. If that was the natural... Men are more likely to be risk-takers. That's definitely not true. I feel it... Well, not just I think. True. I know. Um, if you ever meet a man who is like, oh... It's okay to be aggressive, you know, that's just a boy being a boy. Guess what? They're going to show aggressive patterns in the future versus kids that are taught to like emotionally regulate better. They tend to have like better like long-term outcomes when it comes to emotional regularity. This idea that men are just naturally like more like, you know, like they like the risk more, they yeah, like to be a violent more, they like to be aggressive more. Yeah, there are less aggressive societies overall. Like in Japan, there's not as much like violence. Same in China, there's like no violence. Like if I walk down the street at 3 a.m., no one's gonna like Wait, hold follow on. me. But isn't it the case on the... If you look at the average, temperamentally, men and women are actually fairly close. But when you start looking at the extremes, you have men that tend to dominate at the extremes. I thought we were talking about like Physically. society in general, though. Wait, what? Like, are we not talking about society in general? Like, when oh, it comes to we risk. are. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. When it comes to so risk, but men, men are more likely to, for example, I'm pretty sure men are more likely to be entrepreneurs. They're more likely to be. Uh, 
business owners, for example, that they're typically more has like, but that's in America. America. They're get more, away with it. Also, work jobs that are more like physically demanding that have high level of risk involved then, as well. I agree with that. And then women work more nursery jobs. When it comes to like coding, anyone can sit in front of a computer screen and read code. Like, that's why the wage gap is closing for those jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right. it just seems that in a lot of these things where it's like men are more likely to do these things. Well, guess what? Men are more likely to be raised that it's okay taking risks, that they don't have to constantly be aware and like scared oh. of their surroundings. So you're saying this I is mean, like a chicken or egg situation. You're saying that because of the way we've been programmed, this is the way society is versus us saying that this is the way society is. Therefore, we have created structures that are revolved around human nature and our natural proclivity. Right. What, what, she, what she says maybe made sense. 30, 40, 50 years ago, but now we have girl power. When, Be a I boss, think, babe. So you're talking about I mean, the, the and I mean, you've of seen. feminism back, back when like we literally couldn't even vote, when we couldn't own property, all of these different things versus today when we have equality of opportunity. But we do, and the equality disagree. of outcome I think doesn't determine whether or not we have the same opportunity. But it's like our do. parents couldn't even own property until like the 70s. So I think like wealth disparity wise like wait, woman what wait why couldn't your parents own property until the no woman I women don't... women just solely on their own without being married they actually could they just couldn't wasn't be married tw- right exactly like you said i feel like this no, is wait, such yeah. a it wasn't is... the 70s wasn't it like the 20s no i mean no. these so credit cards it was this is such 70s. a feminist talking so point be... like oh the way i was raised like i i'm just a slave i'm beholden when to... did we say okay you let me finish. Oh, I, you know, the, because I was raised this way, I'm just not going to be, I'm not going to be a risk taker. You were not beholden to the way you were raised. Take some accountability. Women have agency. You can move in the world, in the West, however you damn well please. Take accountability. Yeah, I'm sorry you have agency. Fans. I think yeah, nobody's saying that women can't take it. accountability. What they're saying is that obviously, just like every other fucking human being in the world, the way that you're raised affects your, your actions. Environment, I am you're sorry to tell you that you're not like the special little snowflake that is immune to environmental Aww. characteristics. No Brian, way. Brian no I think idea. you're a special little <laughs> snowflake. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. I love to see you fired up like this, by the way. It's so exciting. <laughs> I still just, I, you, you haven't really made a convincing argument for the ways in which you have, don't have rights I, I just like to see her angry. It's <laughs> great. Here, let me ask you a question. Do you think, because I'm a male, do you think I'm privileged because I'm a male? Um, I think there's certain ways that you're privileged and certain ways that you're oppressed. I because think, I'm a male? I yeah, I think Race men definitely have some it. ways that they're oppressed. Do you, th- do you think male privilege is superior to female privilege? Maybe superior is not the right word. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, pr- provides more privilege than female privilege. White male. Overall. I a don't white, know. White male. I will say that. I'm yes. not sure how you would quantify. Uh, these white <laughs> cis heterosexual <laughs> men yeah, it's, ruining it's, society. If, if, society, society, is, is, if so society is built it. by a white men, That's, then yeah. yeah, the rules are by to your favor, of course. If you're society in, was built by white here men. in America, yeah. If you're in China, you're not gonna yeah. have as much privileges, no. I mean, but okay. times are changing. Hopefully, yeah. I think. Um, and you're bigger. You can beat up any of us at this table. Men donated oh. ninety nine dollars. Oh, no. Hold it. If the wage gap did exist and women are getting paid less, why wouldn't companies just hire exclusively women since it would be more cost effective? Yeah, you could just because they're seen as less effective. It's like why would you hi- if you had two employees, one costed a little bit more, but you think they're doing A plus work versus an employee, you could pay them less, but they're doing like C work. Who are you going to hire? So you're saying that women do C-level work? Yeah, I'm saying that men assume it. They assume that women are doing C-level work. That's a problem. It's just in their perception. It has nothing to do Do with with the results. A lot of times, yeah. If you remove the name and just look at the resume, they do hire way more women. But that doesn't even even work when you talk about, like, long companies that have had like a lot like many many years of practice with dei because that would Im- that doesn't just include first hires that includes all of the people who work and there. that's why the wage gap is closing because Thank people you, are Bender, realizing that women can be just as capable but slowly but the ceos are all like boomers you know they're still like 60 years time. old no they're it literally financially incentivized to hire yeah and that's why it is ESG. slowly closing because before also they not every company is esg like there's At, tons of comp- literally wait, every wait, company that is so not true. Here, we can search for statistics about me, how many come back, let me come back to, Let me come back to what we're talking about. Okay, so let's talk about male privilege, right? So 
Do you think male privilege... I'd rather privilege, talk about male oppression. I'm sorry. Okay, but do you think male privilege is provides more privilege than female privilege? Um, it depends on what context or area you're talking about, right? In so, general, like just... There's no, there, I hate when people are like, in general. Like yes, there, in general. No, like that, I'm sorry, the world is not black and white. It's not simple. You have to look at things in certain contexts. So no, I think... No, yeah. necessarily. Okay. Well, we'll oh. agree to disagree on this. Okay, systematic wait, can I ask you a oppression question? not a thing? Like, do we not believe they don't that? Believe that the, I think males are systematically oppressed in this country, but I don't think women are. So I'm talking about my way back. If color. one of us try to jump you, you can beat us up. Hold and on. that is a privilege. Going, going way back. Wait, from... that's not a privilege. That's just a biological reality. But that's a privilege. The biological reality is a privilege, right? That you can do that. How are you defining privilege? It's, I mean, well, yeah. privilege if they were able to use that to like then get you, we up couldn't, on you in a situation. But if you're for coming that, at somebody, though, then like that's not a privilege. But you can come at me, and I will be defeated. A privilege Absolutely. implies like any of us. You. Yeah. I no, I'm saying like if you, you chose to be violent, combat. then you can be Dude, majority of women. Life. Thank you very so much. So that is a privilege, just like Yo, physically. Life. W's in so the chat for flam. That's just biological, physical stuff. I don't, but I don't. I don't know if. Uh, Is that not a privilege? I don't know if I see that as a privilege either. Uh, when I, when really, I, if you can like physically take over if someone broke into your house, like as, as woman, if I live. I by think that's just a, a reality. Wait, a so is that not a privilege? Like when, when, I think reality can't hold be on. a privilege. I think when we're talking about privilege, we're talking about things that are either uh, bestowed to us or that like a right bestowed to us right. by the government or um, society. That's just a social thing. Like I a, think it's a societal social. based thing. I think that it's is a societal based thing that's granted to you that you can absolutely choose to beat up any woman and they Wait, cannot what? defeat you. No, that's just that's biological, just biological reality. And also, he would be but that's prosecuted. A, like so the societal result would be his prosecution. Yeah, but if I chose to do that, I can't beat you up. Because oh, so well, biology, it has nothing to do with society or okay. government roles. Well, it has I, to do with biology. Okay, so it's only systemic and it's only government. Right. So biological privileges don't count. Well, there, do you want it when you say the word? Because when it comes to women, when you say the word privilege, you're implying something that you want to get rid of. Like we don't want some people to be privileged and other people to be not privileged. Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking about like, oh, he's more privileged because he's biologically bigger. That's not something that we could like strive yeah, we can't as really a society. Test I want so do you believe in like pretty so. privilege? That's yeah, biological like are you, too. Are we yeah. striving as a society to get rid of pretty people then? No, no, no it's not getting rid of Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, but I think what, yes, bitch. No, fix I'm, your I'm face. saying there are certain <laughs> privileges that are biological, and I don't know why we discount those, but then only count the ones that are so. Because well, I think pretty privilege is bullshit, and honestly, like I'm like I, I mean to uh, a degree for sure you can uh, get ahead, but. I honestly, personally, there's people who've told me I'm only good at high ticket sales because of how I look. And I'm like, well, actually, I, well, didn't, do this I'm like, well, actually I didn't have a camera on the whole time. It's only via phone. They're like, but, oh, well, it's because of your accent. I mean, like, people will I mean, always do whatever they can to discredit your actual value based off the I, I agree with what you're arguing, but I do think it's still on, how attractive on, they are. I, I but I, I do think that if you're like a really attractive person, whether you're a man or a woman, you're going to be able to maneuver through life a little easier. For yeah, sure, but that's why we, we also want to have shit like, So are they saying do men have privilege based off the fact that if a woman came at you, like, no, that's not privilege. It's a biological fact and it's a reality. I think that those things are very Okay, so all biological advantage. facts are not privileges. Okay, so, well, I, I, right. let's, okay, so if we discount let's all... Talk, let's change the wording to advantage. Are men advantaged when it comes to physical strength because of, because of biology? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it a... I think though when we're thinking of privilege, we're thinking like, because for example, pretty privilege, it's not just the fact that you're physically attractive, but the benefits that that's gonna reap, it, that the benefits that you're going to be able to reap in the workplace, in romantic relationships, how people are going to treat you. So it's, it's like an external thing. And I, I guess so you have more privilege than someone who is this. like 5'3", right? Do you think that's different to the, the, what she's talking about, the so-called male privilege? I think the it's biological, the same. They're biological language. facts, both of them. How are yeah. they distinct? What do you mean? I'm trying to, hold on, I'm trying to he's, think. He's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, doing yeah. that. Like, the, 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 the hamster wheel is fucking <laughs> this four hours deep in the podcast. How long have we been? Wait, okay, so Piximus Maximus. I don't like I how you call me that. No, it makes me. Wait, I have a question. It makes me sound like a pick me. Like, pick, pick, wait. Aw, no. no. So, wait. 
males got more privilege. In because certain they're ways. Wait, I have a question. Okay, so you know Disavow. you know the show <laughs> Handmaid's Tale, right? The whole thing yeah. is like, wow, they're having their kids taken from them. Like that's a horrible part of the show. And now there's other port- parts of the show that show women's oppression, which is supposed to be horrific, like the essay and stuff. But we all kind of agree as people watching, the most horrific thing is the women getting taken away. The one difference between men and women legality in society is women have the right to murder men's babies but men don't have any right to keep their baby if a woman wants to murder it yeah men don't have the right of another person's bodily autonomy men do not have the right their own children yeah no you do not have a right to tell a woman how her internal organs are going to function it's not her internal organ it is is literally your blood your lungs your everything and so keeping this you know Thing. It, it can be a baby eventually alive, but it's you do not a have a right to tell another person, "Hey, you have to keep this other human being alive." It, Wait, I so mean, you guys comes... will only sleep with someone you would Wait, absolutely hundred percent is... have a baby with, like, and raise it to eighteen. Wait. I would not risk uh, unprotected sex, no, with somebody who I Nair. wouldn't. Either one in ten people on the pill get pregnant, and you would just keep it. I've actually, I've never taken the pill personally. So what you're saying is oh. people can take the pill and then they get pregnant is what you're saying. Yes. Still. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that sucks. But personally, from my I- ideals, I'm very, very pro-life at the end gotcha. of the day. I-, I think that where a lot of the disparity comes from is, okay, where does life start? And a lot of people are like, okay, it starts from when the baby's first made. Some people are like, no, it's 28 weeks. Some people believe it's this or that. I think all of us believe it's wrong to take a life. I think the disparity is where does that life start? And I believe it starts from inception when the mm-hmm. urn latches mm-hmm. onto the egg and she fucking starts to... Okay, <laughs> let's, yeah, you, let's, you move, also- let's move away from abortion. Okay. Pixie, mm-hmm. your thoughts on the following statement. Women are more privileged than men. Um, again, in certain men areas. Are, men are more oppressed than women. In certain areas. That's like an apology letter for how we were oppressed for so many years. I women, feel like they try to make up for it. Women need a letter. Or like, you like know, a, a I think I think men need a letter for how oppressed men have or, been. Well, they started the country. They men, didn't do it to themselves. Men oppress men other men. Men started the country. Or I found it. Uh, I mean, have whatever. Been you. <laughs> like, oh, look, guys. Found it one of the most free countries in the world quote unquote free because it, it, it is the most free we have the highest incarceration rate in the world and also most sure, people live we, we because of paycheck freedom, freedom, it depends on who we're because talking about is because free. people are A free of, to do because people are so free to do their actions they're more likely to commit egregious crimes so like so in like communist china for instance like as you guys said you feel pretty safe walking around because people are very very scared of the government they're not going to be going out screaming we, kim jong un sucks dick like you can't even do that <laughs> bro that's, <laughs> that's korea <laughs> that's north korea bro <laughs> You or sorry, the, as uh, is Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping sucks Xi dick. <laughs> yeah, you can't like go oh out in China God, and bro. Tiananmen Square and like start like doing that. You saw what happened with the tanks and the last guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. like we we have more, for example, Dude, like this, freedom this of speech. This place got shot up my second year at college. I know <laughs> with with what's his face, Elliot Rogers. Elliot Rogers yeah. Okay, we have in the U.S. We have. Uh, freedom of speech which a lot of other countries don't really have like it it depends because one of my friends got to keep on getting raided by the fbi because he started area 51 raid (laughs) you remember that (laughs) (laughs) he literally kept getting raided every time he would tweet like yo let's meet up (laughs) so like it's like freedom of speech with an astrophe well yeah you can't like plan yeah but you can't just like okay guys we're going to we're gonna like go invade uh as long as like a a a military base Mm -hmm. we you can't just yeah i think that a big difference i think the fbi tracking him actually does meet the brandenburg v ohio test i think they're constitutionally in the right i think we do need to think about esquire Mm -hmm. i think we do need to take into account who has the most freedom like within this country what, people with I the most money who? have the most freedom who, who gets who. to do whatever they want whenever they I, want and there's no <laughs> I mean, is that not true no. heterosexual Wait, huh? is that not true <laughs> you, i came from bigger so so it's not what true can I, but, hold on so you're part black woman okay. correct what can i do as a white man that you can't do do you remember okay not no, that answer I the question answer the question I'm a white man. What can, what can I do that you can't? 
Okay, let's say um, we were uh, in, I don't know, I was a prostitute. Can I say what? that? And you were a job. I don't know where the fuck this is going, but okay. No, I'm this is listening. just that. Like, um, as far as like sex work experience, whatever, if anything oh, were to that's, happen. That's right. You can be a, if like everything in your life fails. If you were a John. And you need money, you can sell yourself. I no, can't. I'm saying you're right. I would buy. I, no, 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 that's not nice. That's, that's that not what I'm saying. Pricey, I'm Wait, very pricey. Are you? No, no I'm saying if anything were to happen, if an altercation were to happen within between us, who's going to get in trouble? It's going to be me every single time. Wait, what? Is that the law? And that is, you know, it no. There's actually, they're actually. John's I don't, I don't know. That might be. There's actually pushes to make prostitution. Legal, but they will criminalize the because criminalize there's no reason for it to be illegal. Purchase. I mean, but, force. No, but yes, saying, but but, the, but you're saying you're saying that the the women who's offering her services, uh, she will get in trouble, but the men. It's the a men mutual won't. agreement. It's actually the re typically the reverse. The man How gets into more trouble. No, this no is, not John's. Don't John's what don't state get in are you talking about? They're, like, they're, they're, trying, they're, trying, they're trying to pass so laws to, tell me this, to, to criminalize the, to the procurer. Oh, really? Yeah, the Johns. Oh, that's new. <laughs> then I never yeah, knew about that. It's a thing. I'm curious. What is it? This might. I think this is probably highly dependent on the state laws. Pixie. Probably. Who is more oppressed? <laughs> okay, here. Who's uh, more I'll, I'll give you a who's list on how who's more oppressed than what. Men are more um, oppressed. Men say are, it. Men Pixie, are more, say yes. it. Men are men more are, oppressed emotionally. They are not allowed to express their emotions without being looked down upon. You can cry. Like, yeah. But, but women are allowed to. Or suicide rates. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. But you often hear that, because you often hear this talk about, oh, men are the oppressors, women are oppressed, <laughs> it's, male privilege. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Most violence on women are let by men. Let me tell you this. You are <laughs> the, the second, the minutes after birth, Who's more oppressed? Let's just say the first five what? minutes, let's say the first 30 minutes of life. Who's more oppressed, men or women? What, what are you, Boys or girls? What are you, Everyone? Just, just answer the question. How am I who's so, more well, oppressed? Who's a, the what first baby is more oppressed? In the, when it's very, in it's very easy. It's very easy. The first 30 minutes, who's more oppressed? I don't fucking, like, the baby. Well, I, the, the, uh, Americans? Women, because women are born smaller and men oh drink God. more oh milk. <laughs> no, 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 no. Guys, they need to get to, like, Hold a baby on. fight, no, right? Yeah, no, yeah. You have to put them up against each other in a baby ring. That's how you know. We should do it. That's how you find out. Crack babies. Like, we can't, like, it could be a whole ring. Pixie. Okay. <laughs> Let's say the first three hours, the first day, the first, no, no, no. I'm trying, I don't know how quickly after birth this occurs, but who's more oppressed, men or women, okay. boys or girls? I do not have, oppression is not, that's not how oppression works. Okay. <laughs> like, that oh, as like five-year-olds, I would say women are more oppressed. Okay, okay. I'm just talking about immediately upon birth. <laughs> no, well, what it just <laughs> say what you want to say. Question. Just get to your out? point. Just no. Get to your point. I really okay. don't understand where you're going with this. Okay. I don't understand sure, how sure, it's going to answer you this ready? question. You yes. ready for this? Oh, oh, I know what you're going to say. Is that what you're going to say? Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Circumcision. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. You could say that's the way that that's men also are the American thing. <laughs> yeah. Men, sure. upon birth, almost every single child in this country has their genitals mutilated. That's pretty fucking What's the rate come from? What's the rate? It's kind of came from it's Jewish very people. It's very high. Well, <laughs> damn it, no, 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 no. It, it's like a custom. Yeah, but even secular, even, look, let's not But no, in Europe, it. they don't okay. do it normally. In Asia, yes, they don't we're do it normally. We're, okay, or but we're, we're talking. Th in America, yeah. Yes, there's certain countries, probably most countries Why don't do it. Why don't we practice that? We're talking that? about the United States. I'm As a male, if my you're kids. born in the United States, upon birth, your genitals are mutilated. Yeah, sure, now I know why Brian who, who started his podcast. He's upset about his foreskin. And he <laughs> wants it back. What the fuck? <laughs> He's mad at all I mean, women for this, especially those loves... gosh darn STEM nurses. <laughs> that's why he loves large labias. It reminds him of what exactly, he's Exactly, the skin that he's missing yes, in his I'm life. Yes, I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal the fucking labia. I want to wrap that shit around my dick and I can pretend. I can pretend. Of my skin. Your lost foreskin. I He's whole again. <laughs> I can pretend for a brief moment of pleasure that that's just my foreskin. That's right. You oh guys got me I, figured I out. I think that is messed up, though, that it's a norm for babies yeah. to get mutilated. Why is it a norm, though? Like, where does that I think that's move? a bigger crime than any of these grievances that feminists Your throw lost out. Your foreskin? We need to get to the source no, no, no. of it. That, <laughs> so that, 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 that like, a very high percentage <laughs> of babies... It's so funny that you, ca you guys laugh about this. No, I'm I laughing doubt, at the idea. I doubt... Hold on, no, no, no. I'm going to be serious here. I doubt that you guys would be laughing if it was the reverse. If women were having their fucking clits chopped off 
Like well, it's not in the Africa they do that. If, if you if we got our lips chopped off, we would be less sure, discriminated fine, against in porn and stuff. Like because oh men not also for me, think bro. that. I, I, I exclusively watch that shit. <laughs> I, but you know, like there are people who exclusively watch uncircumcised people. The but then fuck? the porn industry is like very hey circumcised dicks and Cheesy you know dicks. Look, small male penis. male sir. I would argue that really? men. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! I would argue that men getting circumcised in the U.S. is a bigger grievance than any grievance that feminists have been talking about for the past uh, ever. Oh, really? The right to vote. (laughs) Yes, getting circumcised, getting circumcised is worse. The right to not be a second class citizen. Yes, having your genitals. I would argue argue that getting your genitals mutilated is probably a better choice. So, that should be the dad's choice. You must have grown up with like dudes in America whose parents didn't do that, and that must have been like a super self conscious thing for them. Like when they were in the locker room, dating girls. Most men, I think, in the U.S. are circumcised. Exactly. So, if they don't get it they are, tend to be pretty self-conscious about it they tend to and be discriminated to show, against they said yeah they tend to be scared to show women it they like don't want to show it in the locker rooms it's like yeah so whereas i don't know any time and period where like some women have the right to vote and other ones like who didn't have the right to vote or, or sorry Wait, where the what? ones who have the right to vote are like man i'm jealous of the women who don't have the right to vote so yeah. like, just that everyone all in Here's a bigger grievance. The draft. <laughs> military conscription. That's yeah. that's a bigger grievance than all Facts. of women's collective grievances combined. No, yep. I don't necessarily. I think it goes back really? to right to vote. Yeah, absolutely. Right you're to literally, vote. Right to you're vote. literally complaining oh, about men. Oh, men oh. oh, oh no, men are by the way, which I think is fucked Delus- up. You're delusional, Pixie. Okay. Let me Wait, finish, finish my your sentence. Yeah. So you can be like, oh no, like men being drafted is like horrible, et cetera, et cetera. Men who are in power decided for themselves, oh, we should draft other men, well, whatever, whatever. They have the right to vote. There's a chance to change that. Well, women don't even have, or at least if you're talking about any period in time, all periods in time or whatever, women didn't have the right to vote, right? Uh, so women, could, if you theoretically had a society where the men decided we're mm-hmm. going to draft women only, guess what? If women can't vote, they can't even hold fight on, that on, against themselves. This, this argument is actually working against you because women, when they... So first of all, when men originally had the right to vote, that was when the draft first started, it was linked to men who had the right to vote. And then when women gained the right to vote, they separated the distinction between voters and those who are drafted. So now you only have to sign up for the draft if you're a man who is who wants no, to No, 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 but you misunderstand so what I'm women, saying. Women were I, able I to, Hold on, let me just come in really quick. Women what uh, Lauren is saying is women were able to secure the right to vote without the corresponding responsibility that men had to undertake by being subject to military conscription. So you were able to get yeah. a privilege without the corresponding... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You're misunderstanding what I'm trying to say. What you're, are you saying? You're saying <laughs> that the draft is by far like the worst form of oppression that a person can possibly have ever. Military conscription. Right. And I'm saying that at least during that time, or at least during the time that men had the right to vote and women didn't, there's a possibility of them deciding to turn that over, change it, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if for whatever reason in that time period, they decided to put that law onto women, that women have to be in the draft and they don't get a right to vote, guess who can change that? Not the woman. They don't have the right to vote. They don't have the right to put their elective representatives. They're fucked. Your That's argument, why the right to vote hold on, hold on. is the most fundamental right that we have. Your, your argument does nothing to uh, rebuttal the fact that military conscription is a far greater grievance than any other grievance. Wait, so that I was women saying my, that any village, like if you were to have one man and like a hundred women, if all the men died, like they could still repopulate the village. Dope, not gonna lie. Yeah, so exactly. Men agree with that. So men are going to send their women to die. Like men aren't going to like overtake a village and just like kill all the women either. They're probably going to take them back. Like it's like, okay, so why would you send your women to war when your country cannot repopulate without the women? Yes, there are no. tactical and logical reasons why men are more likely to be recruited to be soldiers because they're more they make better soldiers however because of the physical advantages yeah however yeah there's like physical and strategic advantages to keeping the women at home however when it comes to voting i get what you're saying that like voting is the most important because that controls the society and who's required to go to war and i understand that however with it, it needs to be tied to the act of potentially going to war because if women have the power to vote, which we do, but that they're not tied to the potential 
issue of going to war, a potential issue of being drafted, then we can make silly and careless decisions with our voting, which can lead to war time, which only negatively impacts men who will be required to literally die for our silly well, that's under the assumption we absolutely don't care about the men in society which no. a lot of people do care they may care but sometimes they're they they think that oftentimes people make bad decisions under good intentions right yeah. and so that's men what do she's that as talking well. about look it's at how obama got elected wait the, the idea that this is only a thing that women do or whatever i don't think is very fair I men also make silly decisions now wait. you're saying oh they're tied wait. to the consequence not necessarily they're tied to the consequence of what the majority believes including majority of men either way i don't think anybody should be drafted i think the policy and literally the way that we get into war is a result of what legislators decide right whether congress decides like we're going to go to war with this country or not mm -hmm. so i think that the only way that congress should be able to do that is if they're for sure as hell certain that everybody wants to go to war otherwise i don't think the draft should be a thing what basically we, what we need the draft though like there's if I mean, you yeah. if you don't think the your cause is strong enough to have people volunteer for, to have the people in your country put the line like their lives on the line your country should not be going to war okay but, okay, but in then, a self-defense situation well, let's say your I, yeah, country's and being it, invaded yeah chances are and i truly believe this and you, you can look at ukraine and you can look at other countries right. that had their sovereignty in in jeopardy people will step up to the no. plate when yes absolutely. ukraine Those ukraine was drafted in a lot in fact a lot of people were trying to flee ukraine and it became an issue with Men the trans were unable people to leave because women ukraine exactly and then some people who thought that they were women but it had penises they were not okay. allowed to, <laughs> okay. to transition. so in ukraine hold on. But i do believe in either. general hold yeah on. i don't think in, that you really looked but into hold on. this in ukraine <laughs> In Ukraine, when the war broke out, men between the ages of 18 to 60 were not allowed, like, Facts. could not leave the country. Yeah, and I, okay, I think that's messed up. And they were, I don't think, what is it? I think well, that when it comes to a country, if their legislator decides to go to war, they better be certain as hell that the people within their country want to fight. But, so but, I mean, all, did you, but men, imagine but that. Imagine if you were literally left to the whims of that, and it's like, oh, everyone who wants to fight, go fight. How stable would that society feel? Oh, only the people who volunteer. Most of the, go most, of, most of our military is based on volunteer basis. So yeah, but based on a draft basis. A draw. Wait, when no, but that, 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 that literally but illustrates the fact that, on. like, hey, it is possible to have a military on volunteer basis literally fighting wars in other countries. Pixie. We currently have it. Yo, in a world pick, war, okay, in but, something that was really that severe and drastic. Well, I mean, we've like, had world wars before, and we did have drafts, but we also had a shit ton of people volunteering. This I feel like if that, we were being invaded by another country, they were coming, Russia, China, coming at us with full force, would we really be saying, I just hope all the people who really want to fight mean? go and fight no people, people would literally the full force of the country to be protecting us look at what happened after like pearl harbor you had a shit ton of people suddenly yes. be okay with war wanting to go to war like volunteering for war this idea that and like oh everyone's gonna suddenly cower away when their lives are threaded on, on the line Pix i think that's the loot pixie what is the strongest like do you know which is the strongest army for its size like in terms isn't it the united states or it'd probably mom? be the israeli army and it's the oh yeah, they have nuclear weapons and everything and for their so their tiny country and they have like they fought uh, seven day war they fought off all of the countries surrounding them by themselves as a brand new country and the only way that their military works is every single person in their country man and women are forced to serve in the military for at least two years in the idf and so you're saying that that would provide for a weaker military, but just like all evidence. Shows. What do you mean? I'm so, I'm talking about the United States. She's pro draft. No, I'm the opposite. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm talking. Okay. No, I'm saying for Yo, women. For Pixie. women. So World War Two. I'm looking women. here. Yeah, people got drafted in World War Two. That's not uh, a surprise. But it, but you you were saying you were acting as if the vast majority of people just went in and no, volunteered. No, I'm saying there was a huge surge of like volunteering. Yes. I don't know about the exact and, numbers, but and yeah, there were men, and right now. And there were men who were drafted, who did not want to go to war, who went to the front lines in, in Europe or in the Pacific, and they're dead. Yeah. They died. Yeah. 18 year olds. Yeah. And I'm saying that's really fucked up. Yeah, I think men and women should both be drafted okay, with like modern so technology. <laughs> is it more fucked up than women not having the right to vote? Because if you do not have the right to vote, you do not have the right to change or stop or add onto the draft. 
Our society is built okay. on voting. But, Would you but, without but, voting, everything else falls apart. Okay, can I ask you a question? Would you rather in, let's say, 1917, as a 18-year-old, let's say you're a boy, get drafted, get sent to, uh, let's see, Amiens in France, and uh, go spend three weeks in a trench, you get trench foot, and then a shell implodes your face in, and then you're just dead. Uh, or would you just be prefer to be back home in fucking Montana on your farm <laughs> and just not be able to vote and you don't know anything you're about acting, politics? You're acting as if not having the right to vote doesn't That's, change or affect everything in your fucking life. Okay, okay, That's you like freedom, right? You argue that, oh, yeah, maybe I, we have freedom to roam to the me, streets me, and okay. have someone stab you, but that's freedom. Maybe, so. maybe this is going to sound like I'm, I'm a pussy or a coward, but I kind of value living and shit. So if I was 18 years old back in 1917, I think I would, as some fucking stupid farm dude who doesn't know anything about the world, hasn't set foot outside my town, would I rather just not be able to vote on issues I don't even That's really true, know about it is or true. get sent to... Um, Let's see. Where where do I get sent to in World War One? D Day. No, not no, not. Well, that's World War Two. Yeah. I get sent to uh, Passchendaele, and I'm in a trench for uh, for two months, and uh, I I'm, I have the Spanish flu, and then I um, let's see what else. You are literally creating and a false dichotomy. I, uh, <laughs> and then I just get uh, shot. Okay. And I'm dead. No, do you think no without the, the right without the right to vote? Not only can you get drafted. But you can also face the repercussions of like, hey, guess what? Um, okay, they pass a policy where they say your 18-year-old ass not only gets drafted, but has to have, like, I don't know, their balls tortured for a week before okay. doing so. so. No, that's, no, that's what on. I'm saying. Hey, hey, Without the right to vote, you are literally under the thumb of whatever power or authority structure there is in place at the Pixie, time. What you're you have no freedom. Pixie, you're trying to say that if you don't have freedom then you then you could get drafted as well yes. right okay. okay however in this scenario you only can get drafted if you also have the right to vote they're like they're linked together and if you don't have the vote, right to vote you cannot get drafted they're mutually exclusive in this scenario yeah, but the point so is so would you rather would you rather have the right to vote and be drafted or not have the right to vote and not be drafted okay but here's the issue or here's a million dollar problem you're saying like oh no it's guaranteed that you won't be drafted if you don't have the right to vote but by virtue of not having the right to vote, you cannot guarantee not being drafted. In America, what? you can. No, because, because it what? is up to the people and legislator that literally control the laws, whether you get Pixie. drafted or not. Pixie. Eventually, Pixie. eventually, yeah, yeah. yes. Eventually, yes. But in history, in American history, that was never the case. So the only, I understand that what you're saying. Eventually down the line, if men had the right to vote and maintained the right to vote and they never gave women any power and then they started writing crazy legislation requiring women to also become okay. drafted then yes eventually women could be drafted however that was never the situation the okay. situation was always logically Here, linking let me jump in drafting after, I'm to jump in after lauren dra mm -hmm. drafting to voting so in because of that there's never a scenario in which you're going to be drafted and don't have the right to vote so with that being said, would you rather have the right to vote and be drafted or no right to vote and guarantee you will not get drafted? No, wait, I'm genuinely curious. Oh We're Here, look, let me, let me come in really quick. So just to give a little background, this stemmed from me basically asking, which I, I made a statement about, I think that military conscription throughout history is worse, is a, a worse grievance than women's grievance of not being able to vote. I think that is. You said a, worse than any grievance possible of women's wor history. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm also prepared to say like worse than. What? Wait, what? You literally the statement you said. I, yes, I said uh -huh. women's collective grievances, but the I, I think the ultimate grievance that that women often cite is not having the right to vote. Oh uh, yeah, that is well. You also had problems in the past where it was like legal to abuse your wife. To like that's beat fake news. Mm. That's it's never fake been news. positively looked upon to be a wife beater throughout history. Not positively history. looked upon a, on a society, but it's been like allowed. you had to have it's at allowed. fault divorces, and it was extremely difficult to prove abuse. So you'd have to prove abuse in a court of law to even get the divorce, which was just 
Okay, well, we, I, I don't know in the 1700s the frequency of domestic violence in... Okay. But, I mean, you have, like, what is I it? I don't know. There's, like, history textbooks talking about, like, how domestic violence, um, specifically in Europe... I don't think it was the norm. It, I really well, don't no, think it's not about husbands... It, drafting was were, also not the norm. The majority of people did not get drafted throughout history. But when it comes to, like, domestic violence, domestic abuse, yeah, it was widely popularized that, hey, this is something you actually should do. You should hit your wife. When she gets out of line or even you when can. she doesn't like you, you, you can you, and you can should. and it's fine one of my dad's okay. favorite lines from like an irish movie is here's a fine stick to beat the lovely lady <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> that's a yikes okay comparing military conscription to not having the right to vote i like i don't see how you arrive at not having the right to vote is worse they just sound like they're both hell because i mean they both come with like um consequences like not having the right to vote it's not just not having the right to vote you didn't have rights like at all like as a person or like, like mm. women like they were kind of like a subgenre. okay pixie like, do you know what do you, do you know when um world war ii or excuse me world war the dates for world war one um I can't remember. 1912, 1917? 1914 to 1918. Okay, so women, women got the right to vote in 1920, just two years after one of the most brutal, at the time, uh, the most brutal war that had ever been seen, yeah. most casualties, most injuries. Um, I think if you were 18 years old in the years preceding that, it would be a pretty, like, an, it'd be pretty hard for you to argue that women who didn't have the right to vote were worse off than the men that got sent to Europe during World War One, and were f ha where there was forced military conscription. Okay, you are literally comparing. Basically, all women did not have this right. Yes. Um, they were under the subjugation of either their husbands or fathers. It was I under like the subjugation or the protection. <laughs> it's not protection when they can legally beat your ass. But um, you're, you're, saying you you're, you're saying this as if wholesale men were just every day. No, no. The, I'm saying the uh, fact that it can be any, that all women were not guaranteed these protections. That's what I'm saying. I'm but, saying that if you're a woman and you don't have the right to vote, you don't have the right to change legislation, guess what? Like, if a man... Like, what, what percentage of men do you think were just frequently beating their wives? It doesn't in, matter about what the, percentage. It matters that you couldn't get justice century. for it. I don't have... A, like, it doesn't matter. Again, it's not the what percentage. It's the fact that it could happen and it is seen as normalized and okay if it happens because that's just a dumb lady, you know, second-class citizen, like, broad... Should, isn't even smart enough to vote. Shouldn't I think vote. even I feel like today, a lot of women at the time, I feel like didn't feel like that though. When you like some of them, maybe depending on circumstances, but when you look back at a lot of the videos from women as the feminist movement was happening, they're asking them like, "What do you think about all of this?" And they're like, "I don't know about it. I don't know about this women's liberation shit. Like this could honestly potentially be bad." It could potentially put us in bad situations. This could be dangerous. I like the freedom to be able to be at home and be a mother and not have to go out there in the workplace. I like a lot of them at the time were that. happy yeah, with it. It's not freedom think, if you don't get to choose feminism it. Feminism is about like you can either choose to be a stay at home mom and not go to work, not mm -hmm. go to school, and it's fine, or you can choose to be a career woman. So I think that's the point to have the freedom to choose mm -hmm. versus before, like it's not normal for women to go to college, for example, or to Right. Work. But that doesn't necessarily equate to them being a Oppressed. And I think that's a big problem is people automatically assume that women at the time were oppressed. There's a lot of women who are more than happy doing that. And there's a lot of women. To do that. And well, there's, but there's a lot of women now today who, when they want to live that more traditional lifestyle, they are judged by the boss babes of this generation, by the women who are making a lot of these arguments that we're discussing here today and literally look down on women who are are advocating for a more traditional lifestyle. Wait, I think true feminists really are just for women's choice. Like, it's for women's freedom. Like, if you want to be a stay-at-home mom, if that's all you want to be, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Just don't judge a woman who is sexually liberated and trying to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Because men can choose to do that, too. And it's okay. I think um, when it comes Wait, to the argument... so should we shouldn't shame women for being promiscuous and having high body counts? If we're um, not it's shaming just like, men as much, if it's yeah, not, if we're not shaming like, men, I mean, it depends. I feel so, like, like we're uh, more so stigmatized for it. Yeah, no, well, women are stigmatized, but I think that. 
that is such a cop-out answer though Mm -hmm. i feel like at the end of the day you both still risk stds and you both still risk like the being a child coming alive out of that coitus so honestly the whole idea that's like oh no it's just different it's i think it's a cop-out for consequences and biological reasons because of paternity uncertainty yeah no and i'm saying the consequences are the same and i don't think you should cope with the idea that like oh no like you still have these immense responsibilities at the end of the day and if you want to talk about evo psych huh not yet. Not yet. No, oh, no, it was yet. like just like I didn't just the it. top, the, just the top of uh, little bit of colors. Okay. <laughs> oh, and if you want to rosiness, <laughs> I'm sure it's not shadow, possibly because you know. you're fine now. Okay. It looked it looked different to how it looked a second ago. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, what up? Hey, I was gonna say, and if you want to talk about Evo Psych, there are strong like evolutionary imperatives for a man to stay with a certain woman to not go like sleep with around multiple because it's harder to guarantee impregnation in that way guarantee paternity yeah in guarantee that way. paternity right. and mm-hmm. then on top of that you know you still risk stds if you sleep around especially mm-hmm. back then so it makes more sense to stay with one woman and then again the consequence of having a child even if your physical body is not going through those changes that you know responsibility that you still feel obliged to so there are strong evo psych reasons for men to not sleep around that's not what no, I was no, arguing. I was saying why men are more, why men care more about women's promiscuity. Well, you're, I, okay. I thought that you were arguing that like, it doesn't matter if men are promiscuous or there's biological no, reasons why it's okay I'm for men to be promiscuous. I'm not in favor of male promiscuity. Well, I feel like mm-hmm. going w- with what you're saying though, it would be the opposite. I feel like what you're saying is a point for what he's making, why we, why men don't like women being promiscuous because they want to guarantee their paternity. If the woman is sleeping with multiple men, he cannot guarantee that that's going to be his kid. He could be expending well, time, resources. No, but, but here's the thing. Our brains don't know the difference. And yes, we have our logic and we have our reason but 95 to 99 percent of everything we do is subconscious we don't consciously think about it it's based off programming and then a lot of the conditioning in that old part of our brain that is literally still dictating our emotions and decisions to this day but so, why are we so different in our perspectives if we're both because, similarly but, programmed sure, that's where the nature versus nurture argument comes in so i do agree that nurture does to some degree have some pull it absolutely does but I'm saying on the balance of probability, when you put people into an environment and there is no external influences, I feel like people will still have a natural inclination or drive or proc- proclivity to act within a certain way, irregardless. You think like without any societal pressures and norms, if you, they were just free roaming, like in the forest, like we're yes. all like nomads mm-hmm. without any sort of social construct mm-hmm. people would care highly about body count like i do with, yes with, i like, do tribes, i think that with... women would still feel low self-esteem i think they would still suffer depression i feel like they would still suffer uh suffer uh what's the word it's escaping me right now but they would still feel these things naturally without society's judgments based on them and that's where society's judgments come from we didn't pull this shit out of thin air and decide let's just make our own rules the rules were created out of natural so i would say that the rules of in a capitalistic society is created around capitalism and i would say that socioeconomic like your your degree of happiness is largely determined by income like there's like a technical like economics of happiness and the scale goes up like if you're you know making zero income you're miserable here's like the happiness scale but then if you make 70 K a year is like all the way up here. There's like a huge difference. And then I, I know it like diminishes. It's kind of like an E curve. But when you make over 100K, it doesn't really make much of a difference to your happiness levels, apparently. Yeah, it's kind of okay, like, I, it goes we, like this. We need to wrap up here soon, so I do need to move things along. Um, let me just get in these chats. Okay, we have... Oh, actually, Nick, can you pull up Twitch? Guys, <laughs> go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop the follow. Drop the prime sub. Uh, thank you guys for all the uh, follows and primes. Twitch.tv slash whatever. All right, we have... Hold on, we have, let me see. Uh, I think, sorry that we're just getting to these now, guys. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> Gordon's Fisherman. Kathy, can you read this one? Kathy, we need the details on your mom asking. Wait, into the mic, please. <laughs> oh, Kathy, we need the details on your mom asking for Brian. Um, Keep reading. Oh, oh, Keep reading. Oh, oh. Okay. Emmy got a point. Western society failed education and failed women with societal expectations. I- expectations pixie men and women aren't equal the east treats women better and more naturally hashtag passport bros <laughs> um what are the details on your mom asking for brian i don't know if i should tell you that like 
Oh, and, after, you know. You're after, after, we gotta <laughs> go. We gotta go. You wanna set this up after the show? Is that what you're saying? All right, eyes wide shut. Hey, thank you for the Canadian 50. Imagine triple majoring and the result being straight to DVD Joe Dirt. Okay. <laughs> Your response, Pixie. I don't know how to respond to that. You can roast him back. Look, at he's got some. Is, he's doing two thumbs fun. up. I don't know. You can. He's I don't from know. Canada. I think it's kind of sad. He paid how much money? Canadian fifty, so that's like a dollar American, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of sad to pay fifty dollars to call Canadian. someone Canadian fifty dollars to call someone Joe Dirt. That was a good like, movie. It's not. I think it might be a, a compliment. Good movie. I think it's yeah, a compliment, it's a right? Compliment. <laughs> right, Lauren. It's probably a compliment. Probably a compliment. Probably a compliment. Yeah. Okay. All right, Conan nineteen. Opinion on the man with a lot of body hair versus zero body hair. Uh, ladies. Do you prefer body hair or do you prefer a guy with minimal or no body hair? Minimal? Minimal. Ooh. If it's too much, it gets like kind of gross. It what gets about in the some way. chest hair? On a bear it's okay to have a little chest bit. Chest hair is fine. Just it's just, just down overwhelming. Oh, in the pubic. Or like, like the back, I don't you like that. You can't expect me to I don't like back hair. That. If they All look the like time. a bear, I'm out. <laughs> No, I want. I don't know. I, I see a little something. You uh, just imagine anything. Yeah, I, I like. I like super masculine. <laughs> so just hairy. Just like, just like big like. and hairy. Okay, uh, Amy. Uh, yeah, minimal. I would say. Okay, all right. Yeah, I want a bunch of soy boys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I mean, what do you define as like? Hurt me when I like kiss them. Yeah, oh, I like the the hurt. Hurt my... I want the pain. I mean, what if they're like you know six, seven? No pain, seven. no gain. <laughs> okay, we have dragons <laughs> talent. Thank you, man. Uh, Thank you very much. Women could vote before 1920. It was just a state issue, not a federal. On oh, hey, 25 female mayors, hundreds of elected female positions, and even one female U.S. House of Representatives member before 1920. Men were not the only ones who voted for them. Also, this whole like um, Ooh, this whole this whole, Those are great this whole thing about Those women not having the right to vote. It was a very short period where men wholesale had the right to vote and women didn't. Uh, for the vast majority of human history, no one did. It was most people, most right? men mm -hmm. couldn't vote. Most women couldn't vote. So it's like a maybe a hundred year period, even less, that women or that men could en mass vote, and then women just couldn't. So it's it's been it's not 100 like years now since we can vote. So I think it's around equal now. <laughs> yeah, we're probably chilling. Okay, we got Spencer Richmond with just the 50. Hey, thank you very much, Spencer. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see how we doing here. Uh, I think we're caught up on everything. Uh, any one final thought, really quick, before we wrap? Body I think count? I love seeing I think mad. Anyone, <laughs> body, anybody want to share their body? Count? I, I think Virgin. depression stems from mostly socioeconomic circumstances when you don't have like a stable Wait. place to live, rather than depression? body count. Yeah, because oh, I don't. Or um, I was going back at what Amy was saying mm -hmm. with how a lot of women will feel depression if they were um, having high body counts. But I think that most people are depressed in society in general if they are of lower income level. Because there's like the, the triangle of needs, like the top is like self-actualization and then the bottom is like food, shelter. And your basic like, necessity is being met for yeah. sure. But I think yeah. that your, your mental health can play, like I feel like there are some people who would be happier making 40,000 per year or being broke who are not putting themselves through that versus women who are making 400,000 per year who are sexualizing themselves or sleeping with men for money. I think that the vast majority of 40K earners would be happier than the 400K earners who are whoring themselves out or who are making themselves into a commodity what for other men. What about like 200K, 400K? Like okay. what about like a we, woman who's 500K? We gotta wrap it up, we gotta wrap it up guys. Around. Gotta wrap it up. Uh, Pixie, last thing, do you, what do you think of men? What do I think of men? Do you dislike men? No, I love men. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. That's why I get sad. Like, I, that's why I say men are oppressed and stuff. Because oh, okay. I think they are. And that's I sad. It seems like feminists don't really like men. No, so. I love men. That's okay. the bad ones, I think. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Last call. Hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats, donates, and supports the show. Thank you to the panel. Uh, that was a good... It was a, this is a decent panel. Oh, okay. We got eyes wide shut really quick. I'll get that in just a second. Can you pull that up? It's weird that that one popped up um, and the rest didn't. Yo, thank you, man, for the Canadian 100. Uh, so now having money to throw around is a negative pixie. So which is it? I got bags and I'm well above six feet. What's it to you? I Besides like being trying. too high value for the likes 
of you. I don't know. I feel Tell like did you hear person. that, Pixie? He's too high value for you. <laughs> I feel like this is. How, I feel like he wants me. Like he wants he's like you. trying to like flex, it's like nagging. Um, yeah, it's ne- That's what it's. It's giving me nagging. Would, would vibes. you wait, nagging. Pixie? If he went to streamlabs.com/slash whatever right now and dropped a champagne trigger, how much is a champagne? Thousand dollars. Um, would you go on a date with him? Ooh. Um, uh, just please say it. yes so we can drink champagne. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do a quick eyes wide shut. Ryan, I'm, I'm, I I'm rapping. I would do it just for you, Brian. Just, just eyes wide shut. You want us to pop some champagne? Mm. You gotta. You got. You got three minutes. If so you want. you'll go on a flight. Oh wait, I it, this has it has to be live filmed. I don't feel comfortable going alone to see this dude. <laughs> I'll we'll go do with it. you. We'll, I'll chaperone. We'll have him on the podcast <laughs> and you come back. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we'll be I feel like. <laughs> Pixie, I think you're super progressive and liberal, but I feel like the type of guy you go for is just like the most intense, conservative, oh. super trad, Sad. like Christian, super religious. You guys just think that because I get along with all the trad cons. <laughs> Rally's well, attracted to the bench. <laughs> um, so, okay. Uh, thank you to the panel. Let's see. We have, oh, thank you to Britt for helping with timestamps. Any women who want to be on the show, DM out whatever on Instagram. We will be live again, what, Tuesday at, oh, yep, he's not, okay, he's not going to do that. Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. He doesn't, it's not that he doesn't want to give me the, the it's, it's me. He just it's doesn't want to go on a date with you. It's obviously, it's not that he, so he can't wanna, he, he drop a thousand bucks. He, do you think he's too, never mind. What okay. about anyone else, though? Steve he could drop it on anyone else. Yeah, you right? could drop it yeah, on, sure on now. Kathy's no, kind of sort of single but not really you're Everyone definitely single. single pixie's single as fuck you got a relationship <laughs> kathy's mom is single yes yeah. yeah, she hey, is yo. yeah hey you could swoop you could swoop and try to get kathy's mom in so. florida kathy's mom has got, got it going, going on, on. And da, 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 she's da, all da, i want to be so long. Do you have? Oh, it looked like you were doing a hand raise, Pixie. Do you have something? Oh no, I'm chilling. I'm just happy. Guys, be sure to go subscribe to Pixie's OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She doesn't have one, one right? But Is it can, in the works? Is it? I mean, I have. Would, would cause, you start one? I not OnlyFans. I have cosplay pictures that I've thought Whoa. about doing a fansly for. Haram! Well, I just I'm I'm afraid that if I do that, I'm gonna get a bunch of people like pressuring me to do nudes all the time, and I don't know I'll if I want to deal with that. I'm just <laughs> Oh, yeah. Word. Okay, guys, be sure to tune in Tuesday. Amy will be joining us again on Tuesday. Uh, we have a we have a crazy panel on Tuesday. It's going to be insane. It's going to be wild. So be sure to tune in on Tuesday. Yeah. All right, guys. Okay. We'll see you next time. Good night, guys. Bye. Oh my.